program. I'm gonna eventually, if we do more of this, I'm gonna give it to the stream, the stream judge. Uh, uh, they can just literally look up the card. You can type the name in, and it'll populate the set number and the, the card number itself, and it'll just populate. Yeah, this one's Japan. Uh, one next number. Yeah, that's so fancy. That's really cool. Yeah, and it's got. Uh, there's an add-on. Put on your air tag in there too. Oh, that's pretty cool. nice. Oh, okay. Yeah. Nice, I get it. Cool. Um, the time oh, sure these. These so in, in, in Japan, they're both they're Japanese. I don't have some. Anyway, uh, I think the retail on Amazon is like twenty dollars. Okay. I bought it in there for like twenty dollars. You get the first rate, the same one there. Yeah. And tax free. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. <laughs> that's a nice. They're, they're really good. They have one. They have the Sakoi design. It's Sakura Blossom. All the colors. All the textures. Like for a non design one, it's really good. I like that. Yeah. Attention, one piece of fire. Please start over time.
Not that big of a state, as much as the bouncing ball. Attention, one piece players. Round two parents are posted on our game.
Hello there, good morning. We're at the Top Cut Events Peoria Regional. I'm joined by Julia Riley over here. Hello. And we're going to have a great time. We have 800 players on location to become King of the Pirates yes. in Illinois. Yeah, uh, so we have round two. We're starting off round two with something a little more unique. Mm -hmm. A lot of Luchi, a lot of RP Law doing their swan song for, yeah. uh, cause it's, you know, it's getting banned at the end of the month. Uh, we have Wimmy Chen, a local Chicago player. She's playing Pluto Flamingo. As usual. And <laughs> I believe it was Cole from Table 142. The, he is playing by coincidence. Another uh, interesting deck, he's playing Blue Yellow Ace. So but two blue, uh, no, it's blue yellow, right? Yeah, blue yeah, yellow. Yeah, so two interesting decks. Uh, Doflamingo has a lot of popularity as gained, and also uh, it got top four at the Japanese Nationals. Yes. But it is OPO8 format, so. After those starter decks mm -hmm. come. I don't think, yeah, the starter decks made a big difference, I think. A lot mm -hmm. of support for White so Beard, much Uta, Doflamingo. Uh, but yeah, it's, uh, I haven't seen Ace in, in a while. I Ace is a little bit of a high roll deck. It has really good mechanics, but mm -hmm. it, it, the deck sabotages itself sometimes because mm -hmm. you need to hit the leader ability every turn if you whiff once. Mm -hmm. is really harsh, but it got some pr yeah. uh, some interesting cards uh, in 07. So mm -hmm. people could yeah, and blue is a really oppressive color with all the bottom decking. The it puddings. Is the, the best mechanics are in blue, I'd say, because bottom decking is so strong, only very few cards. Uh, mm -hmm. Nullify it. Yep. Uh, Basil, NL. NL. Uh, because a lot of them are against KO by effect or KO in battle. Yeah, and those are Bottom the two that can't be removed. Yeah, from it's a very huge. unique effect. And uh, we're going to get that set up. Our timer's going to show up on the screen as well for you guys here. And from what I um, recall from hearing the beginning of the event, it was an 800 person event. It's going to be nine. Nine, ten rounds, depending. It's always a flexible number because of uh, pair downs and whatnot. Yeah. Like at Gen Con, we had eight rounds. Oh, yeah, it ended yeah. sooner because the pair yeah, 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 lost. Yeah, and then Raw Heat ended up winning, and that was super cool for Nami. Yay. Nami won two events. So this how do you feel about Nami? I, I'm, a, I'm a Nami player, been a Nami player yeah. since OPO3, so seeing Nami shine, it's my moment. It's mm -hmm. so fun. It's gotten so much firepower. Yes. And we're starting off. Okay, so we already had a bit of setup here. Yeah, the Ace already he did his search, and the Flamingo already did his first swing. So according to what Russell told me earlier, this stream is high quality AF. Yay. Uh, the Dolby over here, because <laughs> this looks really good. Um, mm -hmm. Really a lot of real estate for the screen. We have a player cam. Yeah, so the, the ace is swinging the seven there. He put Luffy in life with ability and going to summon the Luffy. Mm -hmm. Okay, I see. Mm -hmm. Leader 7K now. Which is interesting that the Dofi apparently whiffed ability, I guess. That is rough. I mean, er early game, it's... Hey, if you can set up with Perona, you can not hit a... Yeah, uh, one of your events, one of your big boys. Mm -hmm. But she just went off of rep trying to do that, and it can happen, you know, if you go on blindly into it. Mm -hmm. Oh, it is. Yeah, she's asking about the boost that yeah. it gets via the uh, younger version of the uh, the kids. Yeah, it's the same as the mechanic that Black Yellow Luffy uses, mm -hmm. but instead of bringing from the trash, it you check your top five and find a five cost. CMRE, is that the gravity? No, that's the, uh, the other the one. The, the two five or less or six or uh, less? It's gravity blade. It's gra that's gravity blade? Okay, yeah. Yeah, I wonder if she's going to play the Perona down now to make sure she doesn't whiff the she leader ability again. She went first? Yeah, she went first. Uh, Ace, five, five uh, Ace yeah, won Perona, the die okay. Now she can... Stack. Oh. Yeah, she was going to whiff again if she went blind. That's a good camera angle for seeing the hand. It okay. is. Yeah. Uh, she does have a Jinbei there, which I think is her best play right now. Swing gate, yeah. play the Jinbei into something from hand. It's got a lot of nice plays because now you can Jinbei, play out your other card. You can play your Moria and get something from discard. Mm -hmm. But right now there's not much in that particular area. Yeah, I think that she can s sequence the Morias for later because right mm -hmm. now she's probably yeah. still holding all those 2Ks. Very strong card. And now it has Weeble as well. That's a 4-6 beat stick yeah. that draws. That draws. The only yeah. downside is that it doesn't have counter. That's why people only run two or three sometimes yeah. instead of four. A lot of people forget that one of the uh, mechanics of blue is drawing. Exactly. Because uh, since that started like three, we had Mihawk that drew and discarded. Mm -hmm. so Mihawk's such a good card, mm -hmm. especially on Dove and because you filter your hand. Yeah. And he, she gets the combo yeah. into the Weevil, draws the card. So she sequenced that card, so she wanted Pretty to good. draw the 10 cost uh, Kaido, I guess. Ooh, yeah. and she hits the trigger. Oh. Mm. And of course, they're going to go out for the bigger body. Yeah. 
And they already have another Luffy set up, so that Jimbe is not leaving another turn. Mm -hmm. When Ace goes high, he goes high. It's really oh, yeah, It's part of yellow for sure. And any deck that relies on your life too, uh, mm -hmm. seeing cards. Yep. So we're going to be doing the leader ability. We can't really see what he's seeing. Yeah, he's not pushed forward. Um, he is playing with a card stand. Yeah, we're just uh, putting the Satori in life. Mm -hmm. It has to be any five cost. And in the end of the turn, if that card is not flipped down, it's going to go to the bottom of the deck. Mm -hmm. so. One thing um, I'm seeing is that Dofa players, someone could be playing the Sanji and the Mihawk for the combo into it. Mm -hmm. But I played against, uh, well, I'm in the camera here, uh, against Wimmy uh, last night, and she was playing no top end besides the Kaido. Oh, wow. And three or so copies, I believe. And Kaido says, oh, Amaru. Damn, we're, we're really going for it, huh? That's looking for that boost. That's so interesting. And now just KOs the Jimbe. Oh, yeah. he's gonna heal Ray first, yeah, put a life back. Regretfully, he doesn't get the uh, the rest bonus effect. Yeah, but, but the, the Jimbe was already rested from coming from yeah. leader ability. That trigger was so good for Ace there, that KO'd the Weevil. And they passed. Mm, that's yeah. interesting. He chooses to not use the Egghead Luffy. Oh yeah, because he got a, a t swung and then popped off. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, I mean, he he would lose out on... He would lose work. a life because he would have to just keep the Satori in hand. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I, I think with your leader being a 5K, we'll have to see. We've seen that Kaido hovering on top of Wimmy's hand. Uh, is that a put four put? Yeah, it's a putting. Yeah. I believe she had two Morias. Oh, actually, uh, the Morias were on the top of the deck, Due to right? the courtesy uh, of our production studio, we do have, at times, we're going to have updates on the players' hands. Awesome. Yeah, so um, I we just started today, so they're still fiddling with that. Mm -hmm. But we will be seeing what they have in their hand at one point. So, so that's super neat. So swinging seven brings the Moria to pick the Weevil from Trash. Because mm -hmm. she doesn't have any counter cards there anyways. Yeah, you can always Jimbe or Harcast it. Mm -hmm. it's, it's a four. It's easy to get out. Yeah. Probably a Jimbe yep. into Jimbe. Evil right now. Yeah, and another search. And they're brought out in in um, active position too, so that's really good. Yeah, no, Jimbe really bring Doe feature life in 06. In 07, yeah. 07. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I do appreciate the fact that we're still playing all these starter deck cards. Yeah, in like, the game. yeah right. Dofi was my first deck. And I still remember the struggle days against the Akos Kid. Yeah, I remember the whole debacle. Like, do you play 7-drop Dofi? You got to <laughs> back to back every time. And it's it was during rough. the DLB format. So he hits another Luffy. Wow. Yeah, that's what you want. You want to see all the brothers so you can buff your lead. Because against Dofi, one of the scariest things in being a 5K leader, they do 5-5-5-5 five, 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 multiple times yeah. and just burn your hand. Yeah, right now Cole is falling behind a, a teeny tiny bit, I think, on board presence. Um, Absolutely. But it, the yellow and blue uh, thematic has the ability to get rid of those cards mm -hmm. to an extent. And now his leader is a 7k for the following turn, uh -huh. which also helps dealing with that board. Yeah, I think that the biggest challenge until we get to Kaido is going to be the Weebles because... Mm -hmm. They need less Dawn to get to catch up to the leader. Absolutely, so. I think uh, I think he has to trigger the head Luffy this time, not trigger activate the main to KO the yeah. Weevil, or to bait out. Well, no, you can't bait out the Weevil because it's sick, so it's too much investment. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, for sure, attack somewhere, make him use a card, and then mm, yeah, he's using KO the Weevil, draw the card. Okay, would have been a little more optimal to swing out to no, no, he couldn't uh, the Moria itself because the Moria. You can't fish it back out, right? So, I mean, if you want to fish back at this point of the game a non-counter from the trash, I don't think is that game changing anymore because she is going to seven do nine dawn right now. I don't okay. think you want to be playing with a nine dawn right now. Maybe to be fair, I think she can do a lot because uh, Ace's board is so <laughs> so weak right now that she's not really in a hurry. Yeah, three fives. And Perona can always be pumped up to be higher, too. Yes. Mm. Another Perona. We're going to restack the deck over here for the top five. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, uh, Dolphy blocker. Dolphy gravity, gravity blade. Double gravity, double gravity blade. Oh, no. 
Yes. It's going back to Honda and a crocodile. Mm -hmm. And Oops. a weevil. So I think, um... I think at this point, it's, this turn is like a filler turn, but you use it as a sustain. Next turn, just drop in the Kaido. And that 12k presence is going to be huge for her. No, that, that 12k presence is going to be... I mean, Ace can Ace does have access to bottom deck events too. The six cost. You could play Red Rock. Yeah, you could play, and then. That's a whole turn wasted, rather. <laughs> yeah, but at least she draws four cards, right? That's the kind That's that she's running. Pretty big, yeah. Even some Nami's play it too, you know, for some tech. I mean, if you're in a slow matchup, draw four is not gonna hurt you at all. <laughs> I was walking around the venue earlier today, and my friend said he won a Nami mirror match because he asked him, "How many cards in your hand?" Uh, thirty. Pudding. Pudding. Ooh. Oh, he, he saw the one-off pudding, played it against the Nami player, and won automatically. Yeah, my friend Desiree that I got top 16 with, yeah, yeah. we were talking about the Nami mirror, and she was so tempted to do the pudding, the one-off pudding I for mean, that reason. It paid off my friend Kareem, yeah, it's, yeah. It's, uh, it's pretty toxic against that. Very much so. Because all, all you do is you play your, your own place, right? That's all you do. You don't yeah, you just do, you don't attack. No, right. no, no, me shouldn't attack yeah. each other. It's, it's a really good deck, and I'm glad it's got the firepower. As an NL player, I hate it. Yeah, I can it, imagine. It's playing Kaya and White, White Snake to pump up <laughs> and Snake Dance. Snake uh, Dance snake is dance. too good. Because you don't play Breakfast anymore, so you do Snake Dance instead. The, 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 wrong, the bad thing about uh, not playing Breakfast is that your mirror is way inferior. If your opponent has mm. Breakfast and you don't, it's pretty hard. Yeah, at this point, Nami is not a rogue deck. It is in the top Is line. it a top contender? Yeah. All right, so we're starting out some swings. She, his leader is a seven. He summoned the baby Luffy last turn. Uh, the dice is in there. It's just white. So maybe it's blended in. Yeah, yeah. yeah, it's yeah, a yeah. He's a seven right now. Yeah. Oh, maybe she might. I she think she might there. have. Uh, so per the rules of the game, you are allowed to swing for fail. So it is the player's responsibility to be aware of board state. And if she didn't catch it, that it was a seven. It counts as an attack that doesn't, you know, successfully apply. Yeah, and then the Weevil gets played rest. Mm -hmm. You know, accidents happen. Uh, being on stream is sometimes a high-pressure situation. Oh, so much. It is not like having a bunch of people hovering over your shoulder, but it's still, you know, being on camera, the lights, all this yeah, stuff. And against those decks that buff your lead, yeah. that uh, it's inconsistent buffs. Oh, one turn there are five, one turn there are seven. It happens. It's also uh, One Piece is one of those games where not a lot of people are from prior games. This is their first card yes. game. So people... They don't absorb all the rules. They don't get why, mm -hmm. how many times you can sleep your deck, or why does it have to be like this? Yeah. And you have to tell them that's the way the Bandai uh, mm -hmm. system is. Yeah. So he drops the uh, he there drops the ace. Uh, ace draws two, uh, and then you put two back on the top of your deck. So it's just a way to make sure that your leader ability is gonna hit the character you want it to hit. The good old reading the card. Yeah, and uh, it's also a blocker. Just oh, he's blocked. Yeah, I see the little orange tab. Yeah. That's pretty good for a uh, fast six. Yeah, yeah. now uh, it gave Ace access to two baby, uh, one use of baby Ace for two mm -hmm. big Aces. So it definitely helped the deck a lot. Hmm. Yeah, I think uh, he has he's two left. Yeah, he, he has, has two dawn left. up. I wonder if he's going to try to summon a baby or something. I mean, I think it would help out against... Uh, if he does that, actually, he will lock her out of attacking. Yeah. Yeah, because she's going to play a 10 on, for sure. Mm -hmm. She needs to play the 10. It's her best So play. definitely a good chance for him to uh, put in 7, save herself the 2 life for right now. But if he's tab, if he's tab, we got to see what his next play is. The law is 2K, right? He, uh, the law, yeah. yeah. The law is 2K. So law, okay, yeah, double 2K. Getting out of 8. He's going to do the leader ability. All right, here King we go. F Five. I mean, I would have done the leader ability first just because you can get that buff if you have the baby. Mm -hmm. But maybe his hand does not have any baby and he plans to just Viola. Right. Flip it down. Oh, Hiori. No, Hiori to manipulate. Mm, yeah, puts a 2K there or something like that, I imagine. Or an R trigger. Or a trigger, yeah. yeah. Put the egg head Luffy face down. Because in Ace, you really need to keep your cards face down or they go yeah. to the bottom of the track. And then he passed. We're going to the, to the 10 down turn. But over his here. leader is a 5. 
right now. He didn't buff, so mm. she does have a, a pretty good uh, board there. So she could just do a bunch of fives, a six, and drop the Kaido. All these pokes are going to hurt a lot. Oh, probably. they're going to hurt. Yes, like six in hand. Oh, no, sh sorry. It's, uh, I can't even see his hand. Um, uh, I think he had four, but four. I might be wrong. I don't know how many totaled with the... Yeah, so whatever he has in hand, whatever trade he, he whips out, it's going to matter. If he did put the egghead Luffy there, he's going to get rid of at least one body. Yeah, and sequencing is going to matter too because depending on how he does it, Wimmy might lose the Weeble mm -hmm. before it attacks. Yeah. So here we go, starting yeah. with the fives. Yeah, I yeah, think in that case, he yep. started with the Weeble. Yeah. So. I think she taken it uh, he would have taken it regardless. Yeah. So... And another five takes. I mean, he still has the uh, blocker that he can drop. just rest down. Mm -hmm. The Kaido comes and, down. Okay. Or. I guess she chose not to swing out. Uh, I mean, there's no point swinging with the gym oh, because it's the five last one. Yeah. and the ace blocks it. Yeah, it's the last one. It was not the best guy that she drew a lot of bricks, usually. Ooh, the pudding hits right after the Kaido. Pudding to pudding. Ooh, yeah. hate to see it. I think it was more painful for her a little bit. Yeah. Especially if it, succeed, uh, if it su successfully buffs his lead this turn. Mm -hmm. which put, I mean, he still has the Kaido, but... It's just one swing there. So she went from what, nine cards to five? Mm -hmm. I mean, at least you got a future case in there. Okay, leader ability, looking at five. He needs a brother. Yep. Big Luffy. Yes. The question is does he have the baby Luffy? Yes, and he does. They, do. they always do. <laughs> And now, uh, I mean, for the black yellow Luffy, you just go ahead and take the life to mm -hmm. boost up. But like we normally do a here with Ace because it's not a deck that against Dofi you don't have a reason to take that life because uh -huh. Dofi has no interactions with power; it's all mm -hmm. cost. Gotcha. So. You're definitely a more uh, blue expert than me, so. <laughs> so we're getting a ten alive there. Oh, pardon me. Uh, goes back to Dofi's turn. Amish. There's a Kaido on board and three fives and the pudding, of course. Yeah, boosting those five to seven is too much of a dawn investment. How many cards does Cold have in hand? Do we have any idea? I don't think mm. we do. N no, unfortunately not. Yeah. Um, he, he's not uh, handling his cards. <laughs> due to an injury, oh. so they're on a, on a stand, sort of like aligned oh, okay. perfectly out of camera side. Okay, so he red rocks the bo the blocker. Mm -hmm. She red rocks the blocker. And that's worth Is she it. going all in? Just going to swing tall with Dofi? And yeah. swing tall with Kaida? Hope that he doesn't mm -hmm. have counter. Oh. Can he counter no. out of the 12? No. Oh, and oh, yeah. then Cole gets it up. Dofi, Dofi gets yeah. that one. Yeah, 12 is pretty big. Yeah, so that Especially was for cards in hand. Good game for Wimmy. Uh, we're going to try and find more unique decks. Uh, I'm mm -hmm. sure you guys are all sick of seeing BY Luffy, Luchi, Law, <laughs> Tsunami too. So we're definitely we're going to reach that point of singularity, but not right now. You not know. right now. In the beginning, so we can get some diversity. We'll try and find Uta, Purple Luffy, RP Luffy, something different it's for you guys. So we're going to uh, go on a short break until we get to the next round. It hasn't started yet. We're on a different timer from stream. Sounds good. Yeah. Do you have any uh, favorite to win this tournament? My husband. <laughs> so it was the... Uh, uh, Black Yellow Luffy. Luffy, Black Yellow yeah. Luffy. Yeah, it's a pretty, pretty solid choice. It is, it is. You just have to mm -hmm. dodge the Bonnie. The Bonnie matchup can be extremely rough, but the other yeah. matchups seem to have a good I'm spread. I'm a big one or the other, so I think it's going to be like RP Law due to the large amount of representation or some... I don't know, we're deck Nami or Bonnie, I mm -hmm. think. 
I think uh, Law is a really good deck uh, for top deck because mm -hmm. I think in a best of three, Law is always going to win. Yes. But in a best of one, sometimes Law runs into those hands mm -hmm. that you don't. Because in Law, you have three important features, the reducers, mm -hmm. the draws, and the ramps. Mm -hmm. If you miss one of those, especially against Luchi, that is your worst matchup, you kind of lose. So best of one is rough for Red yeah. Purple Law. But, it, but it's definitely a numbers game, and how many people that are very well qualified to play the, the deck are piloting it. Absolutely. Yeah, because, you know, not this law, but back then, the other law, the dedicated few played RG oh, law. Yeah. And it was, like, very low percentage of representation, mm -hmm. but they were all the good players topping with it every no, single time. No, absolutely. Like, if you were yeah. a good red, uh, red green law yeah. in 03, or 1 to 04, mm. essentially, yeah. it was disgusting. <laughs> yeah, so it's definitely representation. For sure, uh, but I think uh, well last last time we were here, you were here too. We had Whitebeard be the winner on a left field. Oh yeah, I remember yeah, long that. lay. He uh, ended up beating Wh RP Law in finals. Whitebeard is a real skill deck check. If you don't yeah. know how to play against Whitebeard, even if you have a favorite matchup, you might still lose. Yeah, the, the moment I saw that uh, <laughs> on the semifinal, he played against a Gekko Moria, okay. and the gentleman went up to read the Machino. Oh. I knew it was done. <laughs> when you're like, had, oh, he, what does that? He had to read the Machino and what did Newgate do? <laughs> what does Newgate do? Yeah. Yeah, and after that, uh, he let Machino live for two whole turns. Like, oh, no. Oh, no. I mean, but uh, the thing about uh, Moria's weakness right now is because it can only remove one body per turn. Mm -hmm. So if, it's, if you don't know, you have to kill that Machino with a swing. Yeah, like. he just let it go and he didn't realize it was a 3k boost every time. On yeah. my last time I was here that I was playing yellow purple croc, mm -hmm. played against Chris Sock. And my only out is in not having Machinos, and he had three in hand, and I was like, well. Oh, was that the one when we were upstairs? Yeah, when yeah, we were upstairs. Yeah, when yeah. you playing that croc, I remember that, yeah. Yeah, that was a fun time. That was really fun. Yeah. Yeah. We're on a different hole this time. We're yeah. on the bigger one, because the Peoria Civic Center has two rooms that we've been to. We're on the first floor, this the bigger venue. Yeah. Upstairs, they have a smaller one, but it's pretty nice. It's, it is, uh, it is. No, I really like it here. Uh, been to a few events, and we'll ventilate it. It's bright. It's nice. It's not in a crowded area. No, like yeah, it's really LA. easy yeah. yeah. Access the parking lot is great. It's pretty yeah. good. We're actually right across the street. Oh, so you guys like, are done. Yeah, we just walked, so that yeah. was great. Yeah. So, yeah, definitely it's going to be an exciting time. Uh, we're going to see. I haven't heard an announcement. I think we're still on time for the uh, round two. Yeah. But we're going to try and get you more, more events. Yeah. So we're going to go on a short break. We're going to find what other decks we can feature for you guys mm -hmm. here. And we'll be back shortly. So, um uh, We'll see you guys in a few. Yeah. Get down.
This is money well spent. I don't give a fuck about the price. I think this movie is extremely good. I did not expect for them to be able to manipulate their life total as much as they did. Oh yeah, so, like uh, adding and taking away from it over and over. I that was the gi that's the gimmick of uh, one of the decks. Okay. So it's basically the bank. And it's gonna it's be like that. Good. There's another deck, AJ.
And we're back to round three of the Peoria Regional. And we have a unique deck that you found for us. Yes, it's one of, yeah. one of the people from Kansas City that came. And, okay. Uh, he plays Zoro Sanji mm -hmm. religiously. <laughs> he loves the both characters, so he brought the deck, and he's mm. too old, so. Yeah, no, absolutely. And they're playing off against a uh, Black Luchi from the newer from OPL7. Uh, yeah, so do you know their prior matchups from the last two rounds, by any chance? Uh, Black Hello Luffy. Okay. And if I'm not mistaken, Red Purple Law, but I might be off of that's, that one. That's some really good matchups right there. So yeah. uh, definitely going to be interesting. We had to double check on the uh, the website the actual effect of the Sora Sanji leader because you don't see it very often, you know. No, you don't. Yeah. Uh, but definitely it is a, a leader that has benefited from a lot of generic cards yeah, here and the, there. Yeah, all the blue yeah. and green generic stuff works very well generic for that leader. Generic is king. Yeah, uh, for those who don't know, the uh, Sora Sanji leader, it's a uh, Donix 1-1 one, one attacking once per turn. You may return one of your characters with a cost of two or more to the owner's hand. Set up to one of your characters with 7,000 po power or less as active. So, so you can swing, restand your character, and leave mm -hmm. it as stand so yep. you can protect it or attack again, depending on the sword. Yep. So uh, I think there's some combo in there probably, uh, two or less. Is that film law? Uh, uh, it's two or more, no? Two, oh, two or more. Sorry, I, I missed. Yeah. yeah. So definitely, you can put on anything to combo out, like the yeah. They use a lot of the Mihawk. That's UK law that mm -hmm. makes your opponent bottom like a card uh, and bouncing back yes. to your hand. Yeah. Th there are a few interesting mechanisms mm -hmm. there for sure. 
Yeah, speaking of um, starter deck leaders and stuff, we did get the new starter deck leader. We got the, uh, yeah, the black Luffy, right? 3D 2Y Luffy. And uh, it's a little unique. It's a different take on the on black, black mechanic. Yeah. He count black counters black as usual. Yeah, because it will increase costs inherently. Mm -hmm. It's not quite there yet, I, I would think. Uh, it has some. We'll get more uh, it has like three or four cards that are can be played mm. in other decks, which yeah. are very interesting. Mm -hmm. Like the Robin is interesting, but we'll have to see if any uh, if anyone does it. Last yeah, I don't time, uh, think Black that deck Luffy. plays. Uh, it doesn't play Moria, would it? it? Could. It could. Mm. There's no reason because when you're playing them from the trash, they still have their smaller cost. But when they come mm. on the field, they will be bigger cost. Yeah. And harder removal. I do like that. Be the leader and the stage. You're already getting a plus two uh, yeah, the, cost the, increase. I think the only thing that kind of limits the deck yeah, is because it's limited that? to straw hats, mm. and there are not that many straw hats black. Yeah. And starter deck, three D two Y. Yeah. You yeah. only have pretty much the ones that can This Robin, right? Yeah. The six cost, seven yeah. on play when attacking. Yeah, I see. That's Everything in this meta that is on play and when attacking has some sort of There was one a rush or something, I think. Th was it this uh, Luffy? Yeah, no, yeah, they yeah. Need to 10. When cost, so yeah, so you auto play that seven, uh, eight drop Luffy, and if you have stage, Thousand Sunny, and the leader effect, you automatically have a uh, 10k rusher. 10K so that's rusher. pretty nice. No, it's but, really interesting yeah. to counter like the on black meta, mm -hmm. raising the cost. But I don't know if it's quite up there to compete with the other decks. Not right the now. The other colors, uh, yeah. But it is an interesting way of playing black. Okay, we're And we're, on. we're back here. And we have the Luchi, uh, Ian, Alicia, and Renz. Yeah, Lorenz. Lorenz. Yes. So the Sanji went first, gonna go A life. Mm hmm. Yeah, I think most of the time you want to use aggro into Luchi because they're very inconsistent with their counters. Mm -hmm. They're very consistent yeah. with counter, and you don't want to get Luchi putting Morias out with a high life count because mm -hmm. then they don't have to play the blockers, yeah. they don't have to do all that. They have no fear. No fear. Just two. He counters oh. with the, the yeah. law, 2k law. But I would think with the philosophy of uh, green and the support, it's going to be having a, a good time spamming characters. That Luchi is running Rush Luchi over there? What? Yeah, that's Rush Luchi. SP Luchi Wait, the very first one? Yeah, on the trash. Six costs below Sabo. He has the Rush Luchi. Oh, oh yeah, the SP. Yeah, the SP. That's, that's interesting. <laughs> I don't think I've ever seen a Luchi. Really. I don't think I've ever seen one being played outside of back in OPO2, OPO3 format. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, because they didn't play that much. It was like a tech choice at that point. Mm -hmm. Yeah. the brook. Okay, so he's running more of a warlord's build. Mm -hmm. Check the top five. Does it do navy also, or just warlord? I think I it's think just it's warlord. Warlord, I guess, because he's like the leader, uh, the organizer. Yeah, so Mihawk. Getting a 2k there, and the the warlord's cards have a lot of the conditions. Yep. That Zoro requires to bounce a card. And, and that's gonna be our uh, four drop Jimbe from last game. It's mm -hmm. just the alternate art. So pretty. I just wanted to mention it because a lot of people, they don't know. It's like, oh, what card is this? It's a lot of alt arts in this game, so definitely always nice to remind them this is the one card from this one set. Luchi does uh, have the stage, which is really nice for them. Because once they mm -hmm. get that stage out, they'll be able to easily get rid of the four costs. Yes, both Brooks and yeah. the Kaku. I wonder if he just Brooks here. Okay, mm -hmm. he's going stage, yeah. Yeah, stage first. Stage first. And then. I've done Bridges, Weevil, and Kaku. Mm. I can see that. Okay, hmm. mm. stage, stage into Weevil. Okay. So he can't Kaku has four. Mm, okay. Just swinging Kalifa five lead. Push. Okay, takes it. He counters that one. Mm. Yeah, he's the probably debating keeping a pudding or countering with a 2k. No, or 2k. Yeah. And there he goes, Brooke. Mm -hmm. Brooke is a really annoying card it's since so it's uh, on play and one attacking. So yeah. you have to address it immediately. Or you're going to just get, you know, swept on by them. Mm hmm. And especially the stage that Brookings KO in mm -hmm. three costs for free right now. 
question is, does he have the answer? Because he's going to be at 7 Dawn. If he does have a gravity blade, it could put him in a good position. Mm. Yeah, I think uh, getting rid of them. Yeah, be a gravity blade will be good. Because mm -hmm. once Brooklyn is not in the trash, your game becomes mm. much better. Too. Not quite sure what the top end for this uh, Sora Sanji deck will be. I, I think will it's guess the Zoro and the Sanji. The Zoro and the Sanji. Yeah, I don't know, that, but I imagine. That'd be pretty crazy. So. Oh, okay. Oh, ESO so to rest. Oh, we're going straight up to get rid of that we're then. We're going to go board. Yeah, it, it is a 4K, so it's a little bit easier. And he can bounce the ESO back to hand in the end of the turn. Oh, yeah, that is correct. And re-stand. And re-stand the Jinbei to swing so twice. Hard. That would mm -hmm. be... Yeah, there's no use fighting that one then. Yeah, you just accept that. And then do you do... The, I think you... So a lot of on-play effect of use uh, for sure then. Life. Seven at life. Ezo. Bouncing the 2K, re-standing the Jinbei. Had a solid. Mm -hmm. mm. It's actually pretty fun. Yeah. Yeah, it is. Yeah, no, I like that idea. Little under the radar for sure, but a, f a fun uh, theory. Mm -hmm. The Lich's hand is not the best right now. Mm -hmm. Let's see what. Okay, he's got a finger pistol. The Tempest. Same. Oh, oh, finger pistol. Oh, Tempe Tempest. 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 Okay. Yeah. Uh, and it, yeah, they're all clips right, from the manga of that arc, so it's like similar looking. Okay, so Luchi is down to one life. That is rough times. Turn. And Sanji is still at three. And bouncing he that 2k back to hand was great. The aggro is real. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Who would imagine that Sanji Zoro is our aggro deck today? Guys, I think we shouldn't have banned uh, stage because look, look at that. He's he's already behind. What <laughs> stage? No, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Don't replace. <laughs> uh, does he? He doesn't have a Luchi in trash. The four cost. Mm -hmm. So even if he Mori is, he doesn't have any targets. He, yeah, he has like bad targets like Haku and that kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. Oof. But uh, he does have oh, the Brook. There he goes, the Mori. Okay, yeah. what's he picking? What's he picking? Let's see, back into Brook. Okay. Uh, like Did he have the sp spandine in his hand? Uh, he had it in the trash. In tra okay, I went in trash. But he doesn't have the Luchi in the trash, the forecast. Uh, what yeah, was the limitation for... Oh, oh hold on. He just so he went to yeah. destroy it. He yes. Yeah, he just mm. destroys the Jinbei. And it, it still controls the board mm -hmm. in a way. Uh, and also brings back the Brook that's very oppressive with mm. uh, one attacking. Yeah. It's a minus how many? Minus two? Minus Brook gives minus one. Minus one, so it's stage plus leader plus Brook. So point. that's already like a lot. Yeah, it's not easy. And now that you're uh, no characters, one leader, definitely I mean, he could it, just it's hard to get rid of it now. He could high, uh, like gamble, rest the Rebecca and, so, and go with lead because he is at long life. And mm -hmm. we know that he has access to that Ezo. And then he just bounces the Ezo in the end of the turn back. Mm hmm. Which could be a, a play, which might be what we're going to see now. Yep. Oh. And then They're you're just going swing for it. tall lead, 11, bouncing the Izo. You called it. That's what they're telegraphing right now. Oh. Yes. And if I could bring it back. Oh, <laughs> no. Oh, what a situation for Lucci here. Yeah, and next turn he can do it again. He is naked. Can he and, uh, can Luchi establish a second blocker? Do we have to hard cast or Moria and yeah. spend another whole eight to do that again? I mean, he doesn't have a blocker in trash. Oh, it's even worse. If he had a Sabo, Sabo would probably be nice here. But mm. Okay, yeah, they're going to swing out now. I mean, I think Sanji has a two lot easy of cards 2K. Hand. Trash two. Ooh, still no removal on the trash. Oh, he to gives the he let go of the ESO. I mean, it could be another he one. Could have yeah, we don't know. <laughs> okay. That was an easy take for nine. The, yeah, you're not, not going to counter that. I f Rebecca. Oh, Rebecca. Yeah. Rebecca, get okay, the now 2K it's back. Not so clear skies now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and he gets the Sabo. And then Sabo. Oof. Sabo over the. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, if he is able to establish maybe a nine cost Zoro Effect. this turn. That could be. Oh, and here's the Luchi. We found the Luchi. Uh oh. He's going to get the Kaku because he needs counter. He turned around so fast now. He Double did. blocker has the Brook still, has a 9k beater with the uh, Moria. Played a Sabo. Yeah. So a zero life without any unblockable. This means nothing at this point now, then. Yep. 
I mean, he does run a lot of warlords. Maybe he's running mm. that uh, two cost event. I mean, but it wouldn't uh, work on the leader. You need a warlord on the board for that. Okay. Like, green has no rushers. Blue has no rushers. Yeah, they do. Which one is blue? Holy Jones. Oh, Hody, yes. Hody would, would kind of cook here. Okay, yeah, because he has two, and he then he has two, to he eat one the uh, Saba one. Yeah, yeah. okay. Could but be. but I, don't, I don't know if he has. But, yeah. Because if he has Rebecca, he can do it if he has another Izo, but then he's swinging 5-9. Five, 5-9. Nine. Five, yeah. Nine. I mean, uh, this is his hand hand, right? Oh, so yeah, but he can also just spam Oh, oh booty. Okay. okay, that is somewhat crippling. That's what he had, what, eight cards in hand there? Yeah, I so definitely so. ate up his hand right there by doing that. Mm, yeah. uh, so I'm being updated by my uh, dear judge friend Emily here that we have uh, Yellow Mom on table 10. Okay. A Vegapunk on table 14. Perona on the other table. Uh, Yamato and a Sora on 27. Okay, so she's got a little short list of fun leaders to have an eye out, so we'll definitely consider those. Nice. Definitely the Vegapunk. Uh, I'm, 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 a, I'm yeah. on the Vegapunk train. Yeah, up here. same. No, I love the idea of Vegapunk. I was watching the games that Vegapunk top four. Oh, those yeah. are so fun. Definitely on the side of enjoying a nice Sorrow, simple, easy, <laughs> straightforward matchup here. But um, yeah, we we forced Lorenz to uh, let go of his hand. Now he's peeped that Rebecca in hand. He, uh, no, it will mess so fast. He has, he a, has a, a big, big Sabo. Uh, sa two sabos, both sabos, Tempest Kick, uh, Spandine, El and Homepo. Yeah. yeah, it's really hard to to get to Luchi after the Morias start mm -hmm. to come down. It just gives you so much value. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Mm. Mm. I think so, yeah. whatever he puts down, so it's going to get hit by Asabo. Yeah. Uh, so we're doing a clean seven. seven is gonna and that's going to be a block, right? Yeah. I M mean. Maybe even a, a block. Uh, no, no, it just mm. gives the Rebecca. Because if he ha if he top decks a Moria, he has another mm -hmm. Rebecca to play from the trash. And number four, he's going to start yeah. maybe a Jinbei into something uh, else. True combat reduction. AJ. We're currently working on that. Yep, so yeah, two bodies with the Jimbe, trying to set yeah, the lead over for next turn. All right, yeah, they know. They're working on that. It happens. Uh, yeah, thank you for letting me know, Egg. Well, they, he does have the Luchi on the trash, but he mm -hmm. doesn't have a way to access that anymore. And with the possibility of a Hody next turn, it is. Mm. Mm. Uh, trying to think what else. Okay, we're going to go for five? five. Okay. Give the reduction to Mihawk. Yeah, then he's not staying on board then. He gives the pudding. He already got that pudding effect anyways. Yep. Sorry, loud noise with the announcement here. And oh. there they go. Yep. I mean, Hody Jones would maybe win the game right now. Oh, a uh, thousand percent. Yeah. Just rest both available blockers. Rest both blockers oh. and swing tall. And then you can restand. Oh, no, mm. you can't restand because you would have to bounce. Something. Yeah. Oh. Oh, 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 oh. Rewind. <laughs> oh, zero cost zero event. Drop. Rest the Rebecca. Oh, Ooh. one less to worry about. What a trigger. Yikes. Is okay. Does he has the does, Hody? Does he have a mean to rest to that Sabo? Sabo. If he has the meat to rest the Sabo. It's coming down to the wire. This for sure the last turn of the game. I think the hoodie is coming down just based on Dawn. Does he have? The no! 5-10, Is that what they call a Wamba combo? Oh, that's so good. Wow. That was so clutch. Let's go. Soro Sanji undefeated still. That's insane. What a fun match. Good job, Lorenz. And he still had a significant uh, amount of no, counter and not enough to survive. Mm -hmm. Zoro Sanji. Yeah, that aggro 
from the be very beginning was pretty good. And being able to play your 2Ks down and bounce them back to your hand so you don't lose their value, it's... Mm -hmm. That was so good. That's Lorenz? That's Lorenz, gotcha. yeah. That's Lorenz. Good job. Yeah, adjust the camera a little bit here. Oh, that was a, a fun match. The, the aggro, the pudding, the hody. Yeah, everything yeah. just aligned. Yeah, that was really nice. Yeah. And we're back over here. Yeah, that was a really good match. Yeah, and like I said, my friend Emily, she is looking out for some matches for me to put on stream. Uh, very interesting. I don't know if these guys won or not, but I got to make sure. But, uh, like, we have Yellow Mom, Vegapunk, Perona, Yamato, and Soro. I think Perona is, like, a little iffy because we see it every now and then, you know. But like, Mom, Vegapunk, Soro, uh, Yamato mm -hmm. are definitely interesting. Yeah. Yamato is a very unique deck because it can go so many different ways. Yamato needs to win be before round four. Yamato does not pass round five. Yeah. Uh, now they're playing some Lanawana combo-ish now with Momonosuke and the Otama green now. Yeah, yeah, the yeah. signature Otama. So. I mean, it is definitely better mm -hmm. than the version that was in OP06, mm -hmm. but I still think the, the leader is, like, yeah. very fragile. For sure. A uh, lot of potential. It's just not... The delivery it needs, it but it's, it's a really, really good leader, I think. Leader. Yeah, yeah. I was excited to, uh, before yeah. the bans when Law was going rampage. Mm -hmm. I was so excited to play Yamato because Yamato cooks yeah, Law because Law yeah. can't handle double attack. Like even before Sakasuki was being, uh, it was shown. Mm -hmm. Everybody was like so concerned at how, <laughs> yeah. how Yamato. strong Yamato is, right? So that was interesting. But but I think. We're probably leaning to, to Mom or Vegapunk, Mom or, or Vegapunk. What, what do you think? Uh, I'm really interested in the Vegapunk. Yeah, so we're going to find out from Emily about the uh, Vegapunk situation, and if that's the case, if not, maybe... This started like Big Mom, right? Yeah. Oh, okay, that's yeah. another one. Uh, yeah. Let's see who won. Let's yeah, go yeah, we'll, we'll find out. We, uh, we're going a short break. We'll get that situated. We'll find you the announcement. I'll probably announce it on the chat so you can see it, because I'm, I'm reading it now. Uh, Cody showed him the fist, fish fist. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so definitely for sure, we're going to try and get you unique decks to see uh, before Singularity happens. Yeah, before all the top mm -hmm. deck is Luchi Law. And but I also know you guys want to see your favorites. Always see when I read a stream, you want to see, oh, where's Jonas? Where's Dexter? Where's Cross? All these things. So it's happening. It will happen if luck aligns and you're still on the feeder for sure. So don't Absolutely. fret. Yeah. If not, you see him until 500. <laughs> Just kidding. Just kidding. Sorry, Mike. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, if we can go on a short break, and I'll try and find people here. Uh, you got me, AJ? So we'll get you guys in a bit. Be sure to do a follow Top Cut events from Twitch. And I'll see you in a bit. Bye-bye. Pricing.
Hello everyone, we're back with round four of the Peoria Regionals. We have Vegapunk yep. uh, versus Red Purple Law. Mm -hmm. Very meta versus very off meta. <laughs> yes, something we looked forward to a while ago because uh, it was like a really interesting leader yeah. to be such low life but have the ability to bring out all these characters. And put them in life, it's uh, solid. Yeah. It, the deck did top eight. Oh, sorry, top thirty-two at the Japanese nationals. No, top four. Uh, oh, no, nationals, it, it, top thirty-two. Nationals yeah, yeah. The yeah. So yeah, it had a top four finish at SCS, the, the championship thing. Yeah, yeah, I do remember that. Uh, so that's super cool. They are four, four and zero right now. So mm -hmm. that's pretty good. And they're playing against an RP Law, and RP Law is you know RP Law is the, the meta stomper right now for sure. So actually, it's, a, it's an interesting matchup because it is a super aggro deck against very a low life. <laughs> so. We'll yeah, the, the kid killers are in full effect the whole mm -hmm. time, so yes. it's, it's a little challenging for the Vegapunk, for sure. And it's also interesting because they're a low-life leader, so imagine playing that on a body battle where you're lo you lose two life already, so you, you, start start at, <laughs> you start at zero. No, that is crazy. Yeah. Uh, so that should be a very interesting match. And, uh, no, yeah. of course, people ask what about these players, but uh, I think it's more fun and interesting to see these guys because we're going to see the black, yellow, uh, yellow Luffy, the Luchis eventually. Uh, we're going to see them on Top Gun yeah, all morning. Yeah. <laughs> you'll, you'll see them all day long tomorrow for sure, 100%. And even then, we'll feature you whatever is not you know, in the usual top five, Absolutely. depending on what tops. Because it is a top 32 event, so there's always that chance of some rogue deck sneaking in. Like mm -hmm. before, in a prior regional, we had purple, yellow, crocodile, mm -hmm. Perona, all these other decks. So purple Luffy made A lot of chances. Red, purple Luffy right now, too, could be a chance. Mm -hmm. So, so I think it's going to be interesting. Vegapunk gets a lot of support mm -hmm. in a weight to have their key yeah. cards that actually give them a lot of support to actually win. So I want to see how yeah. is his deck built because mm -hmm. a lot of the Vegapunks are not running that 10 cost ace because it doesn't allow you to uh, sync with leader ability. Yeah, but since mm -hmm. he doesn't have the other pieces of Egghead since they mm -hmm. can't, haven't come out yet, I wonder what he is filling those spots Or it might with. be more generic built also. Yeah, might more generic. Yeah, because it always, like, all the deck builders, they skip doing uh, going by a thematic mm -hmm. and they do more, more generic. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. And we have... Our first anniver Japanese anniversary uh, sleeves in my <laughs> sleeves over here. Oh, th those look yeah, really the turquoise good. ones are really nice. <laughs> With the map yeah. when you have oh, everything. Oh, it's it's so bizarre thing. seeing two life on board right now. <laughs> <laughs> so weird. It is, but I mean, Vegapunk has a few options, especially if he can go he can go I first. Agree. He can mm -hmm. add, instead of playing a character on board, he can add your life. Yeah. And then yeah. you get since Except Law can't swing, life. if you add another life, you're basically a four life leader by the turn that Law can attack. Mm -hmm. Which is just a little complicated because Vegapunk himself doesn't attack. Yeah, that is one of the disadvantages of that leader. Yeah. <coughs> uh, I think we're getting some oh, something That's prepped up over there. I'm be starting very shortly. There he's setting up your stuff. That's always going to be very interesting with, with, without Law. Oh, nine will be cool. I think we're waiting on, on uh, Tyler, the judge, to yeah, get him started with the clock. Oh, okay, yes. Possibly. I, I, I could be wrong. Yeah. Oh, there we go. Okay, so it's been up. They're moving now. All right, they got their hands. Mm -hmm. get that get that too. Is he playing a starve strategy since his leader can't mm -hmm. swing? Interesting. Could be. Loud. <laughs> Loud scream. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we did start at a different timer from them because we got to set up on everything, so. Okay, Vegapunk's going first. He is going to... Put in life the Robin. The Robin mm -hmm. is really interesting. She has a trigger that draws you two cards, so that's a pretty solid start. Mm. Oh, uh, just for production, we Colton should be the one above, or yeah, it's a little switched up. Colton it is the bottom left camera person, and he's the one playing the Vega Punk, and then Ty Shipman is the one playing the, the Law. If uh, AJ can take a peek at that. The lock can trigger the mm -hmm. the Robin. It's going to draw yeah. two. Robin goes trash. He has the Kata. Any here. chance on the player cam being swapped out? On play? And that we will have to correct people on camera and their names aligned too. If possible. If not, it's not a big deal, guys. Uh, 
I am being updated on some other matchups. Uh, table 19, Yamato versus Katakuri. RP Luffy at Table 17. Reiju, Table 24. Blue Dofi versus Propo Luffy at Table 32. Mm -hmm. Okay, very That's interesting. Nice. Yes. And there goes the Gedatsu so by Sachi Penguin. Yes, since the leader can swing, the Gedatsu gets a lot of value there, mm -hmm. leaving a lot of four alive. All right, we got the overlay completely fixed. <laughs> Thank you guys for your patience. We appreciate you. Yeah, this is a really nice camera and setup, actually. Very nice. Yeah. He's had this double kid killer right now, which mm. I believe is why he wants to see in this matchup. Yeah, full gas. No breaks. Uh, blocker law. Oh, it's bonk play, actually. It's not double oh, kid killer, it's just one. Does this deck play like the generic uh, yellows, like beige and onami, or does mm, it abstain from no. that? No. Because it needs, uh, you can only put in life or activate mm. Vegapunk's effect with uh, Egghead stuff. Oh, uh, okay. Oh, okay. So you get a little locked by those. But luckily, they're pretty decent cards. They're not bad. It's going to be bottom decking the Gadatsu. And there goes Gadatsu. Uh, the Hiep, that's this card. Yeah. Wait, is that hand? That's the thing, right? Yeah. So he does have a chance to be putting. Oh, Ooh, that is nice. Puts the robin on the back to board. Robin. Very nice. Unfortunately. What? Oh He's cooked. God. Damn. <laughs> uh, well, that's unfortunate. This, this is card games. <laughs> yeah. Uh, no counter. Okay. <laughs> yeah, Vegapunk's oh worst matchup is Red yeah. Purple Law. Wow. What? And Dry. Um, is that what? One, two, three, four. All right, so who wants to play an exhibition match right now? <laughs> Do you want to play a game? I'll play a game. <laughs> yeah. If we have decks, I'll play a game. Do you, do you have your own deck? Uh, I can get one. Yeah, I have mine deck. Okay, what are you playing? We got have an L. Sounds good. Uh, but let's find out if we can do that because that was an, a very short game and want to provide you some kind of gameplay. Yeah. Uh, wow. Yeah, it was uh, big yikes. Big yikes. Welcome to the recent law is getting banned. No, it's not, it's not necessarily that. It is just a very unfortunate. Uh, uh, Vegapunk just draw. drew bricks. Vegapunk has a really oh good amount of two Ks, but I think on their eight uh, card hand they had one K counter. <laughs> Is yeah, it? oh my goodness. And they didn't have a target to put it in life either, oh my god. Wh what a way to go on that one, super bad RNG, oh. that is, I feel so bad. And we're also excited to see, oh my god, it's Vegapunk, we're gonna see that and... Let's wait for OPO8, OPO8, we got Yeah, I guess it, it, it uh, reached for the skies and it got burned. <laughs> what? That's great. Poor Vegapunk, the aggro was real here. Yeah. Uh, let me... Yeah, because we don't want to put you at some break. Uh, let me ask. Uh, we can play. We'll put some, yeah, we'll, yeah. Let's, okay, I'm let's, just going to go get my deck. Let's get some. Yeah, we'll put in a game between Julia and I because something else to do. Why not? So, okay. This will not be tournament. This is just exhibition, guys. Don't panic. Yeah, so we're going to swap it here. Okay. I want to have a cool egghead match, too, is what makes me sad. I know. You're telling me. You, uh, just topping, you know? Yeah, I've, I've had, I've, I think I've had, like, unlucky hands today, because I've been, like, trying to have fun with decks, because I'm just, like, trying to get in the better habit of doing that. Yeah. Um, and, like, my Luchi opponent, granted, they had, like, a big misplay, like, throwing away a 2k, but then after that, they drew, like, no more 2ks. They just kept milling them. I was like, all right, cool, I'll put the Robin into life, I'll get something back. <coughs> just, yeah, yeah I, I saw the Robin, you passed the beat on, I was like, he was like countering that or something weird. And then like, um, play the Gadatsu. I'm like, okay, he's like a pretty fine hand still. Dude, I'm so sorry. Oh my god. Damn. It's a game. Yeah. It is a game. It is a game. Like, I was like, alright, cool, I can get rid of this Gadatsu, do that, and then, alright, cool, you're gonna bomb deck it, whatever. Oh, hey, look. Toppin. Cool. Cool. I was like, oh, cool, I get to be on stream, I get to have fun. Absolutely brutal. But good well, game. Good game. That was, I mean. You still, you still got a 3 1 record, so it's like, not bad. That's fine. <laughs> Putting another match on the stream? Yeah. Are we going to go play? We're going to play Porkfong yeah. today. Fair enough. Yeah. yeah thanks. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It's a very non game. <laughs> 
I have gone two times. Is that your deck? Yeah. Okay, well, yeah, like, like, I, I've seen a lot of non games of One Piece, but like, that was. Yeah. Alright, I'm going out there. <coughs> you playing Nami? No, like, Karar, you play this. No, I'm not playing it. Okay. This is super discouraging. That that is. I felt so bad. Me too. I was not expecting that. Okay. Bonnie, Bonnie, Bonnie. Bad guy gets better in 08. He gets Every bad guy called Coper. Yeah. <laughs> no, but he gets two really good cards. is the mm. Bonnie and the Egghead Nami. Yeah. They do add some good value to the deck. Hyro? Yeah, for Hyro. Is it streaming? It's already streaming. Okay. Seven. One, seven. What do you want? Uh, I will go second. Okay. Good luck. Okay, so I'm going first. I mean, I think I keep it. And Bonnie, Bonnie, Bonnie. I'm gonna mulligan that. Throw Tom sleeves. Good luck. All right, so I'm going first. Uh, that is go. Sounds good. Draw. Shoot. One. Bonnie. Play Bonnie. Use Bonnie. One. I'll take Scratchman. Go ahead. It's only a 2k on play. What else? Uh, on play, rest one of your opponent's characters if it okay. costs like two or less. All right. It's Bonnie. <laughs> okay. Here we go. Bonnie goes. Okay, let's draw. Two. Five at your lead. Five. Okay. For Roge and the turn or Roge ability, pass. Yep. Oh, no. Option here. Ten. I'm gonna take that. No turn. Here we go. Sounds good. Oops. Drop. I can please have clear Jordan Chappelle to the Southern Station at this time. Jordan Chappelle, your pod is. Let's go five at your lead. Yep. How many dawn are you going at next turn? I'm gonna go to seven. Five Cavendish, two long back up. Mm -hmm. Two, eight at your lead. Okay. End of turn. Go ahead. Yep. Nomad game <laughs> at all. Oh no. Yeah. Uh, 
12. Um, he goes. Yeah, here we go. Oops. Trash. You're going to nine next turn? Mm hmm. Uh, we're going to freeze one of your dawns. Mm hmm. Just as a restand. Uh, let's go seven at your lead. Seven. You played. You have two up? I have two up, yes. And two come back up from Cavendish. <laughs> okay. Uh, I'm gonna. Yep. That's a lot uh, of cards. <laughs> what would be a good draw? I think. Oh. Okay. Yeah. Then we'll go nine life. Hmm. Okay. I should have counted that then. And he has end of turn? No, it has to be Roche. Yeah, okay. yeah, it has to be Roche. No dawn up. Uh, uh, eight cost ten. Okay, Man. go ahead. Yeah, I fudged that so hard. Uh, <laughs> what's that? You have seven in hand? Eight in hand? Yeah, seven in hand. Five, four, five. Uh, just eight, category. Uh, he's on play. One attack. Uh, the cabin to the uh, bottom. Sounds good. Yeah. And then, here we go. So, Draw. Shoot. Six at your lead. You're all 10. Uh, yeah. What can be 10? Yeah. Sorry. 10. Fucked. Discard. Yep. Nami. Seven at your lead. Seven, we're gonna hold E rest the card. Oh, the rush. You're tapped okay. out, right? Yeah, I have one up, but. Oh, okay. Eight at your lead. That's the many cards in hand I'm using. Uh, Hody. Nine. Go ahead. Draw. To no, Hody? Nine. Okay. Six. No, I regret doing that. Uh. Oh, I don't. Even, I can't even play that crap. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Six into Bonnie. Two. Yeah. I like myself out of that because you hoed it. Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, whatever. And heal, yes. and here we go. Yep. Yeah. I'm mm -hmm. mm. 
six at your lead. Counter. Okay. Seven at your lead. Seven left. Eight left. Eight left. Oh, I'm, no, yeah, that's why. Uh, Wow, uh, no. This card, three total. Mm -hmm. uh, one, two. These two, leader. Mm -hmm. This card. Mm -hmm. Three total. Sounds good. Eight at your lead. Mm-hmm. Yep. <sighs> oh, you have an arrow hoodie? Yeah, you got it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this hoodie. Yeah. 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 I, yeah, I opened yeah. triple yeah. hoodie in hand. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, no, I I always forget that Hody takes a life, so it's like, yeah, yeah, I'm gonna go on five, I'm gonna go on five. Like, oh, that happened. Yeah. Yeah. The Hody yeah. takes. Was that? Do you have all three in hand? I had. I opened three. I always That's started the game with three in hand. Yeah. So I was like, usually I play a little more cautious around mm -hmm. that now, but I was like, yeah. we're just gonna rush you down. No, nah, that was. I hope I hope people enjoyed. It. No, I I, def I definitely like I should have not taken all those lives too early because I took him wait. When yeah, they you should have taken the six. I took him when they were, were low. Uh, I should have countered him out here. So. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Hopefully that up, ate up enough time. Mm -hmm. And we can go on a break and then go back to the next round. Yay. Cool. This is Kevin's deck, right? Who's next? Dex. No, it wasn't it. Who's? I don't know. It's his deck, right? Oh, is that hit? Oh, yeah. okay. I don't know. Okay. Yeah. Oh, there. All right. Yes, and I'm back. All right, yeah, that was not the greatest game. I misplayed a lot. Uh, so I'm being updated by Emily, the judge, that Katakuri won, RP Luffy lost, Dofi won. So uninteresting matchups. Uh, Katakuri can't possibly break that hard, right? So I'm sure it'll be a longer game. Uh, RP Luffy lost, Dofi won. I think we could see a Katakuri. We haven't seen Katakuri in a while. Uh, you guys let me know. Katakuri on stream by Angel. Yeah, I think... Yeah, we'll put on Katakuri on stream. We'll go find this individual. I, I don't know their name. I don't know their table. So we'll go, we're going to go find them. And we're going to go on break. And we'll start up with round five with hopefully Katakuri if they consent to be on the stream. So I'll catch you guys and Julian in a bit. So we're going to go on a break. And we'll see you after this break for round five. Uh, we're on round five, by the way.
They were 270, Nathan B, and Jeffrey S. It's a fourth.
Hello everyone, we're back to round five after our Vegapunk game and our small yeah. oh. uh, showcase. Yeah, we're back, back to, to our normal schedule. We're on a five flat leader matchup now. Yeah, not yeah. you, not you. Yeah, we have a Katakuri and a Doflamingo, a Blue mm -hmm. Dolphin. So, uh, so far, I think there's two on the feet of Dofis. Which is yeah. interesting, very so much. So it's, uh, I believe it's Ape, no, Raphael How's is Ruby the, doing? she is undefeated also on oh, table she's four one of or the five. Other. Nice. Yeah, so right now top tables is Pedro Cabrera, aka Kush, uh, against Karar. Oh. Oh, that that is yeah. We're getting that to that spicy. point where it's like good players playing each other. Yep. Uh, Joseph Bush against uh, uh, Lorenz. Mm -hmm. That's how you say Lorenz. Yeah. Lorenz. Yeah. And he beat Chris Pack last round actually, so that's that's a big yeah, win. Yeah, he, uh, he puts a Shane lot of effort. Shane Sloan against Camacho. Mm -hmm. Michael Imiofa, aka Crosshair. You know him from that against uh, James Newman. Uh, Wimmy against a Max Witt. Hassan, Mohedim, mm -hmm. Gerardo Lopez. I, I can't tell if that's Jerry from California. I forget that's his last name. Mm. It might be Jerry from California. Yep. Uh, I don't recognize Ty Shipman. He's the fellow that was here earlier on stream, and he won with the uh, RP Law. Yep. So, uh, yeah, um, we have some nice yeah. names. Quan Le, the winner of last PR, you know, is still on the feeder oh, right wow. now. Uh, what else? Dexter, right? Hey, he's Have on the feed. There we go. Top tables. And yeah, that's the last variety. And like I said, we're going to have a blue Dolphy against uh, Yellow Katakuri right now. Five laugh leader, a guaranteed longer game. Yes. For not, sure. Not going to end in two minutes. Uh, I, I think it's, I haven't seen Katakuri be played since the reject days. So yeah, people kind of dropped Katakuri because then yeah. they just got so much techs. But it, Katakuri is still, so, still solid. Tank it's just, mom still it's, does. Yeah. It, it's so good to heal every turn. You know, every turn you play in a healer card, which I never saw. No. <laughs> uh, <laughs> it's so good. Like, I didn't see any of those. Yeah, no, I saw him. I just couldn't have a perfect for to play him. But uh, yeah, having the Kata, having the Yamato, the Ace, the Ace, all those tools in disposal, and being able to afford playing a the Kingdom Come. Yeah, the Kingdom Come. Yeah. The so definitely a lot of chances to be at one life and still benefit from that. Whilst Katakuri can't really do that. Katakuri needs to. I guess establish big mom ASAP. Yeah, you, you want big mom, like multiple yeah. big moms on the field. Uh, I wonder if the Dofi is running the bottom deck event, the six cost. Cause a, a Red Rock? Yeah, the Red yeah. Rock. Because people have kind of dropped that and replaced it there with the seven cost Gravity Blade. Yeah, so. And, and against this matchup, he really needs the. Mm -hmm. It might be a one off tech, possibly. It's yeah. a. Definitely See an what option. I can do. I mean, they're both 5 0, so I'm sure they're doing something. Absolutely, role. yeah. Doing something right. Luck permitted, of course, because <laughs> we already know what happened with luck last round. And we're still setting up the uh, playing area over there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we're yeah. getting to that needy greedy now. Mm -hmm. We only see. If, yeah, this is currently uh, we are. There's 25 tables still featuring undefeated players, mm -hmm. uh, and we picked up table 25 with uh, Abe and Raphael. Yeah, that's gonna be. And after that, it goes to the X ones. We have like Eric and. Impact and who Yo do you Jonas. Think, is uh, who do you think has the upper hand in this match? Uh, if this Dofi plays it like Wimmy does with the Kaido, mm -hmm. I mean, uh, I think he can just pump out bodies and get more bored. But I don't know if this Kaido is the one that, like, oh, we're going to play Pearl on trigger, play. Yeah, Cracker you don't know. You don't, it depends yeah, on the It depends on, on their, their play and if they have trigger bodies. If they have trigger bodies, they can definitely get their own board advantage mm -hmm. and their own 12K uh, attacker. Yeah. And that's pretty big, whereas Dofi can't recover from that. Mm -hmm. And I guess they have Moria to recover their blocker Dofi. Mm, so it's kind of small. So we're starting up here. We'll and see. Oh, OK. So we now have the opening hand on the on the left side of the oh, screen. Oh, perfect. So that's why we're waiting a little bit, because we want to set up so you all know that knowledge. That's really, that's a great hand for the yeah. Kata, too. And for both of them, have pretty decent hands. Mm -hmm. Putting Ling Lin. Oh, so Amon 2K. Yeah. Okay. Amaru. That is a they have quite a fun card. Oh, look at that. The championship pudding. Oh, Yay. boy. So Raphael means business over he here. He does. So. Okay, so Do uh, Dofi went first. Kata is on his second turn. On the first to Dawn. Gonna get the San Sanji blocker. Okay. Another card we haven't seen in quite a bit. It's been a while. Yeah, it's uh. I mean, triggers that you have to discard a card have fallen off in comparison to a Kiku and that kind of stuff. Yeah, because they're free. Yeah. 
maybe it's like a power creep kind of thing. Mm -hmm. uh, but they have their own advantages. But Ooh. Okiko does heal you. He hits the blind Jinbei. Jinbei. That's yeah. nice Oof. for the Doki. Can he play? Yes! Yeah. And then he draws Free a Weeble card. and draw. That is insane. That was Pretty really good. Song. Is the Kata going to counter that? Is it debating that? The seven? I think yeah. it's too early to do uh, two cards for seven. I mean, he did. I oh, would have taken it. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, because if, if that's a trigger body, so he's in a much better let position. Let go right? of Sanji and what's the two three drop? Pearl? Yeah, Pearl, no. yeah. Okay. Uh, so I think he's going to go seven at Jinbei. Mm -hmm. Check line. Katakuri is the only other leader that has a boost attack next to Smoker. Yes. Yeah, so... Potentially going for 16 for game is a uh, thing that can happen. Is a possibility. Yep. Pharaoh's pair is a little not as good in this matchup just because of the amount of mm. bottom deck stuff you have on blue. Yeah, bottom decking so uh, into KO uh, only effect characters is a little soul crushing for them, I guess. So much. Oh. <laughs> What's the. Oh. Is that an alt target at two? Uh, I do no, think his no. deck. That, that's is the Amande. That's the Amande. Yeah. But I do oh, think no, it, beige. It's beige. I oh. think his deck's full bling, though. Yeah. We can tell. <laughs> we can tell that pudding. So seven the seven we take. I will go ahead and take that. See, do we hit anything? Nope. I'll rest four. Uh, is that 10 cost okay, SP Jinbe. Big Mom? Yeah. Another Jinbei play. Jinbei is on top mm -hmm. of his game today. Double Jinbei into Evo? That's insane. That's so good for Doku. All the draws, all the 6k pressure. Yeah, Kata really going to uh, need some Monami's in life and stuff like that. He draws mm -hmm. another pair, which is not really what you want to see. Counter RNG deck versus better RNG. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, so. um, Breaker, yes, this is Julia uh, from Dexter, uh, from Riley TCG. <laughs> yeah. Ada the Weevil. Yep. Peek the card. Ooh, we're moving to the bottom. Could be a life-saving trigger, rather. Yeah, it could be a badge, zero-cost event. Amar, there are so many options. I'm going to put the other it's pair. Oh, now. that's the SP tender big yeah. mom. Okay, that's pretty fancy. That is really beautiful. Regretfully, not the, uh, the price card one. <laughs> that would be so extra. That would. Um, is the Dolphy going to seven? I think he's going to just counter. A yeah, this is a <laughs> four rarity, max rarity deck over here. Everything is foil. Pretty yeah. nice, pretty nice. We'd love to see it. See what we got. Ooh. Ooh, oh, the, the Onami Ooh. before he gets to attack. Yeah. And now he's going to gravity blade both of them, I imagine. Yep. No search for you. No search, no vet. I mean, at least he got to swing with one of them one. Mm -hmm. All right, so Kata's on the reset. So, uh, so Kata's going to eight, right? Eight. Uh-huh, I think so. Uh, he can establish a... S does he have a seven cost, Big Mom? I don't remember. Mm, no, he has a ten Lin Lin and a Mario and a Kiku. Uh, and I didn't quite catch the other card. Um, it's the amount that have been there then. So didn't he let it go earlier? Yeah, be before the uh, oh, Onami. Okay, yeah. yeah, so it's something else. It's kind of hard. Or it might be another one. <laughs> yeah. It looks reddish. Uh, it, it could be a 2K Sanji. I, I'm not sure. Uh, right now I'm tilting my head to find out. Yeah, no, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm intri mm, intrigued. Doesn't look like an alt art. Is oh, a Mar? Oh, a Mar oh, red. It's like Mar reddish. What's yellow? Has that kind of background. <laughs> We'll figure it out. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm sure we'll see it. Oh, we're doing the five pudding. Because he, okay. he, he is Easy really counter. not going to go down to that three life for that Oki. Could you get the effect? Mm -hmm. All right. So Wouldn't next turn is Big Mom turn. Mm -hmm, for sure. And it's one gravity blade down. Yeah, but, it, I mean, this board is not the best for gravity blade because... Pudding is already rested. Mm -hmm. Just got to see how you're going to get rid of it. And it's also uh, a character that already did his job. It's Arch already, so yeah, it's already not much. Maybe the Okiku, it could be something, he because then the you can. third Jinbei. <laughs> wow. He didn't play a stacker the whole game. He just hit the Jinbei. That's insane. 
I believe that's called, called the Hearts of the Cards. Yeah, no, bro, bro is also sure. Oh, and Trigger, attack, Cracker, cracker. Okay. letting go of the Amaru. Oh, Maybe like now the grab, oh, the bow, a bottom, like the pudding, freezes the Cracker. Strong. Oof. Yeah, that boy is pretty fierce. It is. It is very strong. But I mean, Tenkos Big Mom is coming down right now. Mm -hmm. Which kind of so put Dove is a little bit of an right. awkward position. Especially it's if he doesn't have It's definitely a card that Blue can only address with the Red Rock. Because I don't, I don't think they're going to don't up all 10 into maybe Boa. No, Kill, no. no that'd be, that'd be, so Boa would be that. swinging 18 and a 12, which you like, if that's your only option, yeah. is not the worst, but... Might come down to that. Mm -hmm. He can also establish his own Kaido next turn if he draws into the Kaido. Yes. <laughs> oh, that was good to get that trigger out of life, the mm -hmm. Gravity Blade trigger. Would be heal, heal, heal. Okay, <laughs> 10 dollars Start with easy five, soft five, maybe. Let's go five at your leader. Okay, we're gonna be taking. Mm. Is it a trigger? It is. Boa can't, Boa can't attack. I mean, that's what we were talking about before mm -hmm. the match starts. It's gonna be up to the triggers who draws yep. better here. The beige. It's not yeah. the beige. Thank you, all 500 of you guys that are joining us to watch this event. Thank uh, you so we're much. having a great time. Hope you're enjoying it. And also, thank you for tuning in if you're coming from Europe or another continent, because I know it's late for you guys. Mm -hmm. So, eight at lead. Gonna be reaching the law. Pretty good. And it makes bottom um, makes you bottom deck a card from if hand. If you have six or more in hand, yeah, which I don't like, think it's pretty low. Has. But yeah. he can bounce himself back to hand, so he gets a 2k. That is true. A 2k has a hit and a half. Yeah. A free 2k, essentially. Mm, I wonder what that trigger is. Is it a heal trigger? Debating. Mm -hmm. Mulling on whether to take yeah. or trigger. Especially if it's one of those triggers that you have to pitch cards when he only has two uh, in hand, it is hard. And it is. Ooh, the Thunderbolt. Oh. KO the law. Goodbye, low. Yeah, so he no doesn't. No 2k for you. No 2k. I'll rest six. six for the bottom deck Blade event. Boa. Oh no, another boa. Big mom won't be able to Freeze the mom. Turn. That's good too. And I'll pass that. Can he top deck another? T oh no, he still has the SP 10 mom. He had double 10 moms in hand. That was the other card we were trying to see what it was. Uh, the ten. fire. They're looking. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. The the ugly ten Sorry, mom. Said, uh, that looks. No. No. I mean, it's it good art. Cool. It's just not to people's preference because objectively, it, it is. You know, the guy, the artist is really good and everything. No, just, I think it's an amazing. Like it's ugly because they were not like, trying to make Big yeah. Mom look cute and pretty, but it's an amazing art for sure. Five at crocodile. Absolutely. Mm, are we gonna? Yeah, we're gonna try to get some. Seeing this makes me, makes me remember, like, why did we let go of this deck? Because it's still so oppressive. Maybe it's the speed that it has. Yeah, I, yeah, I feel like the deck is not consistent enough for nine rounds. You're going to have one game that you hit all the triggers, and you're mm -hmm. going to have another game that you're going to have six bricks in hand, not a single trigger. How did it do against Gecko? Because I think... Um, mm, I don't think it does yeah, good. It, Gecko it, has Sabo and Rebecca's that can easily block those big mom uh, swings. Like with the Ice Age, I'm sure, yeah, it would take it down really easily. Uh, Luchi, maybe, maybe not. Uh, maybe without the stage now. Yeah, without the stage, might be hard. Yeah. But if they get Isho down, hitting two cards. Oh, Isho is nasty. too strong now. Isho is nasty. One thing I've seen a card fall out of favor has been Stussy. Yeah, I think Stussy just, uh, her cost versus her benefit right now mm -hmm. in the meta is just not that much. Every single deck is playing two bodies every turn almost, and Stussy only clears one. They still like Stussy. So we're the last life. Mm. Yeah, and this is where it's rough times for yellow uh, when it's not an L because okay, draw a card. Their only healing option is going to be their big mom. Spend ten to play a big no, mom. for ten, yeah, big mom. mom. Oh, here we go, the SP. The pudding goes to the trash. Yep. Not that it was going to do much this game anymore. I mean, generally, if the kata and the kata moved the life to the bottom, he knows what his bottom line yeah, is. Yeah, so. 
So it'll he be, might be really safe. I don't really think they play the zero cost event, right? Yeah, I think they do. They Absolutely. Do. Kata is such a bricked deck. Mm -hmm. Because I do recall back in the day they were playing the Amaru or the uh, Okiku Supremacy, I believe it was called, mm -hmm. for that heal on zero life. Yeah. It's pretty good. Eight lead. Uh, straight up. Eight to, eight? Face. Yeah. Yeah, eight to face. What are we going to see? Oh, another trigger? No, that's Adds just. to hand. Oh. Nine lead. It's looking bleak. Yeah. Does he have it? He knows the life. Is the life something? It's, it's got to be has something. two in hand or three in hand? Three. three. In, based on the glare, I think it's three. Mm -hmm. Oh. Oh, the Amaru. the Amaru. He put the Amaru on the bottom. Definitely. This card, too. Wait, wait, he, he only had two one? in hand? He had three in hand. Okay, so he has one as the Onami. Okay, yeah. so that's a banish. That he can give banish but to now, all the big moms. Now, Ape has two twelves and a six, a five, and lead. So that's... That's rough. Yeah. Uh, can Dofi block her Lofi up, maybe? has. I think that's the only route that they have to they have to block her out. Especially because there's already two Amaras in the trash. Mm -hmm. So the blockers are somewhat safe. Oh, we're going to go big. Seven X. Into board. Yeah. Yeah, you just let that go. You can't counter that. And then for six, bottom a big mom. Mm -hmm. Ooh. I think that's Four. what's coming. Oh, no. Red Rock. More, oh, okay. Yeah. Fetching blocker. Put Mm. Oh, oh. Fetching counter. Counter, okay. And then he plays the three cost Dofi, maybe? He could, yeah, if he has it, yep. There we go. So, no, Abe go has to start. clear three obstacles to get the zero life lethal. He has four swings. Was that double Helmblade? Uh, uh, I didn't really see the top deck. Mm. All right, so we have four attacks. Oof. Does he have the out? Uh, so, what? Oh, huh. <laughs> you're no, like the, uh, the hand gesture threw me off. It's like, wait a minute. Did he scoop? No. And so, basically, I don't know the hand he has count an for Raphael. And the other one, I can't really see. But I think he has to go lethal now. He's not it, surviving. Yeah, because if he goes three swings that connect. Yeah, nine. Nine, okay, that's good. Uh, Let's do 12, uh, 12, 12, yeah, 12, he'll take and then take the 12th with blocker and then the rest on Kada with boost plus one. Yeah. Yeah, okay, 12, 12 block. Okay, I think 13. that's... Uh, that might be game. The remainder. 14. Yeah, so it's okay, seven. Go to 14, leave yeah, him. okay. 11. So 11. Oh, Dang. yeah, he needed another 2K, right? No, he's from 13. He didn't have an out. Yeah, it was p plus. Yeah, so it's uh, 7, 2, 12, 13 into yeah. 11. 7, 9, 11. Yeah. He needed a, yes, a 2K and a 1K more. Mm -hmm. uh, mm, yeah, no, Kata takes it. Yeah, Katakuri advances undefeated. Uh, and, Do and Dofi hits it's three like Jinbeis and still lost. That's insane. Yeah. yeah. I only have but also the, only uh, he only uh, Amaru was yeah. the, no, the key no, one. No, 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 no. It's very smart to put it yeah, on the bottom. Mm -hmm. I wish my chat would update a lot better. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that was that was close. <laughs> Dang, I can't uh, believe even with all my lucky Jimbe's. I know that was kind of crazy, but that's okay. Let's do an update on the tables. Uh, mm -hmm. I earned that at Gen Con. Uh, Car oh, wait, oh, Karar, Karar, did beat Kush. Okay. Uh, Lorenz lost, unfortunately. Sorry, all these Sora Sanji stands. Still X1. But it's still in contention good, yeah. for day two. So Absolutely. he can still win out. And then uh, uh, Michael Emilio. Oh, Cross lost. Oof. Uh, I think this is Jerry. Uh, Gerardo Lopez, he won. Uh, Tyler White. Uh, no one else has. Oh, Dexter won. Dexter won. Let's okay, go, very good. Boy. Gordon Palmer won. Sounds familiar. I don't recognize many other names. These are the X1s already. Yep. Okay, long list match has not concluded yet. Uh, yeah, but this is um, still a lot of interesting decks to be seen. But I think we're going to reach that point. We're going to go to round six. So yeah, we're going to We're going to try and find... Uh, well, maybe Karar. Has yeah, maybe he, Kar Karar. he has an interesting build. So, funny coincidence. Uh, someone that supports my page came out to me and said, Yo, I had the fraud has lost. And he tells me he's playing BY Luffy. And then he swings, and a trigger happens against his RP Law player, and it's Fire Fist. <laughs> and then Julia tells me, oh, Karar's playing a fun build with, like, Fire Fist. Like, oh, 
Oh. Could that oh. be the same guy that the guy lost to? Uh, it, not yeah. a lot of laws are running Fireface. Yo, Fireface sure. is the vein of my existence. It's the reason why I couldn't get pricing at EU Nats la uh, last season. Aww. It was my, it was my last round against a Soro, mm -hmm. and I swung out with the Don, and it blocked me from going for Lito. Oh. Yeah. It's like, that, what that does this hurts, card do? <laughs> Because it, it, it was the, uh, the the second fire fest, not not the old one. No, yeah. The, yeah, 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 the, yeah. The the original one. Yeah, that was a very scuffed event. Cause it was I played Zephyr, Purple Luffy, uh, Katakuri. I played a uh, couple couple Sakas. Mm -hmm. It was very diverse, but yeah, seeing the Purple Luffys, it just took me off because it was a uh, very bad new, very bad times for Wiper back then. Yeah, yeah, it was our, rough. It's just law blocker, discard, discard. Oof, yeah, it was. I remember that. Awful. Yeah. Well, you were on no, you were on purple by then, purple yellow. Yeah, I was on yeah, purple yeah, yellow by that then. Time. Yeah, purple yellow had a really bad matchup into White Beer, but had a solid mm -hmm. matchup into Zoro and Law. Yeah, and that's absolutely. That's why kind of. Did you uh, make accommodations to go to Dallas uh, later? We are gonna awesome. go. Uh, Dexter has his invite. I don't have mm -hmm. mine, but I'll be like saying hi. Did first. you get into the LCQ? The last chance qualifier. Uh, yeah, yeah. Nice. I, I added too. Yeah. Just to play it. Uh, I'll, 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 let's see what we get. <laughs> yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. And it's also a nice opportunity because it is just not uh, North American finals. Mm -hmm. It is Wave 1 Bandai Card Fest. So it's going to be a plethora of other Bandai games, the Union Arena. Yeah, there's always so uh, much to Digimon, do. Digimon, BSS. Uh, Dragon so it'll Ball be really cool. Be, Dragon yeah, Ball yeah. Dra uh, Dragon Ball might have some presence. I do believe, uh, I stand to be corrected, they have a separate finals. At a different time and venue. Yeah, they I have believe. a reg an event happening there. Yeah, th I'm sure they have something going on every now and then. Mm -hmm. uh, then, yeah, it was cool. The, I like the card fest idea because they brought out like the boys. If you're a fan of the show uh, for Digimon or One Piece, they mm -hmm. did bring out the musician that does the intros. Oh yeah, no, it was so cool. Oh, that was a dream come through because like, how would you expect you know follow the series? I see, oh my gosh, the guy sings the the intro. Yeah. Like. Four of them, I think, yeah. No, I, uh, I have a lot of friends in Brazil that absolutely love the song, and I oh, sent yeah. them a video of me like... Yeah, no, One Piece like, is very big in Latin America. So yeah, big. So it's, uh, me and my friends, we got this like group tattoo. Oh, I have something similar. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Well, you have the X. I have just the uh, the, uh, the the Teach. Oh, of course. And I have... Yes, it's from the panel from uh, oh, Island. Yeah, so I have Those this so good. really nice... Uh, like super thin lines yeah. I like that. that one's cool too you yeah. have different characters in each one I think yeah and then uh, Dexter has Ace and my mm -hmm. friends have all their favorite characters yeah that one's a really nice <laughs> idea because you can put on the character within the X mm -hmm. yeah it's super simple low key very demure very, <laughs> demure. Demure. very modest very modest exactly <laughs> uh, yeah so we're gonna try and find out what else is still going on uh, let's see one more refresh on the pairings I do appreciate I can see pairings on my phone on like other events. Uh, okay. So like all the Dofies are now out of contention for undefeated. Oh. As far as I'm aware now. Uh, Jerry won. Tyler White. Alex Williams. Rack Rogers. Quan I mean, Le. He's a power winner, I believe. Oh, okay. Uh, he won Kinemon. Oh, days. back in the day. I think he was like the first Kinemon winner. The oh, only wow. one. Back in the day. That's yeah. Cool. And that, that's where the... Uh, this is. This needs to get fixed. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, yeah they have something the is weird going on there for yeah. that pairing. Uh, I'll go tell him to check it out yeah. once we go on. Break. This sounds familiar. Who's this? I don't know. It's jo Jordan. Sounds familiar. Palmer. Uh, yeah. I think uh, Jordan Palmer got thirty-two in California last uh, weekend. Possibly. Yeah, I think we are very likely to see uh, Karar spin on RP Law. He was very looking much, very much looking forward to seeing uh, to play this event for that that he ditched me. <laughs> it's okay. I, I yeah. have a better part. It's, it's okay. <laughs> Happy having a great time over here. Uh, Karar's a long-time friend of mine, so uh, definitely. Great guy. Yeah, uh, we'll, en we'll enjoy casting his game over here. And then uh, maybe he'll play. Well, I don't know the, the, the algorithm on what we'll play each other. I don't know if it's table two that goes down to yeah, uh, table we'll one. Uh, it might be this Joseph Bush fellow, mm -hmm. maybe. I, I, I don't know how the algorithm works. Oh, no, it should be the last, usually, right, ideally. So let's see if this actually ends up happening. So the last person on the undefeated would be five, five, four, four. It ends right here at a uh, Nolan where okay. possibly don't quote me on that. Yeah. So uh, maybe we're going to go on a little break. We're going to end the round and we'll resume. We'll bring you on 
finally an RP LoL match? Because I know you guys have been dying to see one of those, you know? Yeah, the other yeah. one was so long. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, we, ha we have one that was a little bit too quick. <laughs> so thank you guys for watching, tuning in. We appreciate if you're coming by from Latin America or Europe to watch this. So we'll see you in a bit for the next round. This appeared to be player one on that side. It should be flipped. Oh, just flipped it and it was. Just the work I guess that wouldn't matter, right? That would flip and still look fine. Yeah.
Like, oh, of course, man.
judges, if you are not helping a player at this time, I mean, all judges not decide that it's up front at this time. Attention, one of these players is round 16, he's not posted on RPI. Once again, round 16, he's not posted.
Hey guys, welcome back to the uh, Top Coat Events Bureau Regional, and we have a little more meta now. Uh, so we're we're getting have, to that point. Yes, we. I saw the wins and losses here. We lost a few uh, good players. Now we're going to be having RP Law against Gecko Moria. We have uh, our friend Karar over here, uh, the original commentator for the this event. The one that asked me to do it. <laughs> yeah, so we have him playing um, a particular build of RP Law. Mm -hmm. It has some little spice to it. Very spicy. So we'll see if it uh, pays off into a Gecko Moria deck. Mm -hmm. I didn't quite catch the name of the, of the uh, opposing player, but we'll see it in a bit on the display. He's on uh, Moria. Yeah, r the, uh, like the name, yeah, some Moria. So we're trying to find that out. And we're going to take a second to let them set up. And as an added bonus, as you might have seen, we are putting in the opening hands. So the viewers can see what they have available and how they can do their game uh, in the first few turns at least. So a little, little nice graphic bonus, I'd say. And yeah, this was, <laughs> I already lost track. This is round six, right? Yeah, we're round yeah, six. Yeah, so round six, possibly 10 rounds of Swiss, top 32 tomorrow. Top 32 tomorrow. Um, so yeah, so six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11. Um, we'll see. Uh, we lost a few people. I, I think Jonas lost, Chris Sock lost. Dexter uh, lost. Dexter lost. Uh, yeah, so definitely okay. a lot of uh, openings for the undefeated to be featured. People that haven't been on stream before, so that's really cool. Okay, we are and here. And we have Captain Skis over here mm -hmm. with his signed play mat by one of the producers of the game. <laughs> that is very nice. Yeah, very nice flex over here. <laughs> He's never gone on stream. You're welcome. That's going to be fun. Yeah. Let's go. <laughs> Best friends forever. <laughs> they're, they're, no, he's a really nice, funny guy. So, uh, so one of the more the positive last, people here, I'd say, in the community. I was on stream, Absolutely. I was it wasn't at like an, it was at a store regional. Um, I don't think you guys can hear him. Yeah, but that's that's, that's all. Th in hand. Oh. Slightly, and I it, yeah. And then I they are loud. <laughs> they are. <laughs> yeah. I'm a ski, bro. Wait, what's um, uh, for my top 64? Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. so we have the Gekamoria player. Uh, he's playing an inverted setup. Oh yeah, because he's left-handed, right? Yeah, it's a if it's completely mirror image, no, that's done underneath. If the judge is okay with that, we'll roll with that. Normally, yeah. we don't I allow my hand, this my setup like, here Jones, Jones, because it is not the official setup here. I'm the, I love him so much. But, you know, ever looks like the it is a clear, <laughs> visible <laughs> board yeah, state That's for fine. now at least. This is the first time I've played him. Uh, one of my personal I, pet peeves, I think it's a Dragon Ball thing, mm -hmm. where they have the they're leader like, alongside like, the characters. Oh, I hate that. And I can get a little discombobulated. That confuses me. I'm like, okay, where is the leader? What am I doing? Yeah. And I do not. Like, I not to knock on Dragon Ball players, I'm sorry. I mean, I they, their game has their own design. Yeah, you're the goats. It's just that with One Piece, it's so nice to have the leader on the mm. bottom, bodies on top. Okay, um, that hand is Tier Reducer. That is. Reflects those. I think there's a Chachi Pain in there, too. We're like on a preview like mode, <laughs> I guess. It's, I mean, it's not bad. Yeah, no, it's yeah. fine. Seeing it pop up. Um, and. Yeah, more the race can max, be kit killer. Out, but like, yeah. Okay. If you don't see it consistently topping, like you wouldn't call Lucy uh, a rogue deck, but you may call Vegapunk. You see someone cooking with Vegapunk, then someone cooking with go. Vegapunk. Yeah, oh. I, I love the. the we tried having that, it didn't work out. Oh, Jason. Double had Sanji. Hadouk, Hadouk, maybe. Double Brook. Okay, he has the Perona and Let's the Absalon in hand. So Gecko is gonna be uh, G E C K by the way, K O. By the, the way, Perron is gonna come down. Uh, Trash two. Out. Oh, the Perron with the five zero. Straight up. Yep. Uh, making, making him discard and take life if they choose to do so. I think he pitches the Zorajuro. Yeah. So yeah, Zorajuro. Sanji, Sanji, Kid Killer, Race Max, and we have Ice Age, Absalom, Perona, Brook, Brook. Wait, I didn't catch. Was it three, three two threes? Or? Two three Brooks. Okay, okay, there we go. All right. I mean, Double Kick Killer is solid, but he is not playing anything down. Interesting. All right. I mean, he doesn't have a ramp, mm -hmm. so it's n he can't comfortably play a body and bottom like the Perona. Oh, uh, that's an E-Show SP. I was like, wait a minute. What is yeah. that? <laughs> that art? Let's do six at lead. Leader uh, effects. Mm. Let's trash. 
Yeah, Gekamari is one of those, like two boxy decks where you can just get back whatever you want. So and you feel your own discard. Oof, Another Perona crippling Karar's hand over here. Yeah. Lego Soroduro, now he has to make the decision of letting go of a card. Yeah, and since Moria doesn't have to clear any boards right now, he wait, can wait, just wait, wait, wait. Yeah, he can just play. Did he mean the counter the first or um, hold on, because he was about to pitch out a Sanji, but I don't recall. Yeah, you need I mean he has a lot of 2K, so I think he's gonna pitch a 2K at some point. Oh, no, he pitches so the kid killer. The kid killer and 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 okay. Because yeah. yeah. the original motion was a little off. It's like, wait, you cool. letting go to get counter? Alright, mm. so we're I mean, back. I genuinely think he considered it because I don't want he wanted to give up yeah. on the kid killers. Mm. But I don't know. Nobody's Race match, tablet. Penguin, Sachi, Queen. Some nice 5Ks. Uh, Hogback. Oh, okay. I think they're having something get corrected by okay. uh, our judge right here. So I don't have one in hand, no. I just, yeah. Okay, cool. Would you like to see my hand to prove that? Okay, cool. Thanks, Adam. I have, yeah. yeah. Um... I will give you a 1k. Okay, putting the Absalon yeah. in trash. And now we go for the 5e. I'll put back a Don. I'll draw one. I'll draw two. I think he has mm. to pitch a reduce or he has too many. Both start with H man. Not enough <laughs> counter. <laughs> it's, it's, uh, it's a tricky one. I already had two life, uh, so he's being very aggressive with the attacks and the discards. He's going to the Barona. Mm -hmm. uh, which one? Standing one. The sta yeah, it makes more sense the standing one because <laughs> otherwise... Chachi yeah. Pengi ramps two. All right, I shall draw. If the, uh, if the Moria can't clear the bodies, he's kind of in an okay position. Is this Moria's aid don't mm -hmm. That wasn't, oh, uh, Karar changed his thing. Uh, he, did he go evens from a ramp? Uh, Mario went first. He must be on his seventh uh, oh yeah. turn, actually. Three, yeah. Four. Brook, effect, mm. minus one queen, KO. He KOs the Let's queen. Let's do five to lead. Playing the altar Brook Let's over here. Do. I thought you had one down active. No, I have three. Oh. So. I would have blocked that. Okay. Let's uh, see. Six to lead. Six. Leader effect. Leader effect. Uh, trash. He's going to make him pitch Absalom. another. Oh, okay. Let's trash Rebecca this and Helmepo to add mm -hmm. Hogback. <gasps> Dr. Hogback. Hogback effect. Mm -hmm. uh, let's bottom deck Ice Age. Okay, get in some cards back into the deck. Isho. Isho. To mm -hmm. add an Absalom to my trash, to my hand. Okay, so he just gets a 1k back. And then yeah. still six to lead. Go ahead. I don't think Gecko has the off chance of milling out on like Luchi, I guess. Yeah. yeah, no, it's not the same. Uh, like, no, you can, you can always get your Moria back. Very unlikely to see you bottom deck on this deck, I believe. I would say that the. Yeah, Moria doesn't mill as much. Mm -hmm. Rage is strong there. Just kind of bottom the brook. Good stuff. Check it down. What you putting down? What you putting down? I think it's the the yeah. debate between Sanji or Ramp. With Carrara on life, um, he is definitely getting out aggroed. He is. He's got to put the I think it was on all that. on that one turn that he couldn't establish a I good body on four. Right. Yeah. And then Moria just kept their bodies mm. coming. So now he's playing yep. the Sanji on the cheap. I believe, and then mm -hmm. the Sachi Penguin for the Rampy. Yep. And then six for six the Perona. Okay. Oh, no, six at lead. Oh, six at lead. Okay. So going face. I mean, uh, Gecko does get his uh, trailer bar cards back. He does. So. I mean, yeah, it's never good to KO a Perona because it just comes back. Right. It'll be another card to use for their discard. But mm -hmm. also. He's at one life. Maybe get rid of that body. Could mm. have been beneficial. He could have. But then again. But then Moria stays at, three, at four life. And these guys are 5-0. So they know they, what they're doing. They, 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 they sure. know what they're doing. Just letting you all know that if Kavar loses, I'm making him do 20 push-ups. On stream. 
Oh, I love to see that. It's gonna be fun. Uh, so let's do. What is that Man. shark I'm guy on Karar's hand? There's shark. a card that I can't Six recognize. A shark? Anymore. He looks oh. like a shark, uh. but I don't like. Yeah, that oh, middle. Oh no, one. that I is gonna be an altar of. Uh, Trafalgar Law from that promo pack that had the Gordon. Oh my! That is a uh, sword tournament promo. It's oh an okay. Art. Yeah. It's been a while since I see that one. Yeah, it's the uh, four or five that reduces by two by or three k or something. Like, yeah. Yeah, yeah, he has counter also. Mm -hmm. Is the, uh, the the toy law toy as law. they call it. yeah. Uh, currently four. Mm -hmm. There was actually the promo they were giving out in Japan for the open play promos they had. Sorry event and, uh -huh. and worlds mm -hmm. yeah so basically you have to go to bandai card fest you get your badge and it had a stamp card available oh. and you sign up you play uh i believe you have to win four or five games and okay. you get that promo okay not too bad not too bad Seven Asagi and Penguin. And seven to lead seven to lead Oof. interesting this is the danger zone. Yeah, he's playing a dangerous game here in the zoo. Oh. Uh, I f think he's going to scoop. Yeah, he's scooped. Uh, opening. I opened two Sanji, two uh, blockers, and then... Uh, oh, I guess rematch. Pro, I think it was. Yeah, I, I had God. <laughs> yeah, no, bro, you hit the second prone. I was like, I was like, okay. No, both of us rolled our eyes. I'm like... <laughs> well, Gekka Moria. Uh, Gekka Moria takes on, it. On, that takes it. I want to be like, ooh, I played this. Hey, bro, it's best of one, bro. That's, that's fair. That's, that's cool, fair. bro. Yeah. Oh. No, you know what? Let's get Karara here to talk about yeah, his deck. Yeah, yeah, no, Sounds fine, good. Uh, that makes sense. I want to hear excuses. I love that. Yeah. So uh, let, let, let's catch up on, on the uh, the scoreboard for the other paywalls, maybe. Yeah, that was not quite not quite the longest. Yeah. I mean, I don't think red, purple, line in general. Are yeah. Longer. Aggro deck, you know, it's a glass cannon. Mm -hmm. uh, so life. far, the only reported wins have been uh, Cam. Oh, okay. Here is something. Inter yeah. Uh, Cameron Barton, otherwise known as Selcom from Discord, he is uh, undefeated with Lucci. Let's so go. That is uh, a known name. He wins a lot of uh, webcam events, oh, uh, yeah. not like regional ones, but he does like, like the case tournaments, the, the, manga the cards, the tournaments that yeah, people yeah. Post on Twitter, that yeah. Kind so of he's uh, local ish. He's from Chicago, I believe, too. Okay. Yeah. So that's a known Pretty name. Close. Uh, unfortunately, Carrara did not get it. Uh, Jerry against Abe. Abe was the Karakuri player, right? So yeah. yeah. And if it's Jerry that I'm thinking, it's probably Lucci. Oh. So that's that. Kwan Le undefeated. So the ca the character is still undefeated. Uh, they are currently playing out. Oh, okay. the, game, the match is still pending, so we have that. And they up to this round, there were only six undefeated. So we're gonna go to six for round seven, Three. and then just and keep then going down to yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah, that's what we have right now. Uh, oh, Anthony Mikalev, he is a prior winner of the Knoxville Regional. Mm -hmm. He won it with Soro way back in the heyday of OP04. Good days. Yeah, it was uh, Whitebeard with Will to win and him playing Soro. Mm -hmm. And that was a uh, top cut, 30, 30, yeah, top 32 cut. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. And then Daryl Ayers. Sounds familiar. Oh, uh, I believe I did play Daryl back at Gen Con in Treasure Cup. He was playing RP Law. So very good on him to be uh, top table still. He is on table two. So that is a uh, pretty good score. Do you want to bring Karar here? Yeah. Uh, can you get Karar over here? Can you call Karar up over here? Yeah. Thank you, Mike. I'll let you talk to him. Sure. We'll, we'll let him have a moment with us. Yeah. Yeah, since he didn't get to do this with us. <laughs> Get over here. Oh, yeah? Thank you, Julia. What? What you guys Get over here. Just talk Sit. Just talk? Sit. Well, oh. you're fluent in Japanese, so we're going to bring you here for this. Hi, everybody. This is Karar Kapitiskis. He uh, was originally going to be my partner for the event. I'm doing good, though. It's okay. Like It's fine. We're X1 going into round six? Go, going towards seven. Oh, we're going to seven? Yeah. Oh, wow. I'm cool, yeah. bro. Yeah, I'm so, so glad. Yeah, you're 5-1. <laughs> yeah. yeah. 
I can't. So, I couldn't do anything that game, dude. Like my mm -hmm. hand was so rough. I the, just, the old Perona was pretty aggro. I'd say. Uh huh. It's fine, bro. It's yeah. best the one. You got to take the the game part yeah. of the game and stride yeah. for sure. Just like we keep low rolling all these decks that just die really fast. Yeah. So seeing Vega Punk crash out immediately and then you after that. So it's like, oh, we uh, have, have no content. Oh, you guys had Vega Punk on stream. We have Vega. Dude, that's we cool. We had a, a three zero Vega Punk uh, on stream and it lasted two turns. Oh, what? Yeah, he break really really bad. Oh, two turns? Oh, he has two life. Two life. Oh, yeah. yeah. I heard that you guys had a, a Zoro Sanji? Zoro Sanji, yeah, it's Lorenz, uh, one of Julia's locals. Oh, yeah, from the area. Uh, yeah, he still likes one, I believe. So that's pretty nice. Dude, uh, I was praying to God mm -hmm. that I, I got to see, like, a Black Yellow Luffy for the stream game because mm -hmm. I'm playing Black Bug at one. And I just wanted okay. to double so – I just wanted to remove two Sabos on stream so bad. What does bad. Black Bug do? It says it says if I have equal or less Dawn than my opponent, I bottom deck a five cost. So I did. I've used it twice today against okay. Bonnie's. I cleared uh, an Uruk mm -hmm. one game yeah. with it, and then I went Gordon, Gordon the Cavendish, bottom deck the Cavendish that game. So I cleared okay. uh, Uruk and Cavendish, and that was his whole board. Mm -hmm. And then um, the other game was also a Bonnie. I used it to bottom deck uh, the, the Cavendish, and mm -hmm. then I Gordon the Uruk. So like vice uh, versa. So question: Did you play a Black Yellow Luffy at one point today that you no. won via Fire Fist? Uh, the Fire Fist? Do you play a Black Yellow Luffy? No. Okay. I haven't so hit. I haven't hit any triggers today. Okay. I heard about that game. The Fire. The Fire Fist. Yeah, trigger yeah. That yeah. So the game. I, I thought it was you. At first. No, like, it wasn't oh. me. It wasn't me. It wasn't no. me. I haven't. I'm not fortunate enough to hit triggers. That's why I took Miss Sunday out. I see. I see. Yeah. So, you're you know X1 still in the tournament. We have basically four more rounds to play out. Four more rounds. In theory, you know it could be less down pairs and whatnot. This was round six. So yeah, seven, eight, eight, nine, seven. ten. So yeah, correct, four more rounds. Correct, okay, yes, yes. Yeah, yeah. Three, six, nine. Three, right. six, nine. Yeah. Don't say it. Yeah, so what is your outlook for the tournament? Have you seen – what decks have you seen in top tables uh, mostly? Yeah, the usual suspects, the ban list mm -hmm. hitters, you know, the, the stages with the Rob the Lucci. I played Rob Lucci last round, the table one. He opened stage right away. It was a close game. I won on three non. Mm -hmm. I just went 7-7. Seven, seven. He just ran – I think Rob Lucci suffers from the fact that it doesn't have a lot of counter, where mm -hmm. I think Gecko, as we just saw, is very consistent in being yes. able to find its pieces mm -hmm. and rotate through them and build a board Super wider. Toolboxy. Yeah, it's fine. It's like they nuke one guy a turn, but they're also building a better board presence, and they're going mm -hmm. wide, so it's harder to clear. Yeah. I think Gecko is the best black deck currently, and I think after the ban list, it, it will it's be. It's pretty fair. Uh, the one thing I don't like about Gecko in general, not the leader, but the fact is that Gecko Moria, the character, is played in 100% of all the black decks. And it's like almost like we should have so hit it on the list. <laughs> they, they, I feel like they could have. They, they, even just the one limit would have been fine. I think limited. But it's a little sacky to, you know, give them the one-off. Well, the problem the problem's yeah. never been to me. It's like if they play one Gecko, you should mm -hmm. be able to play through it. If the problem comes from Gecko. Gecko, Gecko, yes. what do you do? Same thing with Newgate. Newgate, Newgate, Newgate. It's exactly. Same feeling. Or Dofi, Dofi, Dofi. Dofi, Big Hody, mom, Hody. Mom, Hody. Like, yeah. yeah, it's, it's excessive. Seeing the quad stack is hard. But, I mean, if they see it, they see it. That's best yeah. of one, right? Sometimes mm -hmm. I wish we had best of three, but I know tournaments will last oh, forever because the game is blowing up. It's awesome yes. to see. I love yeah. everyone playing. We have all this notoriety from all these influencers, too, like not card game players or like bigger people that do like content on Everyday, you know, stuff. Yeah, you know, like a lot, like, of, like a lot. There's a Super car, cool. Carde, uh, Ro I, Robo. I think his channel name is Robo Skills. Oh, yeah, Rob. Like yeah, we know Rob from uh, Gen Con and stuff like yeah, that. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. dude. I, I love I, Rob. I was, yeah. I was scrolling on YouTube Shorts the other day and I saw he was live. Saw? Oh, I yeah. I clicked on his channel. I'm like, whoa. He opens, <laughs> uh, opens packs and stuff. Uh, he has a big collection. He's Moist, really nice Moist guy. The, the whole team just got in, right? Yeah, like Moist yeah, Critical. Charlie, and stuff? Yeah. yeah, yeah, that's cool. You know, shout out Moist Goblin. That's the dog. I love him. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I, I like this. So he's one of our locals from uh, Orlando. Oh, right, that's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah he's yeah. a really good player from the community. Yeah, yeah. Super cool guy. He got, um, he got a cereal with Saka? He started, yeah, he was a finalist for Saka uh, for uh, Kissimmee Regional, but he didn't play second. He was paired into, like, I think third place or something like that. I mean, he you got know. a cereal. Yeah, yeah, for that's sure. That's all that matters. Yeah, and and he cereals. got a really good uh, quality of the, um, the the championship Luffy one, too, and he uh, got a grade too. Yeah, I saw, I saw, I saw. Black saw label, pretty good. Yeah. The, the pricing yeah. is amazing. The community yeah. is great. Mm -hmm. The card game is trying to be as balanced as it can. It's like, why yeah. are you not playing One Piece? Oh, exactly. Come yeah. play One yeah. Piece, guys. Like it's, this, it's awesome. I like this take over here. Yeah, like, yeah. Just, it's, it's great. I literally haven't had a bad experience with anybody the entire time I've been playing. I have for you. Well, no, that's no, okay. I'm, pulling, I'm, I'm, I'm the worst leg. person in the room. It's a good day, bro. It's yeah. <laughs> no, I'm pulling. No, you're, you're, you're right. I've known you since how long? Um, we since, met dude, since like the beginning, super, right? Like super pre release. Like Peoria? Like no, I, just before I just messaged that. you because you oh, yeah. back there. Oh, yeah. Facebook. I was like, oh, yeah, Facebook. Yeah, yeah, long ago. So well, it's, we've been, been grinding. it's been a fun ride. Three years? Yeah. Dude, has it been that it's long? It's been almost three years. Wow, man. Yeah. And you
<laughs> I'm not even playing. I know, I know. I'll play it. I'll play I'm it. Gonna I haven't topped either, bro. I don't, I don't have a cereal. Here. I don't have any cereals. So, you were so close, if not for that little. You were, uh, you were the judge for my top no, 16 no, game. No, 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 no. That's it's not my fault. You got a game it, loss. Well, I didn't say it was your fault. No, that I did. I got game loss for deck check. Now yeah. I didn't get a game loss in yeah, my top yeah, 16 yeah. cut. I just needed to rip a 1K and I ripped the fourth Okiku that I didn't want to run. Yeah, I mean that that is you yeah. know your life. You it's my life. You got the brick. That's my life. I brick. I'm playing the brick deck today too. You guys just saw me brick. Yeah, Karar here is otherwise known as the the Kinemon guy. Guy or the Odin guy, that's why he's known for. I'm the last samurai, get it, get it right. So he, he plays all these um, I like Wano. off off the wall decks, I and he like wants RP Law. I mean, X1 so good. Uh, I don't know the, the exact math, but even X2 can get into top 32. Oh, I'm not worried about so, it. I'm on yeah, fire today. No, you're doing good. You, you yeah. got your really bricky hand game out of the, out of the way. Five. So you got to win four more, and you're clinched four, in. Four, four more guarantees, but even I, th I think with the way my tiebreakers look right now, like, yeah. I think I'll be fine even if I go X2. Yeah, I uh, just can't lose two more. Let me, exactly, let me see. Uh, I think we're going to put Cameron next uh, on stream Which since Cameron? the uh, Cellcom. So, okay. So Zell's Patrick Way, yes. Daryl Ayers, another RP Law player. I think he's on RP Law. But what I, so that's Darryl. what I played him at and Gen Con. Eric Chen on the feed at Cameron Barden. That, that's uh, yeah, Salcom. That's me. I just lost. Uh, Karar, RIP. James Newman. Oh, Jordan Palmer. Shane Palmas Sloan. Here? I think we had Shane Sloan last Peoria Regional. He was playing Gecko. Uh, Mikolev, the Canadian uh, champion. TN, from TN's a table 10. Knoxville. If TN wins, you Ape, guys can get him on too. Ape was a Katakuri player, if I recall. So that's another go one. TN Tran. Uh, Katakuri? Diaz. Yes, Quan in this also, in this economy. In this economy. Wow. Yeah. So uh, he had a really good game against Dofi too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so well, thankfully I, I haven't run into Dolphy yet. Yeah, I, I believe it was Ace Saragossa no and it was Rafael Cifuentes. That was the matchup. Oh, Almost like <coughs> you're good. Sorry, uh, Juan Le still undefeated, and then the, and the highest rated um, X ones is uh, Pedro Cabrera Kush. So that's why I played last round. Yeah, I know. Table yeah. One. Yeah, yeah, Ryan yeah. is so high up there. You know, Hart he's uh, also X one. Mm -hmm. A lot of X one players because you know. Not every day you can see it's a perfect a tournament. It's a best of one game. Yeah, for like, sure, for at sure. At the end of the day, you can do everything right. You're yeah. playing the cards that are presented to yeah. you. And if the cards don't come when you need them, the cards don't come when you need oh, them. But as Nikki's long as you're going to analyze your game. Yeah. Who's here? Nikki's here. I didn't even realize. Yeah, Nikki's yeah. Of course Nikki's oh, oh, here. Okay, so, so Gerardo That's my Lopez. favorite player. Nikki's number one player yeah, in my oh. heart. Let that be known. Yeah, Her Gerardo Lopez must be Jerry and Atkins. Okay, sometimes I get it mixed up. Dexter right like, there. <laughs> It's, it's it's shaping up to be a very solid top solid, 32. Yeah, with the X1s, mm -hmm. exactly. Yeah, uh, as long as they all keep winning this, out and this, dodging this each guy, other. This guy, Michael Imiofa, he's also X1. The, yeah. the the line cutter? Wow. I didn't say it, but that's, no, it, it's out, that's prerogative. It. That's Cross you. AI. You guys should go no. subscribe. He makes really good guides. Check out his Patreon. He's one of the best players around. He just mm -hmm. learned how to play. Ro when he, he tries. When he tries. When he when he doesn't play Perona. When he doesn't play he, Perona. Yeah. Uh, Rebecca or Yamato. But they're good. I believe. I believe in that Rebecca mm. deck he took to EU. It is what it is. It's, it's not best the well one. On that one. Yeah, EU, it's yeah. best the one, bro. It's best. I, th I, th I really I thought want him to do well because, you know, it's nice to have someone come in out of the, uh, the country and travel and do stuff. It's cool. I want to go. I would love to come meet yeah. all the Europe guys, mm. you know, so or maybe Singapore. Sorry, not last. My apologies. Not last year. Last Peoria, we had a huge representation from Chilean players coming into play, and we had a few that actually top, top 32. So that was super cool. Yeah, like people travel for this game uh, all over. It's yeah, awesome. we have people coming in from Latin America, from Europe to play because in-person events you are free to come into whatever region to play. Mm. You do have to play, you know, their cards if it's like Asia or something. But, so uh, I could hypothetically go to Korea right now and, uh, and play in there. No, why? Because Korea is still an OPO one or OPO two, I think. So they won't let us. I mean, you if I buy if I buy Korean cards, I could go play Kinemon in Korea. Uh, <laughs> yes, I believe so, but also I don't think they have uh, I want to play organized Kingdom play, maybe, because I didn't see him on the app. Please correct me if I'm wrong. If you're a Korean viewer and you have info over there, uh, That'd be, let I'd, me know. I'd love to go to South Jacobi Korea for a bit. Jacoby is X1. Chris is Fanos X1. Jacoby is uh, here. Yes. For the viewers at home. Yes, uh, our 6 foot 3 king. Yes. Uh, we have, that is a lot of capital letters. Uh, la, 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 la. How's Ying doing? Our other mm -hmm. commentator friend, Ying. How's he doing? Ying. Wait, is Jonathan Chow out. here? Chow? Is Chow here? No, JCM is not here. Impact's 4-1. Uh, yeah, uh, Ying. So Ying, that is not that Ying. That's a different Ying. Oh, Ying is 6-2. Oh, there's Zest. Uh, sorry. Do you, uh, call, you call them Ethan. Zesty? No, I didn't finish that. I apologize. Wow. Okay, okay. so this is being clipped. No, it's Ethan. I Eth know oh, Ethan. Yeah, he, yeah, Ethan Gandhi, he's actually going to be uh, our Avito regional winner. Dude, he just hit page one on Limitless. He's like 6 or yeah. 7. Dude's killing it, man. I'm fucking Yeah. Kidding. 
Welcome to the Glaze stream. We're glazing everybody. I'm, I'm glazing. Yeah. Uh, uh, Wimmy won. So mm. X1. I forgot Wimmy was here. I, I, met her I, yet. I really wanted the possibility of Cross and Wimmy playing each other because they were right next to each yeah, other. On yeah, table, yeah, so yeah. Like, oh, yeah. <laughs> That'd fine. be awesome. Yeah. So uh, she's X1. Uh, a lot of big names. Unfortunately, I did see Chris. Chris Sock dropped. Uh, yeah. It's uh. I else? heard Chris was on um, How's Jonas four miss all Sundays. Jonas I just talked to him. He's X1. X1. Yeah, He's Jonas X1. X1. Everybody always asks, Jonas, is he playing Top Gut? Not always. He did you, it in Pasadena. You, 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 uh, so I talked to Impact once yeah. about Top Cut, and it's just guys like, on average, mm -hmm. even he said, he said he wins one. He tops one out of every four events he goes to. Right? Yeah, it's like playing him. the numbers game. It is variance. It is who you play, what you draw, all these other things. You can't, you can't top them all. You can't Absolute, win them all. Yeah. It's, it's tough. It's, first off, the field is so much stronger than it was last year. We're the player more base more players. is so powerful. We're getting pros from other games. Exactly. We're having dedicated like groups all over the country that test yeah. all day mm -hmm. religiously. You should see like some people how they, like they wake up nine a.m. and they'll play mirrors yeah. till lunch, and then Correct. they'll go to locals and play out for the, for the night. And then when they're done, play mm -hmm. some more. It's ridiculous. Dude. Uh, so, Bob, you're I'm being told there are Korean cereals and flagships. So, interesting. Captain Skis goes to Korea. Uh, <laughs> you want to come? No, I don't have it in my schedule to travel that much, unfortunately. We'll just stay for a month. Huh? We'll just stay for a month. A month? Yeah. No, I have to work. You work there. Win some cereals. That That's not how that works, man. Is so, white, uh, I, do I, they I have wish. Moby Dick Man in Korea? I I think it should be like us. Like us? Yeah. Okay, yeah. So yeah, I can go play Peanut Man. Yeah. Let's go. Uh, Dutch Daniel is saying, uh, take me with you. <laughs> yeah. Big Daniel... Hey, if you're going to the UK, I'll probably see you there. Uh, if you go, see you in oh, a one PT, three weeks. Daniel, Daniel, oh, PTC, yeah, 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 nice. Yeah, Daniel, yeah. Yeah. I'm excited. Uh, I want to go, dude. I think we should get a group together and just go, just like get an Airbnb for a month. Oh, that's what we're working out right now with Mo and Batista. For Korea? No, not Korea. No, EU. Oh, EU. Oh, no, no, I can't do another Asian country. I'm already doing Japan. It's too much. It's so. For those that know, don't know geography. Korea is very far away. Yes. It's a very hefty not price on, on a flight. So, uh, That's why you got to stay there for a long time. Make the, pri the price of the flight worth it. I mean, you're not wrong. Skis my goat, Karai my king. So whoever you've been paying off for this? I don't know. I, I don't mean, know what happened. Yeah, you have a fan base. I, that's weird. Yeah. You guys should not. like should not. Go, go subscribe to Awaken TCG. Go subscribe to Cross AI. Go subscribe to Dr. Eggman. Sorry, just Eggman. Do I was watching. Doctor, that is Eggman. the wrong game. I love Hated. I love oh, Hated. Oh, no, no. We love Hated. Hated, yeah, Hated yeah. is the best. He puts in a lot of work. Uh, who else? Vam Vampire Game. I guess you guys can go subscribe to him. It's okay. Uh, <laughs> Anybody else? <laughs> To Bamper, I guess. <laughs> that, is, that is too much. You're being too savage with that. I'm sorry. I apologize. Don't I, be love, sorry. I love everybody. Be better. I'll be, I'll be better. No. I just want to be better so I, I don't X1 and, and lose out. Deck. Yeah, it's bad. It's, see, I'm, playing two Fire Fist. I'm playing two Fire Fists. I'm playing one Black Bug. I'm playing eight Bobbleheads. Uh, yeah. I'm playing oh. two Toilet. Yeah. This is Black Bug. Okay. I want two games because of it. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Sachi Penguin. Imagine playing this card and pulling the trigger. I haven't done it yet. Well. I haven't uh, done it. Ski is the number one testing Discord in the world. <laughs> number one. He's, he's number one testing on Discord. Yeah. Oh yeah, I don't. I I just be gaming. Why do you have five secret rares? What are you talking about, bro? You have five bunk clay. No, I just passed deck check. <laughs> 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 I just passed deck check, bro. I don't even want uh, bunk clay. Was going to be one of the last cards. I I was tempted to cut it. Like, I'm not playing Missile Sunday. I'm not playing mm. um, yeah. Shariya. I'm not playing Ayn. I don't like those cards. You don't like Ayn? No. She, oh. She's a brick. Mm. And she just mm. gives me a Dawn rested. I'd rather mm. just play the Bond Clay, get the Dawn active, Gordon, bottom deck something, and bring out my Sachi. Yeah. And then they have to worry about a Bond mm. Clay, which if they clear, yeah. it's no problem because it already got the value. But Ayn is mm. just a brick in my hand, and if I don't open it soon enough, it's just not yeah. worth it. So being asked, what do you guys think is the best deck for Nats? You go first. <sighs> you guys should be... Like, uh, it's probably, I think it's going to be the meta. Nami's coming in for sure. Not, yeah, for I don't, sure. I wouldn't yeah. say it's the best. I don't, th I think it's too early for people to decide that there's a best deck. I think there's a general consensus be of like good decks. A circle. Like Black Yellow Luffy. Yeah. 
Raju is coming in. Sorry, I, mm. you, you guys can believe the hype or not. It's coming in. It's fast. Mm. Ichiji is really good. It has permanent searching. It plays Raju. It plays Queens. Yeah. It has Porsche. If they go, if you go second yeah. and you open Kingdom and you like play the mm. Kaya and you fill your two trash and then you mm. activate the Kingdom or yep. you play the Searchers, mess something up, then you on Fordon you go Porsche. Put yeah. back a Don. Porsche is really good. Bring out the uh, baby Raju. Mm -hmm. Put back the baby Raju. Play yeah. your Raju. Draw. And then you yeah. have a five and five. And then your opponent goes to five. What do you do? Mm -hmm. You cry. You cry. You cry. Oh, <laughs> Lord. I don't know. And it has uh, access to Gravity Blade. I think, pe I think people oh, should yeah. try it out yeah, that too. Yeah. That's really good at the mirror. Radio top deck for the band. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And uh, somebody's going to bring Dofi. Then we have a uh, reminder for Skis I think Blue Dofi. Cross shuffle his deck. Rest of the event. Oh, that's got to mm -hmm. be William. Uh, yeah, but... I, I mean, should. I just bricked. But you don't want to damage your sleeves like that. Oh, yeah. Like sandpaper. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I'm messing with yeah. <laughs> Oh, now oh. who's being savage? <laughs> I, I, think I didn't say anything. Hold on. I think, I think Blue Dofi... If you guys are a Blue Dofi player, yeah. I think you guys should pick up the pieces for Blue that now. Blue is like a you can play Boa? check kind of match. I think Boa is unironically yeah. comes into the form. It's about to be Blue and Black. It's just about to be the Blue six and eight Black. 6-8 Boa? Huh? The six eight Boa, right? I think Boa yeah. the deck, the leader. Oh, gotcha. I think I think there's some I saw an interesting build where they were playing uh uh Sengoku and he searches yeah. he searches Warlords. Warlords. Yeah. And then you play the Warlord searcher that's mm -hmm. Navy. So uh Tashigi. So Tashigi's a mm -hmm. searcher that can pick up the Navy cards. So when you search, play Navy search, cards, search, now search, Gravity search, Blade search. is searchable and yeah. you can play Aramaki in Boa. Aramaki's mm -hmm. the blocker that bottom yes. decks uh, the one or two cost, I believe, mm -hmm. and he's a blocker, so he activates your boa, and then yeah. he, he's fe he's fetchable off the searches. Yeah. So you just go like search, 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 consistency, and then you go Jinbei, Weevil. Here's some control. Mm -hmm. It's really good. Uh, our boy Misak asking, uh, is there space for uh, Purple Luffy cope on this train? Purple Luffy. Anel comes into the format. Um, Purple Luffy is good in Nanami mm -hmm. because you rip your own life, so that's awesome. Yeah. Rob Lucci takes a hit, which is I believe is your hard matchup, but if you like Sima Jones in that matchup, it makes it a little fun for you. And also, Lucci won't have uh, and stage to Purple, back it up. Purple Luffy is pretty solid. Yeah. I think uh, Blue Dofi will mess you up for sure. Blue, de you'll lose to Blue decks. Like if bla yeah. Blades are gonna mess you up. Uh, with the way the format looks, I believe Red Rock's gonna come back. Oh uh, yeah, a lot of big like bodies. two Red There's Rocks. Some, yeah, yeah. 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 Clear the sevens and uh, eight. I think if you dodge Blue. I think you could confidently take purple. Yeah, and it's one of those those tournament. things where like if you don't see that deck, you can just breeze on through. I've only seen two black decks today, uh, mm -hmm. one one against them. Yeah, I'm I'm way more scared of Gecko than I am of mm -hmm. Rob Lucci because of the consistency factor. Yeah, that was yeah no. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's, it's really it's yeah, really it's rough. Good, yeah. it, it could it could have been okay if I opened decent, but like double Perona too, and then mm -hmm. uh, you just my man just had it. They got it. They got it. How you feel about Bonnie over here? Uh, green Bonnie. I'm a green player. If you look, all the yes. decks all the decks I've topped with are green. I hate Bonnie. I don't. I think I think it's inherently the incorrect way to play green. It's a def I mean, it is a defensive green deck. So I mean, we had that already with. Like the support is defensive. I don't. I don't. You have. It's kid. an overcorrection. Uh, wait, we're in. Ag I think Bonnie should be played aggro. I. I really think. Played I, aggro. I. I mean, if you look at like the green list that I topped with, if you if you go mm -hmm. to like the Kinemon. So mm -hmm. back at that time, everybody was playing the killer blockers mm -hmm. and the beiges. Yes. And I took them out. I just I put Punk Gibsons in yeah. and waterfalls to ready my board. Oh and yeah. Tempo the waterfalls the board. Is really good. You should just be more focused on control. I see the bonnies mm. that are the bonnies that do better at tournaments are the bonnies that prioritize their bonnie effect. Mm. So you should be prioritizing your Uruk on four, so your basil on six, it readies up. Mm. And just having that dawn and then denying your opponent's aggression because that dawns up and they're not developing a board, mm. which if they're swinging, you just swing over the board. Right. So it's a, in a form, it's a control, but like the the all the little searchers, people mm. prioritize those too often and they don't get to play their board out. And it's like yeah. I can I, as an RP law player, I can ignore those little searchers because I have blocker law, so those cards that you get, I'll just rip them later and I'll yes. bottom deck them slowly over time. Mm. And it's like I don't really care, so I get to hit your face. Yeah. But developing developing a board against Bonnie is really important. And I mm. feel I feel like Bonnie and Nell suffer from the same thing as you are a good player, but if you run into a good player that knows how to play the matchup, you're going to lose. Yes, I, and, I agree. And I yeah. think that's why we're not seeing the results that we're seeing because the player base has gotten stronger. It's it's mm -hmm. so many so many names in there. Like all the players in there, you could fit them in top 32, and it, we'd still have an overflow. But it's the last event of the. Yeah. It's one of the last events. We have yeah, one more we after have this. A fourth word, and then straight to Bandai Card Fest North American Finals. Right. So in people Dallas. are trying to get their invites. Well, going to this yeah. event, if if you go X2, you'll probably get your invite because it's trickle down, right? 
and it's just so many people are going to get it, and I, I'm I'm just excited to see how the next four rounds go. Yeah, see definitely. how it ends up. And it's gonna be a if I make format. it, I make it. If I don't, I try my best. What do you guys want? Like, I try my best. Yeah, you played it out, and you have your remote already, so you're. I'm just glad I didn't yeah. go X two drop right away. Imagine not commentating, and then like, oh, I, the uh, FOMO is real. Yeah, I slid it up. No, on no, the you're doing pretty good, yeah. and uh, even then, you can still place into a price card of sorts. Uh, well, no, then it will be. Pudding. No, uh, no, I'm not. We're, I'm not here to play now? for prizing. I just wanted to play my pudding, deck. Right? Oh, is it pudding? We're still on the uh, Big One Pirates. One, yes, right? it yeah. is. It's August, so uh, the cereal yeah. aces and all that stuff comes no, no, out that, next month. Yeah, next month, right? Yes, yeah, so we're still on pudding. You wouldn't see the category unless you top 16. Top 16. So, yeah, you have to make top cut to see that too. So for sure, yeah, uh, very, very I'm, minimum. I'm just gonna play my game, see what happens, play, take them one at a time. I, uh, yeah. I, I think another word of advice I could give to a lot of competitors is if you guys. Uh, Play a game like the game that I just played, and you let it get to you. It's gonna mess up the rest yes. of your flow for the day. Being on it's, tilt, it's, that's the really one. Yeah. It's not worth it. It's just you know what happened. Mm -hmm. It happened. Recollect and go play the next game. Correct. Lock in. That's it. That's all you gotta do. Draw good, okay. play yes. good, and pray. Yes. That they break down. Your, no, I'm kidding. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> break. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Where'd Julia go? Oh, she went on break since you were here. Oh, that's you know? right. Oh, yeah, I'm, I'm the temp. You're the temp. Oh, awesome. No, we're having a good time here. Oh, you got, you got switch. What's up? What's going yeah, on? Yeah, there's not much going on. Uh, where's Misak saying? I still need to get a ticket for a little go to Liverpool. Uh, I'll see you there, Misak. When when are the Europe In events? three weeks. No. It's the first weekend of September, and it sequentially goes I to... I can't. My sister's birthday is September 2nd. I have to be there for her. Guest live streamer from uh, Liverpool. Just... Yes, give no, her like a face cam. Yeah. No, it's fine. It's fine. I don't need to go. I have my invite. I mean, oh, I guess I could. I, I, can you go to? Can you go to Europe? If, so if you got your invite mm -hmm. at a European regionals, you yeah. would have an invite to there their There is nationals. no invite in European regionals. Invites are currently at this time for the season a North American uh, thing. So how does Europe have a Nats? Oh, it's it open. Was, it was lot lottery based. Oh. Last season it was be a first come first serve. And it was solely in Utrecht, Netherlands. Now this year they have split the season. They're splitting it into basically four events, pretty much. This wave of uh, nationals is going to be Liverpool, Paris, Milan. Each one, the winner gets the invite to Worlds. They were lottery based. Oh. And then, and sometime so later in the year, we're going to have a Bandai Card Fest in Utrecht, Netherlands. And that's going to be, I believe, a uh, top two get invites. So Europe is going to have five world's representatives? We are, too. We are? Dallas has How is ours three working? world's reps. So you guys know, uh, we have three in Dallas, and we should be having two in Orlando. Why is it three? Why because is it three, we have five, then we have five, five. Oh, I see. So they're it trying is. to make worlds bigger. So they're trying to make it a well, 32 Yeah, event? we had 16 players last uh, worlds, and now we're going to have more. Okay. They increase the capacity uh, in Southeast Asia because Southeast Asia is the one that won the uh, uh, the tournament, mm -hmm. and also Blonde based wrong. on the representatives of EU and North America also plays high. So they increase our capacity and overall the capacity of the tournament. In Oceania, so Oceania, I think it's still one rep, and I think I, I think we don't have word on that yet. Uh, but based on the map, the timetable, roadmap, whatever it's called, I think we're gonna get only one, if not two. We'll so see. Five, so, is it still 16 people? Is it? Is, hey, what's up, Albert? Uh, no, it's 32, I believe. Okay. Yeah, because we have now reps from uh, China. Well, we had them last night, actually. So, we have reps from Japan, from China, Europe, North America, Oceania, Latin America. So, it's already 10. One from piece TCG is shaving up, man. Yeah, I love it. Yeah, and we're also going to be separating EU a little bit. We're going to have French be kind of its own region, too because they're getting the card game in French. They're getting their own cards? So, yes. It's going to be a whole rule where... So, pairings went up. I wish you good luck. And I'm going to be chilling here. And, oh, Bye, uh, everybody. We're going to put in Cellcom, Cameron Barden. Uh, let me tell the judge real quick.
and we're back to round seven of the uh, PRA Regional over here. We have a slightly different matchup. Uh, we moved on from the RP loss. We're going to be featuring Lucci from OP07 and Bonnie as well. Mm -hmm. So slightly different. Yeah. Uh, it is a nice change of pace. Bonnie's a defensive kind of deck. Bonnie is such a slow pace deck. They like take reactive. their time. Yeah. Right. And then Lucci is just remove, doing Lucci remove, things. Remove, remove. remove. Something you can't really do to address the base of Hawking sometimes too. So uh, It's hard to do with the base. Yeah. And this Black doesn't have a straight up KO effect card either. So so it'd be something to be worried about seeing how much damage base of Hawking yeah, can do. Yeah, I think the game is really focused on how fast yeah. uh, he can, uh, the Bonnie can pump mm -hmm. up the ha Hawkings. And also if it gets to the point where they see that Zoro. Seeing yeah. that Sora is game changing for sure because mm -hmm. you're gonna have to immediately invest everything to get rid of it. Yeah, if you don't get rid of it, it's over. It's, yeah, three swings into Luchi who has very low counter so. is it's big. So that's one of the things you have to look out for. Um, yeah, they are both undefeated at this point, so I'm mm -hmm. sure both of them are very familiar with all the matches. Yeah, they after need six to rounds, be. I'm yeah. sure. Yeah, uh, seeing Bonnie will be fun. Uh, we'll see what the outlook is. I, I don't think they will prefer to play Kid in this matchup. They will probably just disregard him. Yeah, Kid is not the most effective just because it's so easy for Black to remove it. Ten cost though, he has more of an impact because yes, the stuff rest. just stay ha rested. Mm -hmm. Leader especially doesn't get that minus one. Especially when they see all these uh, rested uh, Gekko Morias and mm -hmm. they're like, oh, now I can't swing out for game now. Yep. Yeah. And Bonnie also has that leader ability that is so good to control like the pace of the game. Mm -hmm. I have to see. Uh, we're a little test and adjust. Again, we're getting you the opening hand so you all know what we're playing. This is a little added touch by the production. Mm -hmm. And we have uh, Mr. Mike over here, our producer, Yay. taking the extra work to get us our hand uh, previews. Mm -hmm. so stream looks really pretty. Oh, yeah, this is the, uh, the Dolby stream. <laughs> <laughs> Teller or a judge over here too. Uh, this guy had Eric. It was yeah, Eric Chen against Cameron Barden. Mm -hmm. He had a really nice teddy bear play mat. But <laughs> we have a lot of shifting going on with the table and seeing the cards. So we have opted to uh, have the the finals play mat uh, from Europe and Latin America instead. Yeah, no. it has it has zones and it helps a little bit. Mm -hmm. And it's a beautiful play mat too. Oh yeah, people disregard it a little bit, but it grew on me. It's really nice. No, yeah. And the official play mats, I, I think at least the price ones, are technically water resistant. Oh really? Yeah, it was something that was shown a while ago by one of the Bandai reps, Dan Knight. He was saying, uh, he showed the, the, the Twitter video. Where it's like, oh yeah, they're waterproof. And mm -hmm. same goes for the judge mats too. Oh yeah, yes. I course. can't confirm if the price mats are too. I wouldn't do that to us. Don't test on your mat at home. Yeah, I wouldn't do that to a princess play mat, you know. <laughs> <laughs> yes, that that's definitely the one you want to keep. Yeah, so uh, Cameron's a local-ish player. I didn't quite get where Eric is from. Uh, but a lot of people are used from this area, tri-state area, and they use drove in yeah, a few PR hours. Yeah, is by so central. It doesn't have a good airport, but it's so central, mm -hmm. so you can always yeah, drive no, here. The, the airport is a little rough on the price, I'd say. Yeah, that's for yeah. sure. I just opted for the yeah, the flight and drive. Yeah, we. Uh, I'm from Kansas City, so it's mm -hmm. easy to drive here. Oh, yeah, here you go. So Bonnie is going first, yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh no, we have some friendly fire with uh, Cross and Heart, my friends. Oh, oh no. Pain in my heart. <laughs> and we're starting off baby with five Baby now. 5. Ooh, mm, that's the solid. stage on a best of one, turn one. Yeah, Pretty on good. Curve, really good. Let's see. Gonna be searching with the body. The bunny, okay. no, mm -hmm. the baby five. I gotta say, this playmat looks really good with the, with the uh, tablecloth, too. Yeah, it does. Yeah, it does. It just <laughs> pops so much. Yeah. So, I don't think he has a target. Oh, no. Yeah. Okay, Only Viol the two Viola. Care. Everything else is supernova. All right, so. Oh, he has another Ennis lobby. Um, he, the Lucha's hand is looking a little. If we can get the hands flipped over here, Cameron. It's going to be in the bottom with the black cards, and Eric is in the green with the top. On the top. 
Okay. We'll get that shifted up. Yep. I will swing five at baby five. Leader five. Swing straight up five. Baby. Mill. Yeah, he doesn't have a better play. His hand is so bad. He can't wear Becca now, but. For Rebecca's initial effect, I will grab Span Dime. And then get Span Dime back. Okay. I'll play Span Dime from here. Span Dime effect. And, okay, that's nice. A little search. Take a robber check. Okay. Grab the Luigi. Yeah. Okay. That was a solid play. What do we have? We have 500 viewers right now. Thank mm -hmm. you all for tuning in. We're finally getting to the uh, point of singularity with all these top decks. We're bringing you higher quality gameplay now. Uh, Cameron's a known player within the community. He's really good. And I'm sure being 6-0 is a good sign on Eric as well. Absolutely. Or he might he might have a serial. I, I, I don't know. I don't always recognize all these names. Mm -hmm. And you're playing the Roche. Roche, really Kay. good. The mirror cam is throwing me off. Uh, it's not mirrored. Jackson, I'm sorry. <laughs> I just wanted to say that we're getting to the end of the, of the tournament. Don't roast me. Thank you for the compliment on the production fee. These guys at, I believe it's GGS Productions, they're, they're really good. Uh, they got a really nice overlay. So definitely something to... Uh, Look forward to if you want to have an event be produced by this company. That's it. So, I'm gonna be drawing, no minus. Cameron's thinking. Yeah, the Luchi's hand was pretty unfortunate for the beginning. There was mm. like double stage, double reducer. Oh, it is flip. Oh, yeah, it is flip. Uh, Cameron's on the, huh? How did that? That is interesting. Yeah, it, it is flipped. I just realized that now. You have five on? Yes. Yeah, yeah. I, I saw that too because I, I looked at Cameron from the left side. Interesting. Yeah, it's uh, apparently confusing people. <laughs> it's on five, right? Yes. But ultimately, you know, life is life. Life is life. Bard is blue. Yeah, the the gray sleeves are fine. The black is a little black blob, uh, but it's still somewhat visible. Mm -hmm. I think we're gonna. Oh, I thought Tyler was gonna put on dice to mark the black sleeves for life. <laughs> yep, and these three go back down. Yep. Yeah, removing that overage is really important because that doll up just does so much every turn. Bunny off to like a slow start. Uh, how many Don are going to? It's three. Bunny went first, so it should be a yeah, seven. seven. Okay. So pre planning his Don. We so might see a Hody here if they have it in hand. Or, uh, but mm. ideally, a Hawkins okay. down would be very nice. Yeah, something that's very hard to remove. Yeah. For the black kit, probably the only thing you can use will be the simply attacking it. Yeah. Here we go, we got the yeah. basil down. Hard to choose. Yeah, he is Mr. Four Hours indeed. <laughs> if you're tuning in right now, we're in the Peoria Regional. This is in Illinois. And we are on round seven. And I'm going to get asked probably the, the ban list is not in effect. The ban list comes in effect later. Right before Nats. Yeah, at the beginning of the <laughs> month. September 1st, I think. Yeah. Um, something like that. Mm. Yeah, I, I think the best bet for Bonnie was would be to use his uh, to be seeing top end, and mm -hmm. I, because. I mean, Bonnie yeah. did play their stuff on curve. They played the hub. Yeah, yeah, it's all. Roge, now they have the Hawkings. It's not gonna stick for very long. Oh. Oh, here you go. We flipped. Okay, for your viewing pleasure, we have unflipped. Oh, oh. oh <laughs> no, it's back. It's okay. It's all good. <laughs> it, it's all good. The cars are so visible. Okay, it has been uh, fixed to a better uh, viewing angle. We unmirror, guys. 
You said it, we listened. <laughs> he, pass, can, he can remove the Hawking, so he just plays his Havo pass. Yeah, it's it's only going to come to that point where he has a Moria and just swings at it and blocks and dies. Mm -hmm. But otherwise, I don't think it's going to... Thank you, UGS. Yeah, both decks are really uh, end game. Like, they have really hard cards. Mm. And so we're just going to have to wait to see where they're... Oh, the Hody is down. Resting both down. Mm -hmm. Hody. Hody is such a strong card. So with two done remaining... You keep uh, one for leader ability for sure. Mm -hmm. Then you can swing six against Sabo or Luchi, I imagine. Surgically adding one Dawn to Bonnie. Yeah. So going for the six. Okay, it gives it to you. And okay. Cameron counters off. I mean, Luchi needs a trash right now, so that's not the worst. Now we're going to swing seven. It was not signal, but I'm assuming it's seven life. Um, I don't know. Bonnie tends to starve a little bit. But we'll see. Surgically, yes, you got me there. It was with intent. Um, yeah, so uh, these black sleeves are like a blob to us. If we can get Judge Tyler to verify. Uh, <laughs> did, was life taken for Hody effect? Uh, life was taken. Bonnie is at four. Oh, so she was originally at five. Okay, so life was taken, so we're Gucci. All right, thank you for confirming that chat as well. So we are restanding. Sabo's gone. And there's one up for, for Bonnie here. Mm -hmm. Able to, to rest anything she wants. Does the Luchi have a big body to put down now is the question. Mm -hmm. I couldn't quite see how big of a yeah. stack Eric has in his hand. Uh, definitely something issuable or Sabo. Or or the uh, gecko, of course. Mm -hmm. Or maybe like he's spreading Luchi it. Has it though. He does have four life, so he might be spreading it out in some other degree or form. He is separating it in different stacks, so he might be projecting. Oh, I'm gonna put on five this way and so on. Uh, is he planning to set up? He's oh, he's going, going tall. big. Nine oh nine at the Hawkins, and we're gonna rest the Lucci. Ability. Okay, so he's going for a two for one. Yeah. Uh, the Bonnie seems to only have four cards in there. Okay, from so. The angle here, but not much. Might be five. Yeah, so it's not much Isho can do. But against. he does have the zero cost event, which is probably the mm. best out to uh, 3k. No, Tempest gonna, kick. They just hold it. It's kind of funny how we went from a card that draws and doesn't affect to banning it to now playing a similar one again. I mean, at least has the condition that you have to be at 10 cards in trash. And that's hard with Luchi? Uh, sometimes, <laughs> some days, if you have to early Luchi to yeah. remove something. Yeah, I think it's fair that I put in the, the conditions because I feel like the game should have more thematically uh, locked cards. Yeah, I would love that. Much more fun. Like, Gecko could have been Triller Barks only. Should have been Triller Barks. <laughs> okay. The that would have changed the history of Black Decks, probably. Pro probably Perona would be pretty... Yeah, it should be nice. There. Yeah, I think he just uh, drew the nine calls Zoro. Oh, are we going to see some action? Or I is Zoro going to get lost? <laughs> and, yeah, he did. Yeah, I see, I, see the, I see the foil. I mean... Our regular Art King over here. How many cards does Luchi has in the... He has the whole... Three. Oh, hold on. Uh, Soro, Bi yeah. Baby uh, Five, Biola, and... No, Biola, Baby Five, and Bonnie. Okay. So... He has Counter and the Zoro to stab. Small bodies and a Soro. He can swing big. Uh, I'm kind of surprised that the, the Luchi counter out of that 5K swing mm -hmm. when they only had three cards in him and then you have yeah. four lives. 
So we are at a very crowded event with a lot of people that travel all around. So definitely it doesn't hurt to be on the cautious side, especially if you're concerned with your health. So definitely no judgment here. Uh, there's something known as the, the con crud as well too. You know, we just came out of Gen Con and a few people we know uh, fell ill. It does happen. So people want to be safe, power to them. Yes. I don't think the Luchi has an out to the Zoro. Yep. Because the Zoro becomes a six. It eight, helps. Four. Okay, we go on. Later three. We have uh, Judge Teller assisting with counting for the cost to keep track for stream. Pardon me. Uh, three, five, minus, so four, three, minus. Hmm. It does help that he did put on stage early on. Yeah, he has no, the stage yeah, that makes, was pretty big. makes it and much better. Reduce, oh, reduce, and reduce. he rests the brook, so. Reduce, reduce. Can he get. He has plenty of Dawn left. Uh, he can make a play with that. If he uh, eliminates the Sorrow out of play, that'd be really good for him. Mm -hmm. Okay, and we're getting back. I mean, if he has Luchi Helmet, yeah, oh, yeah. he can do it. So yep. very impressive. Rebecca Spandine. Spandine. Could yep. have it sewer to And sewer all the recycling sewer. happening now when he plays Spandine. Yep. Uh, yeah, he has it, right? Mm, I think he's looking, checking which reduction oh. he's going to use. Oh, gotcha. Because he still needs to reduce the loot, does, or at least one more for Luchi. I see. Yeah, now he's a zero. Mm -hmm. Now he can Spandine. Pretty good. Yeah. Gecko here clears. It yeah. Does. It really and we're gonna remove the span the span them. Yep. Play his dad. Bottom deck three CPs. Bottom decking these events. Yep. And Luchi's one of the few decks that can actually uh take itself out or if they have the sequence correct they can make it so they're like infinite looping. Oh yeah. Well I was walking around the uh, tournament earlier today, I did see an incident of a player where they accidentally deck themselves out as Luchi. So it does happen. So unless you you have to keep track of where you're putting back and make sure you don't deck out. Mm -hmm. Yeah, with uh yeah. that started with Rebecca. I remember Rebecca was the original oh, deck yes. that you those, had to know your body. Those super deck. long games with those spread out uh discard piles. Oh my lord trash piles. Yep. Yeah, and Alucci and Soro has been handled within the turn, thankfully. It took a lot of, like, a pretty good amount of resources, but they mm -hmm. all came from Gecko, which is right. so strong. So we played how many Dawn for a, for a Dawn? No, we got how much Dawn out of a Dawn only? So play right. four so for eight. Becca, yeah. two for Maple, four for Alucci, three for Spandai. All those free Dawn we just got. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, there's still so much game to mm -hmm. go, though. Another Hody. I mean, it is a possibility that things might change. Maybe for OPR 9, things will... Uh, 21 dumb play, let's go. That That's right, that's right. The existence of, like, Blackbeard single-handedly mm, negates it, it, more. It nullifies every on-play. On play, yeah. so. You have to pitch a card for it, of course, but... They're giving Blackbeard a good amount of support. Mm -hmm, for sure. They have always, they have a stage searcher they and have, a character searcher. And they have the Katarina Devon that she has three options yes. on what she can do. She can be anything. So good. And so yeah. thematically accurate. Yes. Uh, that's one thing I do appreciate uh, that One Piece card game has very thematically accurate cards. Yeah. And like DNL, you know, it can't can uh, sacrifice life to revive if Luffy's on board. Mm -hmm. Katarina. Boa, uh, Boa 6 cost doesn't affect Luffy. Yes. It's a really nice thing that they do. But then we'll have people telling me, like, I love when brand new searches top three in the, in the anime. It's like, no, no, come on. It has <laughs> to have some generic effect here and there. Yeah, sometimes. Yeah. It can't be all just anime or manga accurate or we have Roger uh, winning every game. We're going to go for the Brook. So he did clear one of the geckos, right? Or is this the first gecko? No, this first is the first gecko. one, the one that played all the combo to get rid of Sora. Yeah, yeah. He countered. Brook is gone. We're gonna go. Is he gonna pitch his last card mm -hmm. for that thing? No. Yeah, he just let it go. 
one blocker on board. Uh, with Ben Dunn. So now he has two cards. He has been keeping his life uh, pretty high up right now, too. Bonnie is not swinging a life. Like, Bonnie mm -hmm. has avoided swinging a life as best as they could. I mean, it is kind of working because... It is. No, Bonnie wants Cameron's to play the denied. long game. Yeah, Cameron is being denied cards in hand right now. And with all these swings and rest and this whole shenanigans of green, it is going in his favor. Yeah, because Bonnie really wants to dry you out of resources and then take your life in a way that mm -hmm. you cannot come back in the meantime. I'll swing nine at Hawkins. Literally. So we're going to go into eight. No, nine. Not nine. Nine right? into not the Hawkings. Nine. Yeah, and reduce. We're going to rest the Moria. I wonder why he's not swing nine, with nine. Moria straight, but maybe because he wants the minus one on Hody probably. Yeah, and if he swings Moria first, he's going to miss out on that. So. Yeah. Yeah, so it's a sacrifice uh -huh. that he had to take. Try, yeah. And double try. counter out. Yeah. Two and a one. Reduce. Yes, ten. I will play six cost broke to trash. And he has and a Brooke six And Brooke says goodbye broke. to the hoodie. And I will pass. Yeah, the amount of stuff that Black's capable to do with one card in hand or two cards in hand it, is... It's a lot. It and is. Yeah, stage also makes it really... Mm -hmm. I mean, there's Easy a reason they banned it. Yes. And maybe a stage would be more uh, friendly if he had a cost like uh, rest and pay a dawn or something like that. Mm -hmm. But uh, I think banning him is fine. Gecko. Nice top deck. Ooh, we're gonna go nine at the gecko. Yeah, it's one of those game advancement kind of things where they have to make the the effects a little bit stronger from time to time. Otherwise, it's gonna be a stale game. Yep. Unless they inter keep introducing new mechanics. Mm -hmm. I think they're doing a fine job so far. They Nothing too crazy. Job. Yeah, it's uh, certainly shown us a one and a half longevity in this game. Oh, big Bonnie swing. Ooh, he gives the one card in hand. 2K. Which mm. I do think is his best play. Playing baby five for search. Yeah. Uh, he might be looking for 10 cost or a counter. Kid, Bonnie, that's good Rose. for me to see. He found Scout. Again, that's uh, not the Searcher Baby yeah. 5, the other one. <laughs> Wasn't that the one that... Uh, two, it's 2K, right? So that's yeah, she's a 2K. Yeah, yeah, that's what it is. I don't think it's much actual on-play stuff. Yeah, her, her on-play is like trash this character, if restand is, the Dawn in the other yeah, turn. Yeah, it's something restand thing. Yeah. So I'm going to rest the Luchi. Could have potentially swung 11 to get rid of Moria. Possibly. Yeah. Yeah, I, I would have preferred swing tall and removing Moria mm -hmm. than to play the baby five. But I think he might have been looking for 10 cost Dofi. Because yeah. 10 cost Dofi would give him a lot of tempo right now. Would help. Him. And he gets the Sabo. Hmm. I don't know if uh, Cameron plays this, but I did see uh, the 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 Luffy, the air quotes nightmare Luffy. Oh, nightmare Luffy! Yeah. yeah, it is a nice tech. It's a it's a better tech for black yellow Luffy. Mm -hmm. Because it doesn't KO, right? It, it, it trashes. It trashes, yeah. which is uh, word wording is key mm -hmm. on that. It's one way to bypass all these characters that have the security that protects them. Mm -hmm. Still, uh, Hawkins can still survive that. So I think they just run that for the Black Yellow matchup because it's such a bad matchup. Yeah. Bonnie with no characters on board. Chooses to, oh. And they, oh, oh. I don't think they, ha I mean, they're going to drop the kid, I believe. A cost kid. Yeah, for detach one, very possible. Yeah, mm. that seems to be the but play. And then play out what? Why not keep the Dawn up? Because he's going to need one Dawn to attach a kid. Oh. Uh, he had to swing six because otherwise it's a free no, block no, for Sabo. Was that a Sabo. miscount, maybe? No, no, I think he just didn't want to no, give no, the no, free no, block no. to Sabo. So he plays kid, he rests kids, but he doesn't attach the Dawn. Interesting. Because mm. he wants to keep the dodge to protect the... Yeah. So Bonnie ended up playing eight drop kit and the Rocinante to protect it from KO effects. So if a KO effect happens, it will go to Rocinante first. Yep. 
I mean, that is probably the best play he could get around here. Mm -hmm. So now we have a two life Bonnie with a little wolf. Especially with the Lucha being one life in hand, it was kind of smart mm -hmm. to take that counter out. Because if you give yeah. it a free block, it's too much. Yeah, but Eric is also low on hand, I believe. Also, yeah, yeah so no, yeah, he is going down. But mm -hmm. he does have two two Ks. Yeah, so. Block it. Mm. He blocked. For the six block, okay. Twelve kid. Uh, All that investment. Seven dawn. Yeah. He melt into a Moria. Yes. I mean, Bonnie only has two Ks in hand. It's mm -hmm. not looking good for Bonnie. I mean, the turning gate, the turning point was the Moria coming yeah. down with the Luchi. I mean, we, we could see a Dofi play, uh, and it's, it does not seem to be a C1. So, 14 and Moria, it goes. Okay. There's two other Morias in this card from what I recall seeing. Mm -hmm. So, he has one more left in the tank. But they got a blocker, and Spandine is 2k. Yeah, and, they, and one of them is going to get arrested. Yeah, now it's just a matter of deciding how to take swings. I, I believe Eric ha Eric Gabani has three cards left. I think I see an Apu. It's true, it's true to case, right? Uh, Apu, the baby five, and oh, uh, Viola, I think? Viola, yes. Yeah. Okay, so three 2Ks. Or double baby five, something like that. I think it's, and now he pulls a Barto blocker. Mm -hmm. And that's the uh, the blocker that, that procs effect when there's resting going on. Oh, and a big Spandine attack. Yep. What's it going to be? That's a seven. So he's going to have to let go of two cards in the hand. That the oh, yeah. yeah, the, oh, the yeah. 1K Barto. 2 and a 1, yeah, the Barto from life. Mm. And plays Kaku and lets it go. Ooh, the a 10. A 5K body. The yeah. 10 Do Dofi is strong here. Ooh. Not sure if it saves Bonnie, but it's strong. I mean, I'm, I'm they could easily dump everything in on Kaku or... He's still out of one life. Come on some way. And then for 10, yeah. keep them frozen. It's played. And two get rested. Yep. So now it's going to come to down to the top decking of Eric over here. Yeah, if he keeps top of decking 10 drops, maybe. <laughs> if he keeps denying life to Cameron, it might be able to turn this around. Big yeah. swing with the only character that can attack. Okay. And the last life is taken. Not much can be done. He has about four, five, six. Six dawn left. You can just establish a body and pass. And no blocker on the side of Eric. Little rough, little rough. Yeah. And I mean, against Luchi, uh, most of Bonnie blockers mm -hmm. are going to just pop very easily other than Hawking's. So I'm trying to skip around the Bonnie effect by playing more bodies. So if something gets rested, having the other one kind of like neutralize it. Yeah. Uh, yeah but I think that's game. He has zero blockers. Yeah, that's not much he can do. He can try search. And it is for Rest Rosa only or Don Quixote family only. So selection is going to be a little limited. limited. Yeah. And he got another a baby five. But that's also this commitment that they have to do. So, no more Dofi, possibly. Oh my God, we're yeah. digging. What is being played? Uh, Did he play the other baby five? Uh huh. Uh, Rosinante, very tiny blocker. Yeah, very easy pop. He can't swing over the other stuff. Two for Rosinante, one up, so he would have three Dawn free. I don't know if Bonnie makes it out. Really. I don't think no. it does, but they can try. Play the Rosinante on so-and-so Dawn. 
this way, ten into Sabo. Uh, ten is ten to blocker, okay. Eight at He's Sabo. still going to have two, 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 two bodies to attack with, though. He so only has be. one because of bunny Three. leaders. And how many cards in hand does he have? Now Three, two. Two. I mean, I think Bonnie might survive this turn, but uh -huh. I, I don't think there's yeah. so, so much to do after There is that. a blocker and a searcher, so potential. Oh, and the Kaku. Ops, the Kaku. Oh, no. Yeah, having the Kaku in hand. Kaku kills the blocker. Too All strong. In. All in with Luchi. Yeah, so now it's going to be big swing. I, I can't. Does he have the counter for this? Okay, well, we and he can, no, yeah, he has exactly has, 11. Yeah, so a good game on Eric. Huh? Cameron moves on to the next round, going to round eight as an undefeated Luchi player. Mm -hmm. Almost Very there. Very good game. Very good, yeah. Yeah. Luchi. Luchi. Uh, let's oh, give it a look at the scoreboard for other games. Weren't uh, your friends on a friendly fire match? Oh, yeah. Let's see. Rebel, table set. So. Yeah. Daryl, uh, Ethar Pilaw, Cameron the, won. The one baby five he immediately submitted. Very good on him right? from my just perspective. Yeah, really we need people to put in their, the their results no, immediately no, no, so you don't forget. Ape is still undefeated. We could have another category on stream. Let's go. Patrick Ray, I don't know, unfortunately. He won also. Juan Le won. Myra Velasquez won. Oh, that's already the. So we had. Currently, after this round, we're going to have only three undefeateds. Okay. So after that, we have the X1s. Uh, Pedro Cabrera won. So wait, if the down pair mm -hmm. loses, we're over? Oh, yeah. Because it has three, right? We get to go early. <laughs> uh, yeah. Oh, Anthony Mikalev is the one that played. Oh, okay. So potentially, uh, we could bring back Abe to see. Um, I, I do believe that that's the category player. That's the yeah. Ca yeah. So we could probably bring back Abe into the into the stream. Uh, unless you guys want to see RP Law with Daryl. Uh, we have... Patrick Way, Quan Le, yeah, that's the remainder undefeated. And then who else is uh, good? Oh, Holden Miller, he won with Queen. Okay. Once upon a time. Oh, I remember. Uh, there are X ones, by the way, here now. Uh, mm -hmm. Earl, Jerry's unregistered yet. Mark, Walter Jewel, Ty Shipman, still X one. Dexter hasn't sub uh, submitted his yeah. score yet. Uh, yeah, Jonas. X1 still, Let's so still go. going strong for uh, Top Cut. Yeah, Top Cut's a yeah. bunch of X1s too. How did our friend cross AI, Ethan Gunn, the X2? Uh, it is top 32. Is no, Chris Sock, he oh, left. Oh, Chris Scott. <laughs> Scott, yeah. yeah. Mm, Gavin, let me do search button here yeah. for, huh? Where'd it go? Did he not? Oh, it updated, that's why. Mm. Okay. Now, I'm not sure. I can't pull it up here. But I think, what do you guys think? Should we pull up Abe or find uh, Daryl on RP Law? Yeah, what do you guys want to watch? Yeah. Do you want to see Abe, see if he can go undefeated for the rest of the tournament? Or... Had it on incomplete, that's why. Uh, yeah, Hart won. He beat Cross AI. Unfortunate friendly fire. Mm -hmm. Yeah, had it on the only show on submitted. Oh. So that was like really <laughs> scuffed. Uh, You're like, Kaku, no one finished. Uh, what, what do we have? What was RP Law, The Last Dance? Isn't it valid for next Juan week in Texas? Hmm? Yes, th this is the second last regional we're going to have. Let me find out what Quan Le is playing. Uh, Quan Le. Is gonna be what table? Quan Newman. Six. Table six. So let me find out what Quan is playing, unless y'all know in chat. And then possibly we're gonna have Daryl, since uh, people wanna see some RP Law gameplay. Since Last Dance. Yay. Yeah, we'll find that Bonnie Quanlish. Quanlish on Bonnie. Oh. Mm. We just watched the Bonnie games. You guys we just watched Bonnie game. You guys want to so watch another one? So we have Daryl on RP Law, Quan Le on Bonnie, and, the and then Abe on, on Katakuri. So there are three options here that we have. Uh, I don't have a way. 
I don't know if our uh, friends at the stream are able to do a poll where you can pick. Uh, Katakuri, Katakuri, Katakuri. Okay. So we're getting a few boats on Katakuri here and there. His Bonnie build is not normal. I mean, yeah, a lot of good players have their own deck building, yeah. you know, philosophies. Yeah, so, so far nobody wants to see RP Law based on these reactions. People want to see either Quan Le or uh, Ape, RP Law. Doku Show, we don't have White Bear right now, I'm sorry. Quan Le, Bonnie. Yeah, I, I, I think I'm seeing more on their request for Bonnie with Quan Le. Okay. Yeah, Quan. We have no Hannibals going on. Russell's not playing, I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah. No Kata, only RP Law. That, that's going to be a troll. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I think we're going to be picking Quan uh, to be uh, the potential. Stream? Yeah. Yeah, wait. So we have three up. Yeah. So, yeah, so if Downper loses, then we're moving on to Top Cut tomorrow. Then. Yeah. Correct. So we're going to eight rounds. Yeah, because it is 700, high 700. Mm -hmm. So, but we're still honoring the advertised cap of the uh, 10, 10, 1024 yeah. in Top 32. So, we'll, we still go by that. Same with the invites and everything. So, yeah, we're going to uh, find Quan. Yeah, we'll find Quan. That way, we want to have a repeat player as well, too. So, that's a, a plus. Yeah, that's good. Yeah. So, uh, if we can go on a small break, we'll find Quan, talk to him, and see what we can get in. And for all we know, we might even see Daryl or who... Uh, well, he might be the damper. Yeah. Yeah, we, we don't know. We'll see. Yeah. We'll see. So we'll find out. So if you can go on a small break, we'll catch you guys in a few. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you. We'll be here with round eight of the uh, Peoria Regional.
I think I'm missing a card. I think I dropped one somewhere. One, two. I'm going to count my cards now. I'm worried. Yeah.
Hey guys, and we're back with round eight of the Peoria Regional. And we're gonna have uh, another set of undefeateds. We have Juan Le on Bonnie and Nicholas on RP Law. Very mad to the matchup. <laughs> yep. And it's uh yes, us, you wanna see Quan Le, you want us in RP Law. We have both, we have both. Yeah. Got both. Yeah, and we miscounted on the uh, the rounds. It's gonna be three undefeated except for this one. Yeah, yeah. We we jumped the gun. It's, it's okay. <laughs> There's still so. at least one more round. Mm -hmm. Let me adjust over here. And yeah, we have Quan. Um, he is going to be a prior winner uh, on, our, on our regional. He did win an event with Kinemon way back in OPO2, but he's always topping tables. So, very experienced player. And I believe Nicholas, too, as well. Yeah, that's going to be such a fun game. Yes. So, and then what is going to be. Yeah, we still have. Katakuri still going undefeated, so I think it's gearing up to have him be in top cut, for yeah. sure. Yeah, and then we have our local friend, uh, Michael, who is uh, a judge. He normally judges for top cut events, so him being on top tables and his so once in, in a while actually playing the event is pretty nice. And they're just preparing over here. They're doing the usual opening hands, which is pretty nice. It actually can help you set up knowledge on how they're going to go with their turn, first returns. It is. <laughs> and what are we on right now? 500 plus viewers. Awesome. Let me go ahead and uh, update this. If you guys want to tell me on chat, where are you guys watching from? Are you guys in the U.S., in Canada, a country in Europe? Where are you guys from? Let us know in the chat. Don't say your couch. <laughs> from my house. From my house, smarty pants. From, oh, we have a lot of answers. Uh, Kansas. Okay, let's go. Uh, Canada, Kansas. France, the East Coast, Canada. Canada, the UK, Brazil. Brazil! Brazil is getting some events now. Uh, my super people. cool of them. I've only gone to Sao Paulo a couple times. Hey, it's yeah, nice. That's nice. Yeah, uh, I was there a couple of months ago to introduce oh, Dexter to my parents. Nice. From Romania, a couple from Romania, really cool. Uh, we have Switzerland. Man, you guys, it's We're already, it's, it's already um, midnight for your time. You're like plus seven hours ahead of us, right? From Luxembourg, Chile, Rio, uh, France, the UK, Quan's house. I knew it was going to happen. Georgia, Fort Worth, Texas. We have... Uh, watching for this guy's couch. <laughs> yeah, we're just goofing off, having some time while we wait for the players to set up from New York City, from Georgia. Let's see, uh, todo lo que miran en español, ya se puede venir. Uh, fala portugués. Fala portugués. Yeah, you want to talk to them in Spanish and uh, in Portuguese? Uh, oi, tem algum brasileiro assistindo? Estamos aqui com a stream. Muito feliz de ver vocês aqui. Continuem apoiando. Yeah, so, uh, thank you guys for coming in, especially because this game, even though it's in English, and we're all forced to play it in English. We have, so, you know, in Mexico, we have voice events in Mexico, and they're all Spanish speakers, but they get the notion of the card. They yeah. translate it, they memorize it. Same even in Southeast Asia. They don't speak Japanese. They mm -hmm. just know, oh, law does this. This card does exactly, this. You yeah. just memorize it. Yes, go, Julia. There we go. <laughs> also from Southeast Asia, we got people from the Philippines. Yeah. So we got quite a bit of people watching. So that's super cool. We're nearing 600 viewers, and we're not even in Top Cut right now. Top Cut's going to be tomorrow. Uh, Ooh, Kwan. big support for Kwan. Nick has his lucky jersey. Oh, that jersey. I, I think this fellow Pedro is on that team too, I believe. Yeah, so it's uh, super nice that this game is bringing us all together. Uh, I don't think it's... Like any other game could do that, really. Yeah. The IP is so big and it's such a culture. Mm -hmm. Like they have literal college classes on, on like One Piece. Oh, I wish. Yeah. I do not know what kind of Asian Quan is, unfortunately. Maybe we'll ask him next time. <laughs> Quan is Vietnamese. What okay, is this? The game okay, we're started. starting. So Ooh. law went first. With the custom sleeves. Love that. Uh, 
have not seen those in a long time, those uh, official loss leaves. Yes, it's been, it's a, been minute. a minute. He's running the Dellinger build. It's interesting to get that one down back up. Oh, okay. That's interesting. Say five lead or five baby five. I do appreciate it thematically correct. Even the deck box is uh, law related. Hey, that's my deck box. Hey, <laughs> there we go. Perfect. Yeah, they're pretty nice. I like that it's a single deck box because mm -hmm. a lot of them are like two clone kickers or two. Yeah, I like the yeah, no, I, small. I, I like the brick. Personally, I like my one that's like a slimmer. That's mm -hmm. like a, a rectangle one. But this works out too. You got some really nice art ones too. Yeah. yeah. like your mats. Thank you. <laughs> Very surprising what's happening there. <laughs> like, Bro, was like, wait, wait, no swings? Gosh. I mean, but it is supposed, Bonnie is not supposed to attack Law until they have mm -hmm. a really solid board. Or at least that's what I got from some of the In, in most players. matchups, I don't think you, you rush down uh, Law because yeah. they get so much advantage from so seeing their killers. Seeing those cards, seeing those rages. Yeah. Because One Piece is one of those games where it actually gives you like a comeback mechanic with life. Yeah, Whereas unlike uh, yeah, in other, other in games. Other ga in other games, yeah. uh, you get rewarded for winning. Yep. Ooh. Okay, so double Shiraya now, bottoming the... So like our friend Karar, uh, we have Nicholas actually playing Shiraya. Okay. The Chachi Penguin, pretty strong. I just have to say this here. Starving him like a college student on ramen. <laughs> that was a go to coming, brother. <laughs> for real. Just gonna let and the we have to go Shirai go. Ooh, Cavendish. Cavendish is such a good card. Oh, and the Dellinger to get that dawn back up. Mm -hmm. Interesting. The advantage of De Dellinger compared to Uro is just because Dellinger can be played out of a cost kid. So oh, that's the advantage you get. So okay. at nine, you can play and still have the dawn up for mm -hmm. the leader effect. And it is a three, three, four. So that's a respectable stat line. Yeah, to you. it's it, law has a, at least to give you a tom mm. for it to bottom back it. And we're gonna go with a seven. Yeah, the the rose, I believe. Yeah, and there goes Shiraya. Yeah, it's really unfortunate that the uh, blocker heavy deck law is getting uh, countered a little bit by Bonnie's resting. Yeah, I mean that's the strongest point for Bonnie. Mm -hmm. Bonnie is a purely stomper now. <laughs> oh my goodness. Yes. Her and Yamato for purely. Yamato, kid. Yeah. At one point, yeah. I think I was so tilted playing purely, and I was playing kid that I just kept double swinging with kid into Bonnie. Yeah, you don't e <laughs> you don't even need the the cards when you're playing kid leader on purely. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, uh, here comes Raju. The Rager drawing two. The alt Rager. The card that's only good in, in, uh, in Rager, you know. <laughs> Not on anything else. Yeah. Okay. I'm surprised that the Cavendish stuck on the board that he preferred to. I mean, he probably doesn't have the Gord in uh, order. Fine, We're going for a straight five, so. Oh, he was rested. Yeah, yeah he was rested, Sorry. so he's a four. I mean, with the Cavendish on the field, that opens so much play for the Bonnie right now. Because they can eight drop kid, they can nine cards. Yeah, Nothing it brings back the Dawn. Yeah. yeah. Could establish a good body. Eight cost kid will be a really good card, apparently. I mean, yeah, because you have to spend a lot of resources to get him. You have to give at least two reducers, and he's going... Uh, you, you have to fight it out also as another option, but that's... Oh, and oh, we have that does Basil. To stand two. Okay, now we got Basil. Oh, the and Yorosh now. That was a good Double turn. blocker, and they can also get back their done now. Pretty mm -hmm. good. Yeah, Quan is pushing through there. Good job. Meanwhile, Qua uh, sorry, Nicholas has not 
taken a life yet. He's been starved the entire game so far. Bonnie seems to be in control. Yeah, Law has, like, uh, I think we talked about that before. Law has a few key pieces that you need to combine for the deck to work. Mm. And that's why starving is one of the best strategies against it. Because if they can't see the pieces, they can't do their things. One for Gordon. Bottom deck to make him a 3K. Oh, okay. He's the gonna. action is happening. We are yeah. Gordoning. Yeah, we're going to remove the Cavendish. Swing five and a three. Oh no, he's gonna uh, just. Juanasaurus is still in. Hmm. Bon. I mean, yep. I think, yeah. Ooh. Interesting. Six and a three. Ooh. Did you say leader? No, into three, because Kevin Dish is a three, uh, three oh. thousand power because of the. Uh, oh, oh yeah, I see. Oh, okay, I see the player turn. Then he can that. bottom the Kevin Dish. Sora I see, I see. Play out. Iron. Yep. Uh, ramp one for back. Five. And the ramping now with the iron. Yeah, the Zorjur is a little weak because he's a four life. Zorjur has no effect. But I'm sure that's probably the only body he has, considering he only has one card in hand. For comments, I think it'd be like really oppressive yeah. to have Dofi be dropped on right now. Since mm -hmm. yeah, that would shut down two 5k attackers and establish a 10 drop. Yeah. And again, that is a lot of cards to spend to get him out, and I don't think they're going to get to that point. The Bonnie could be in a good place, too, if they can hold him now, clear board, leave, like, no eye, no Zorger, or no... I think I've seen enough Hody for today. <laughs> <laughs> I've seen the memes, chat. I've seen the memes. <laughs> Hody for the win. Uh, we have five next turn. I'm at three right now. I've seen Hody steal a few wins in regionals, too, so... I mean, that's the only reason the deck works. Yeah, it was uh, in Oviedo Regional. We had, uh, I believe it was Nicholas, also, uh, a Nicholas. Mm -hmm. He uh, was playing Yamato, Hyper Agro Yamato, Ooh. and it was the Hody for the game, too. So mm -hmm. it definitely Always. steals games. Yeah, the ability to rest limitless is, is pretty strong. Rest for and, sure. and rush. Yeah. That's insane. And everybody s said it was bad originally. Because, like, oh, you take life. I mean, if you that. see it isolated, like, as a yeah. car by itself, you can be like, oh, yeah. the cost is too high. Yeah, rush is rush. But in green, that you usually have pretty high life. Mm -hmm. Oh, life is finally starting to be taken. Mm -hmm. Oh, X Drake? He is running the spice. Oh, the KOR. And, and another Dellinger. And Dellinger. Going to restand to on the turn because of Rouge. Let's go. Yeah, the the body is not giving Law any room to breathe there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that that's a lot Four of big bodies one. that Green has established. A seven, five, six. Bonnie Searcher. Oh, it's gone. Never mind. It's yeah, not that's fine. Yeah. Right. Leader ability or? Okay. Okay, so he chooses to not use leader ability. Hmm. I, I Which is yeah, interesting because he might be playing right? around a, a rusher coming down or something like that. Yeah, okay. Or a blocker coming down because he wants to go for a game next turn. So if he so waits, mm -hmm. it could be interesting. I mean, there is a possibility he's not running the uh, Don Quixote Seven, package. Uh, I know, he, uh, Dellinger is Don Quixote. Yeah, but maybe it's like the for generic. Just that, play, yeah. Yeah, so I mean, it, it is paying off dividends for sure. Uh... Yeah, but have we have we seen Biolas and Baby mm, Five? So I don't think no. we have, and that is. But to be fair, the Bonnie has not gone through many cards. I think there are four in trash. Mm -hmm. And it it does already have one searcher, so maybe they don't want to have double searcher and bottom yeah. cards. People have that perception where they don't want to double search because they don't want to bottom their key cards. Mm -hmm. No, that's totally valid. Yeah, but most decks do double search, mm -hmm. like even Otama, in the White Bear days, we had two of those. Yeah, yeah, I, I, get, <laughs> I get what we're doing. Yeah, two for Fire Fist. Okay, Fire so fist. Uh, so he so forces the now. the Hawking's three, removal there. Bottom deck. I have no active characters. So he has no active characters to rest. Play out. Working around uh, the basal. Bon play. Ooh, bon bon play. play. And, uh, and the law has how many cards in it? Now we got the equalizer sorry, over here with bon really <laughs> So yeah, the field yeah. has been evened out. The law has one card in it. 
one yeah. card no, yeah, and two life left. Nothing to it. I just grabbed so it the first way I seven, it. nine, <laughs> eleven. I don't know if you can do seven, nine, Sorry. eleven, but. Probably. Yeah, and they use their two case to play stuff also. So yeah. yeah, they it, had to it, put it down the Otamas. It is a very good opportunity if uh, Quan wants to go for it now. Yeah, if he has a rush, uh, Cody. Oh, that's enough swings. Thing. Yeah, rush. Mm -hmm. Oh, sorry, I pulled the cable by accident. Seven, yes, nine. it is a very yeah. big possibility that we have game. You said seven nine eleven. Seven nine nine, he can do. Uh -huh. He would uh -huh. be ideally <laughs> seven nine eleven, but he can't. So seven nine nine. Two, four, four, yeah. But he also might just be very cautious because sometimes Law can just kick back and have that. Mm -hmm. So Quan might be debating that pushing might not be the best strategy for this turn. Uh, on on the RP Law side, uh, we've only seen two Shirayas get played, I believe. No other blockers. Mm, yeah. No Queen, no, no queen Sanji. Or kid. Oh, here, or talk kid. about the Queen. And it's gone. Yeah, and he went to trash. Yeah. He probably got it off the the lives that he just got. Yeah, so we're thinking, and Money we search. are choosing to search out. Uh. Hmm. Yeah. Eh, he now, probably will poke a little yeah, bit. Yeah, especially clear now after uh, spending two dawn on this. Definitely. Essentially, he's just maximizing his chances for next turn, for sure. Because yeah, Bonnie's not losing next turn, so he's not in mm -hmm. a hurry to win. Yeah, Bonnie's still in a healthy three life. And they have leader ability, which it's naturally a, prevents it's like a swing. Free block. Yeah, it is uh, an unfiltered Punk Gibson. He plays Cavendish, gets two up. Now it's big bodies for us. No, oh, seven, he's contemplating yeah. it. Seven. Behind. Going for the board with a seven to five, and then six at the Zoro. That's a, oh, it's six, yeah, six. And board Search. is being effectively cleared out. Baby five is played. So One, he's two, running the baby pipe. Okay, so they are package. and it instant chose Biola from what it seems. Okay, yeah. Okay. Uh, what we got? What we got left? And then they got one done up. Yeah, that's all they got. I mean, their attackers are. I mean, Bunkley can swing for six, but he dies immediately after. Yeah, it's not. Bunkley is used for that uh, yeah, this is big <laughs> character <laughs> somper. Yeah. This is rough. And I don't think he's running triple mock, you know, mm. there to buff that Otama. So <laughs> no. <laughs> How many in hand? Three. Three? Two, two Ks. RP Luck could run a lot of bricks. Yeah, we, we've seen it. We've seen it no, in person. We definitely Look at our it. friend Karar here. Currently fighting for his life at 6 1. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> hey, 7 1. No, no this is no. round 8. Yeah. Like to, uh, for the correction six, that we made earlier, seven, we seven, are going to be having eleven, three undefeated two, after three, round three. 8. Yep. That is the correct statement. Because, you know, we misread sometimes. It happens. Uh, We're all human. For <laughs> Max. Mm. Kind of bottom Max. The Top cut will be best of 3. Right now, we're on Swiss three, for nine, pin. ten rounds. That is best of one in One Piece card game. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that is a very interesting question, if he does run Soro or not. most I would think uh, most Bonnies would, because it's, it. it's very plus. It's a very oppressive character to have. That is true, but also the Bonnie decks are so tight. You have such a strong core on it with the yes. Supernova and the Doflamingo stuff. Not and much will go room. Yeah. I won't. Mm -hmm. And he has anything. two searches he can do because because um, the Bonnies and the Baby Five survived. He's running Corazon. Oh, he dropped Corazon. Oh, nice. Yeah, I, I seen some builds that had him, and it's when you get that lock in, it, it's it's a uh, really hard to get out of. Yeah, no. I was playing some games uh, with Impact when he was showing me the Bonnie matchup. SNL, and it's like, man, what do I do with this? <laughs> this Corazon is too much. It, it, like, especially against black and yellow that have yeah. only KO effects. Uh, mm -hmm. They they feel it. Yeah, it's not looking great right now for Nicholas. Yeah, we're going to do the Bonnie surge now. 
Yeah, leaving Bonnie up, like any searcher up is, is so damaging nowadays. Yeah, he just got two plus two cards for two yeah. dawn. But green is known for the, you know, the insane amount of searching I power. Three. Yeah, back in the day, they would sit behind a cost kid and just have Rizo swinging to draw cards. The Rizo, oh my goodness. Locks Fun time. Oh, oh, and he's locking one of the dawns rested correctly this time. Bonnie unlike was me. played. He plays the ball, and he plays another searcher. So many Juan searches. is just so guaranteeing victory at this point. Yeah, but it's, it's good. Gotcha. Uh, Six lead. Six lead. Yep. Take. Okay. Uh, I'm not sure if we can have that token on, on the board. How would you mark it? <laughs> that little the little marker there. It's a. Um, of a, a friendly Japanese company. It doesn't matter who to attack. <laughs> um, I'll swing oh, I got it. I finally got this fly. <laughs> sure. <laughs> yeah. Can't kill next round with the searchers. Yes. Yeah, he can win swinging five with the Four searchers. Right two, There's two. just so many bot. Oh, Dellinger, Bonnie, one life left. Mm, yeah. What I don't think the but the, the rage you save him this time. Down minus three, bottom deck. Uh, bottom decking. Yeah, bottom deck one of the baby fives. Okay, so one less searcher. Mm-hmm. Play out Ein. Ramp We're going for an R body with Ein. Pass. And we're passing with three, three in hand. I read you did some one work. One life, Seven yeah. Seven. Does he take two from the hand? Yeah. Yeah, I think, oh. Fourteen. It's not, yep. yeah, all in. And Quan takes the win. That remains was on a the really field with Bonnie. That a Bonnie game. Hey, if this was a Swiss tournament, this Bonnie could have potentially won the whole thing too. He so, could have? Yeah. That's so, that's, that was really that nice was, Bonnie it, gameplay. It mm -hmm. works. Yeah, I, I it was uh, way different than the clinical. Absolutely, yeah. Very good game from Quan. So we're back to the main screen. Let's do an update on tables here. Uh, what we got, what we got here? Let's do a refresh. So we'll be having one or two more rounds. Daryl playing RP Law 1. Cameron Selcom, uh, he won as well. So we have a RP Law and a Lucci, and Quan Le, uh, he won with Bonnie. So the three, now the three remaining now undefeated. Now correctly, three we undefeated. Have RP Law, Lucci, and Bonnie. So last three undefeated going to the next round, round nine. Nice. So chance that it ends right there, chance that it goes to 10. Yeah. So it's, it's nice that we're meeting the 10 round quota, even though we're at high 700, because it's still. We still play through the undefeated no matter what. Yes. Uh, on the X1 side of the uh, the bracket, uh, Hart did go X1. Uh, he has, uh, what else, what else? Any other notable players that we have that are still X1? Eric Chan, who we had with yeah. Bonnie. Uh, Dexter Riley defeated Josh Graham. Let's go! Anthony Mikalev beat James Newman. Then, do, 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 do. Jonas. got it. Uh, if you want to say the prayer in chat, <laughs> you can put it on the Twitch chat. Uh, X1, Holden Miller, and Kush still uh, being contested. Kevin Shaw, still X1. Dio Dimas, X1. Uh, Nikki is the second highest X2. Yeah, I think X2 still have a pretty good shot. You see, even if you look at tables, that is table 29. You divide it by half. It's so within contention for for a top cut for sure. Absolutely. Yeah. Uh, Henry Pham and a high top two. Uh, mm -hmm. X2, my apologies. And then Cody Angeloff. Yeah. Th Cody's yeah, still on. Yeah, I, I, think, I think Cody's playing. What, what's Cody on? Is he in B Black Yellow Luffy? I think he's in Black Yellow Luffy. Lots of Black Luch Yellow Luffy here yeah. today. But we haven't seen one on we stream yet. Yeah. We, yeah. We've seen a lot of Luchi and Law. Yeah. But we, we'll, we won't escape them next tomorrow for sure. So, yeah. We'll yeah. Not. We're going to see that. I wonder if we have, like, because we don't keep track of these X1, X2s. If we have something, like, a little bit different. Uh, obviously, we'll see a Perona probably, but, like, maybe. Mm -hmm. 
from my personal experience, one of our friends, uh, Warren from the Pasadena Regional, he played into a, a Foxy, oh. and the Foxy was his only loss. <laughs> and, and, and it was wild because if you were seeing uh, another Shonen Jump title, uh, this, this man, he had the L sit, so he's barefoot sitting on the chair, squatting down, and he's playing Foxy and he beat him. <laughs> Yeah, so it was it was bizarre. I bet. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much it on Giancarlo. Oh wow, my friend Giancarlo, who decided to show up last minute, is next to with Nami. Let's go. Okay. Nami. Is he the one that put it? Uh, the, no, the that was Kareem. That's a different um, uh, Nami player. Kareem. We have too many Nami players so now. So many Nami too players. Too many. Uh, I remember is there anybody else in your group that that you're looking? To see your records? Uh, no, I think the only person no. that was X1 was Dexter from my group. Ted Zimmerman? Oh, no. Mm. Who else can I look into? Uh, uh, I think Lucas X2. How is. Uh, how is Desiree doing? D E. It said double. I. I. R A. R A. E. I think she dropped out. Yeah, she probably did. Yeah, how is uh, our friend Michael Emiof over here? Mm. He is Hugh X2. It's still within contention. One more game to play. Can still climb up the uh, the ladder. The, yeah, <laughs> ladder, uh, the the tiebreakers to be higher in in an X2 bracket for sure. Yeah. Uh, Ying is also on uh, X2. He won that one, so that's good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, still a lot of good, lot of good players. We have a really stacked uh, regional, uh, I would say. So stacked. Mm -hmm. Big I, names I feel everywhere. like the only thing we're missing here is like a Jackson or something. Yeah, isn't Jackson here? Uh, no. After Pasadena, he told me he's taking a break until Nats. Okay. Because he already has invite and his travel, and and it's good to rest. He says he's uh, he's watching his pets while his uh, partner travels oh, for some trip okay. in Asia. So good for him, being responsible. Uh, yeah. Who else would not is not here that usually travels? Uh, Florida crew. Some are you not here. You said Chris Sog left. Chris Sog left. Yes. I don't know what else I can find from people. Uh, other than finding out on all these X1 still remaining. But it was really interesting that uh, we unintentionally we dodged Black Yellow Luffy, but it is a very prevalent deck. We dodged Anami, uh, and we have still, we'll see a lot of them on Top Cut for sure. Absolutely. Yeah. And it is such a hard match, especially if they see into an L on Top Cut. Mm -hmm. It's basically a buy almost. They have yeah. to play it out, they have to play they it have right to off, do of course, it. but it is a really hard match. For sure. like everything has to go right for an L and everything has to go wrong for Nami. Yeah. Yeah. Nami has such a strong matchup there. Mm -hmm. uh, what I think is funny in the stream because we watched uh, Bonnie versus Law yeah. twice and the yeah. games were completely yeah. different. That was so interesting. Uh, what's uh, I'll do you the solid on that one, Egg. Uh, and uh, she is uh, X three. Okay. Yeah. She just lost to Jordan Palmer. Mm. I think Back he's the one that got 32 in. Mm -hmm. the, yeah, is it? Yeah, it might, it, might, it might be, it might be. In California. Yeah. Uh, yeah, top cut events. Who was the highest seeded Gekko Moria? Right? Uh, probably the fellow that, that uh, won against Karar. Karar, yeah. Uh, was it Ty? Ty. Yeah, so I think it, it might be that one. Uh, thank you. So I got this shirt from the official One Piece store in Shibuya. Uh, I was on the hunt to find a deck box that I really wanted, and we had the One Piece store, and it's uh, in a mall. And it was basically two big buildings. One was a mall that had it, and then one was a Parco, and they had the Shonen Jump store, where they had also clothing, but I didn't buy anything there. Very hard to find uh, clothing in Japan if you're not small. Yeah, their, their clothes X, sizes yeah. are way smaller Yeah, than you ours. have to go up a size. This is actually a large, I believe, or an XL. But I wear medium, small sometimes. Uh, I did buy a shirt that's all the Gear 5 caricatures, super oh. cool. And then, uh, yeah, they have a lot of One you Piece stores over Nets, there. Right? I went there for Worlds. 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 Yeah, it was super nice uh, to meet all these people over there. Got to see the European players again. Got to meet all the Asian players for the first time. Yeah. Uh, met McKenyu. Mm -hmm. That was super oh, cool. That, that one I was jealous when I saw the pictures. Yeah, that was, uh, you know who was jealous too? Cross. Oh. Because <laughs> he was playing the he, money match. Yeah, yeah, he was really busy uh, in trolling in his game, and he didn't notice. And uh, But I would have thought, it's like, well, people ask constantly for a Sharpie and a picture. What do you think is going on? It's, what do you think is like happening There's like 10 people here? bunching up on this guy over here trying to get a selfie. Uh, but yeah, but it was super cool. I kind of half knew that McKinney was known, but I didn't know that he was like super, like, mm -hmm. 
He's a big actor in Japan. Yeah, I bet. Yeah, he, yeah, he played uh, many other roles for live action and stuff too, so that's super cool. And now they're filming the uh, new season. Yep. And hopefully uh, the project keeps going well and it, they do well and it sells and it does great. Are you uh, planning to go to Worlds again? I'm saving the mouse. Let's go. Saving the mouse for it for sure. Yeah, I guess uh, it, the hardest, the hardest uh, hurdle of traveling to Asia is the flight. Really? Yeah, for sure. It's very expensive. Uh, it's over in the thousands probably. Uh, mine was over 12 something hundred Ooh. last time. It's nearing to be about the same this time around, I believe. Yeah. And finding the booking is nothing crazy uh, because hotels can be cheap. If you really want to go really low budget, you can just do a capsule hotel. Oh, yeah. And that's like 30, 40 a night, depending on where you go. Super low key. Uh, and then the food is cheap. You can always afford to go to a is convenience store. Yes, very good. <laughs> uh, we have our gas station food. It's nothing compared to their gas station food. Oh, well, wow. convenience store food because they don't mm -hmm. have those over there. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so that's another thing. Or example, 7-Eleven. Um, it is partnered with One Piece right now. They're doing all these promos. They're giving out. So our current event packs that we have, Gear 5 Luffy, Law, Kid, and the regular Luffy, yeah. those were 7-Eleven pro promos in Japan. You have to go order karage, which is like a fried uh, chicken Japanese style, and you get the promo. Here, it's actual or event pack, and now they're doing it again. They're giving out a uh, Baron promo of the three captains. The three leaders, right? Three, ca uh, three brothers. Three brothers leaders. Yes. So that's super cool. They have all these new alt arts, and it's still, you have to get fried chicken still. Damn it. I wish yeah. I could get some fried chicken here and get some cards. Yeah, right? Uh, I mean, we did have a promotion uh, with the Japanese Conveyor Bell Sushi restaurant. Really? Yeah, the but it sold out. Every, when I went to it, when I got back to sold Orlando, out in two it, it, was, it was like towels, glasses, cups, uh, sold out. All they had left is when you input like, the plates, you get a price for so many. Mm -hmm. So I got like 15 plates of sushi, and I got a little button that had Sora, Sanji, and Usopp. Oh, cute. Yeah, so it's some, some little do that. Yes, it was that chain. And yeah, there's a lot of collaboration with One Piece. Uh, this I'm, I'm one is a collaboration too. Gonna, which one? The watch. Oh, oh yeah. Yo, it's like a log pose. That's yeah, it's cool. the Nami. It's a Brazilian uh, mm -hmm. eyeglass and watch company. Yeah. They did this official collab yeah. with the Nami watch. Yeah, they always do that too. Like wristwatches, they have like the uh, the Gear 5 the also, Zo yeah, they shoes. Have Zorro, Luffy. Yeah, One Piece is everywhere, really. So good. It really is. Yeah, so. Uh, we're having the pairings finish up here. Maybe we can go on a break, and we'll come back to you with potentially the last round. Uh, yeah, so we'll catch you guys in a minute here. That's good.
You can take it. You, you got this. Hello, everyone. We're back to round nine, potentially yeah. our last round, but not mm -hmm. confirmed yet. We do have a pair down with one of the undefeated players. Mm -hmm. And we're going to have Luchi versus Bonnie on stream. Quan yep. again from the last game. Yeah, we have Quan, and we're bringing back uh, Cameron over here with Luchi. So we have managed to completely skip up Black Yellow Luffy. Tomorrow we'll see, <laughs> yeah. I'm sure. Yeah, tomorrow for sure. Yeah, I think we're, we've reached that point, but we don't have to force. Oh, you're playing Nami? Let's pull you on stream because mm -hmm. we've seen too much Nami already. So. Yeah, yeah. no, absolutely. Uh, Luchi is a little bit of a harder matchup for Bonnie than uh, Red mm -hmm. Purple Law. Oh, yeah. We'll see. Uh, Kwan's a capable player. He's definitely very experienced with the game itself Absolutely. and playing green. So I'm sure he I'm tested that matchup a million oh, times. Oh, yeah, for sure. So I'm looking forward to that. Mm -hmm. yeah. We have the uh, the JJK hoodie over here. I <laughs> got a lot Pretty of that. Pretty nice. Uning Arena is looking interesting. I can't wait for that. When does that come out? Uh, October-ish mm -hmm. is what I recall mm -hmm. it being. Exciting. So looking forward to that. I think pre-release is happening next week. Oh, awesome. Yeah, pre-release pre -release should be next week. Uh, and they do have uh, stamp starter deck cards. They mm -hmm. have these promo cards and a winner stamp card too, I believe. Mm -hmm. So that's pretty cool. Yeah. I, I, I try, I think. It coincides with our treasure cups. Okay, with the store it's treasure cups. It's that same cups. time frame, I believe. Yeah. Gotcha. That's nice. Okay, what we got and what are we seeing over here? Uh, they. What did I say? Uh, no, there is round two. No, sorry for any confusion, guys. Day two, that's tomorrow on Sunday morning. We're going to have the top cut of top 32. Mm -hmm. Okay. So we are back, back with Luchi Bonnie on a different take about it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Bonnie taking second. Mm -hmm. I'll pass. Okay. All right, so the hand... Double Cavendish, Hody, and Basil, and Eroge, and mm -hmm. Tempest, Brook, Sabo, Tree That is a solid Brooker, hand yeah. for both sides. Yeah, seeing a lot of nice things on both hands. Uh, da, 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 da. Baby five or baby five. Mm -hmm. Five year leader. I lead probably play the blue, play the brook mm -hmm. uh, to get rid of the baby five. Yes, five at your leader. Right. And minus one to baby five. Minus one. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta yeah, make that sure. baby five a zero. Yeah, the, the whole notion of zero cause was, was funny because in other uh, Bandai games, I guess going to zero. It means you lost. Uh, no, what's it? Attack, no, attack value zero means, uh, yeah, yeah. That's what it was. I think it is in Dragon Ball Masters, or even Fusion World, if the attack value goes to zero, it KOs itself. Yeah. I mean, the Luchi is on a really nice curve here because he can swing five, reduce the Roach, and drop the Kaku mm -hmm. if he has three in trash because I think he has bottom deck three. Yep. Yep, nice. trash. Another CP card. Yep, we're going to rest the Brook. Mm -hmm. And do we drop uh, the Kaku requires three random cards or three CP? I need C the five drop Kaku. Yeah. Uh, CP, I believe. Okay, so yeah, to do can't. the KO play for yeah. sure. Like yeah, that was ba back a whole thing during OPO three, three, I believe, where people were stay, uh, abstaining from attacking into Luchi because so they didn't want to feed them. They want they didn't want to feed him the Kaku, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. Oh, the Sabo is a strong. One, two, fills the yeah. trash. It guards your brook, too. Bro guards the brook. Uh, no, well, green doesn't have that much going on there, but still, yeah. I mean, you can still swing over in the tricky mm -hmm. counter that you would see. Yeah. Bonnie traditionally swings a lot of fives and sixes because their mm -hmm. board goes wide. So Sabo is a good It's player. like a mid-range. Yeah. Oh, I forgot to get confirmation on whether or not uh, Juan played Soro or not because we didn't oh, see it. We didn't see uh, it. Yeah, I'm, I'm not going to woke up and ask him right now. <laughs> Yeah, hey, let Maybe me stop your game real quick. Tell me. And then instinctively, he looks at his hand. He's like, oh, you gave it away. Sorry. Yeah. No, nah, I'm just kidding. <laughs> mm. Okay, so 
Swing five, res the Sabo. This is potentially the last round. We have three undefeateds left. This is table one with Quan Le on Bonnie and Cameron on Lucci. Table two is featuring the third undefeated, Daryl, who's playing RP Law against uh, Christina, but I don't know exactly what she's playing. She's a down pair. Originally, we're going to put them on stream, but she declined to have a stream, which is completely fair, mm -hmm. respectable. Uh, and then we had uh, Quan and Cameron be, you know, ready to show up and stream for us here. That Brook being on the field is still pretty strong. It would be better if he had stage. To keep a one attacking effect, absolutely. Yeah. Okay, we're going to feel that trash. Take speed. That, that's nice. The Hawkins is the scary part for Lucci here. It's a pretty hard removal. In Bandai games, we play, we play till the undefeated, at least in One Piece card game. So there will be only one X zero after this or next round. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm. Playing the big soul. So that's interesting. We got Cameron here, laser focused yeah. on what he's going to play. He reduced uh, the Hawkings. Uh, he has so much board that can be rested. I, I wasn't. Um, it's minus three right now. Minus six on six. the Hawkings. Oh, no. I, oh, I'm sorry. I'm seeing the wrong dots on that die. <laughs> yeah, he did two Tempest kicks. Mm -hmm. But it's still a little confusing how he plans to remove them. And he's got four left. Yeah, but he mm. has so much board. Hawkins just arrest something. Guys, we're at 600 people tuning in from all across the world. Thank you for stopping by to Top Cut Events' uh, Twitch channel. Uh, we're happy to have you here. I hope you guys enjoyed the stream so far. We're here to give you this round and perhaps another round maybe for today we'll come back tomorrow in the morning for top 32 top cut playoff <sighs> he's debating oh he's gonna attach oh oh yes he confirmed he everything know? to reduce into Hawkins and then he can just choose to rest the Sabo there Mm. And then he can just rest the Hawkins and 2k out of it so he doesn't lose a body. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Everyone's going to make fun of me. <laughs> oh, no. Yeah, he, yeah. so okay. what you guys are saying, uh, he like just that. said, just everyone's going to make fun of me now. <laughs> <laughs> so. Did he forget Hawkins? Oh, him? no. Like, yes, Brooke sticks. I have the reduction. We're clear. Yeah, I Put think he forgot the Hawkins oh, effect. Clip it, chat. Clip it. Yeah, we got him, boys. I, I look back at my hand. I'm like, just, oh, just it's kidding, not just there, kidding. huh? Yeah, it's, it's, it's fine. Uh, he has the road go. I mean, I would too. A lot. Uh, the Luchi just invested so much resource there. So. Uh, please don't blame me on this. I had no uh, association with this misplay. <laughs> But yeah, no, things happen, you know, it's been a long day. We have been streaming this for over six hours. So, you know, people have that, that good old brain fart sometimes. Sometimes. People get tunnel vision. They'll forget that there is another um, active character. They'll forget that Bonnie still has an active Dawn and you swing and you get rested on the other character. So things mm -hmm. happen. I mean, but Luchi's still at four alive. Yeah, it's so, so he has so healthy. much space. I remember the days back when it was 
Swiss and Top Cut the same day. I think it was the oh first regional God. in Long Beach. They finished that at midnight. midnight. Yeah. yeah. No, that's not good. And that was RG Low against Luffy, if I recall, and Luffy won that one. Research it into baby five. The Dellinger the the attack over here. <laughs> he's, he's, he's reading the card. There he we go. He has to like, read the card. Like the whole. Turn great. You know, that was a very strong turn for Bonnie. I mean, do we see a big what is that? coming down right now? Because mm. he is a nine dawn. Uh, All right, and yeah, we're milling out the brook, uh, the one that trashes. Okay. Eight, the more is coming down. Maybe. Yeah, we're at the eight. Yeah, 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 yeah the nine. one and yeah, the one and yeah. lead. Gotcha. End of turn, active. Uh, from who? Uh, that's Dellinger's effect. No, that's not Dellinger, is it? No, your roach is the one that's the end of turn. Uh, Cavendish is uh, one attacking. No, the both of them do don. Kevin just restands on play and attacking. Dellinger restands one in the end of the turn. Oh, so he, so they had. Is it an up two? Because if he forgot and the units are being played out, then they forgot. Yeah, they probably. It's probably up two. If it's up, it's two, up two, it's a done deal in that case. The only, from personal perspective, uh, I believe the draw effects are the only ones that are absolutely mandatory. Yeah. Yeah, so like me, Blue Mihawk starter deck, you have to draw. Mm -hmm. Ball Hancock starter deck, you have to draw. All those, you have to draw. For restanding, boosting, all those other effects, they're usually up two. So if they skipped it, they skipped it, unfortunately. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's actually refreshing that we haven't seen the. Uh, did you add boost from your uh, your Luffy's to your BY Luffy? Yeah. Yeah, we didn't. Oh no, we kind of saw it a little bit with the Ace. Oh, with the Ace. On yeah, yeah, on I guess so. Yeah. yeah, yeah, but it was very mild. Very minimal. Yeah. I mean, right now, like the Luchi push and something kind of a good position right now because if the Hawkins attacks again, he has the Moria to go over it. So we're gonna have to see what the Bonnie player can establish. The ten Delphi freezes. Oh. Okay. I mean, having a freezing two big guys. Yeah, two five k leaders. Mm -hmm. Oh no, uh, I, the the bl one of the blockers. Yeah, this pandem is, is whatever. You know, it's a two k. But losing leader, losing the ability to to, to the minus, minus one is exactly, is strong, very strong. and also no stage for Cameron in this game. Yeah, no, the the game is being rough so for that, Cameron. Today. Yeah, so seeing that <laughs> Dofi and minus one ability to reduce cost, it's gonna be uh, really big for Juan over here. He still has other outs he could take. He has like Ice Age and other the, all those others. Oh yeah, level. absolutely. Uh, I think from what I've seen, we've only seen like the top 20, 30 cards in, in Cameron's deck, obviously, uh, from past game. I didn't see uh, Nightmare Luffy, so maybe it's not a tech I think play. many of them took it out. They just accept the the L on mm. the Black Yellow Luffy because it was taking a space. It might be yeah. one of those cr cross uh, attacks in that yeah. case. Okay, he's ge he's getting the. He's going to summon the Luke or the or one of the reducers. Mm -hmm. Oh, the Khalifa cleared that the 2K. hand, which is definitely necessary there. Oh, he drew a Moria. There we go. Yeah, sometimes you just got to play it out to draw. Set yourself up for next turn. Especially in black. Sometimes you need some cards to move out of your hand. Mm. But he can't play that Moria this turn, so... And mind you, he's still at four life. Yeah. He's still got 
one active blocker, one rested. He's still mm -hmm. in a pretty good spot. So even if uh, Doflamingo is threatening him right now, yeah. uh, it's still not that dire. I mean, he targeted the, the Doflamingo with the reduction from oh. Khalifa, so maybe he has a plan. Mm, uh, we are at seven left. Yeah. Um, maybe nice. So Khalifa is minus, minus two. two. All right, so... Eight something more to go. He's sitting. He's pre-planning a little bit, setting up two separately. So I wonder what it could be. Maybe uh, a Helmepo for more reduction. Put him at. He um, he might be trying to set up that Kaku he had early game. Uh huh. Because then Paying he needs one. Both to get you three. Is he trying to see it? Uh, span that. The ice oh, age. Oh, the ice age. Let's get out of three and then so Kaku minus five. Now. Yeah. Right, so you're at minus seven. Yeah. Yeah. Huh. Two so Kaliha, one yeah. more cost and he's luchable, right? He's luchable with one more, but he's already Kaku. Oh yes. Okay, Kaku. Yeah. All right. Yeah, and that's gonna be on. the player right there. And with that, Rebecca still on the board. Very nice for him. And there goes the flamingo. They did not get a chance to attack, make an impact in the game. Yeah. I got a bottom three CPs. Yep. Bottom the spin, one spin nine. I think you let go of one of those. Oh, it's just two for Kaku. Better. Nice. It's interesting that he chooses to not swing with the Moria to play around a next and drop mm. the Flamingo. And we're. Clear the yep. Fast five leads. No, he didn't swing. Hmm. Uh, two cards left in hand for Cameron and one of them one. is a Rebecca. Okay, the Rebecca. Oh, he's a good card to be your last card. Oh yeah, <laughs> absolutely. People are having fun right now with the. Uh, the word filters on chat. <laughs> Where are we at? 6.47. That's, that's oh. super cool. This is actually, to be honest, a lot higher viewership than I expected due to the uh, current current big events happening this weekend. We have another regional. There's a, another Games Pro Championship as well. So getting 600 here is oh, super awesome. dope. We really appreciate you guys tuning in to watch this. Uh, yeah, I'm glad you're here too, Julia. No, uh, <laughs> I'm in a great time over here. I don't miss Karar at all. Oh, the Hody's down. Oh, it's the mm. breadwinner. Oh, for a 10? Yeah, yeah, for the no Hody's and yeah, Oof. there was an 11 to Gecko. Ooh, oh, wait, the Hody's eight. The Hody's an eight, yes. Yeah, oh, I thought he was seven. I'm bad at math. Okay. Yep. It would be great if, yeah, without the stage right now, I don't know how Luchi comes back at the situation, but Moria is always this a possibility. The, this is the preview what's happening next month. Because, yeah, he has the good Moria This Luchi. is a, uh, a preview of Nats for you guys, so you all <laughs> know. Uh, quick reading on chat. So every event gets announced with its linked. Sometimes it is a full one-day Swiss event where the lone undefeated wins. Uh, this is a thousand-plus person event cap, and we are advertised as, as day one Swiss, day two top cut. We're having a top 32 best of three games tomorrow on Sunday, Sunday the 18th. Uh, deck list, I'll see what we can do. Uh, they are not strictly be at the app so i might see what i can do with decklist if not you always see him on eggman events sometime next week too yes it is 1024 players for the cap it's uh 512 1024 15 15 58 40 1548? Yeah, I think yeah. so. Yeah, he just keeps doubling. Mm -hmm. So, he chose to reduce the 
Okay, so he finger pistols the the Hawkins away now that there is not a body to be rested. I'm playing there, Rebecca. Which is very nice. Put him back. Gets in. the 2K, 2K back, which is pretty good. Still holding, I think, that Moria, maybe. Yeah, I also wanted to see Daryl as well because I, I played him at Gen Con. Uh, I had a really sacky NL match against him with his RP Law for the uh, Gen Con Treasure Cup. And I, I really thought he was going to go and hit me at one point because I was kept hitting triggers on him. And then he went for a Hail Mary and I didn't have the counter and he ended up winning. But uh, yeah, he's a really good player. He did really good at other events as well. Okay, another 10 Dolphin hits the board. <laughs> What? No, no, no. I mean, Luch is only... Oh, he drew a reduction. That is so nice for him. So the Hody becomes a four, and now he's going to be on Helmepo range for Luchi. I believe the term is he's a gamer. Oh. That's the term. <laughs> <laughs> so for he drops the Moria. Will he do Rebecca spin mm. spin Okay, down? yeah. Probably. He needs the the hell map though. Right? Yeah, he needs the map. Minus two. Back effect for the spin die. Yeah, that play is so nasty. Yeah, yep. I that's one of the reasons why I thought people were always wanting to get rid of uh, either Lucci or the Rebecca. Yeah, no, it just didn't happen. It was a very minimalistic ban list. Mm-hmm. And it's okay for right now. Maybe in the future they could address the issue with uh, Gecko or yeah. Rebecca. Uh, Generally, think that if they wanted to, they would already done it. Yeah. And now we're gonna pop the. Here comes. The I mean, that's the best play that you can do <laughs> at all. You establish a blocker. You remove up to two bodies, and you establish an eight inch nine. Yeah. Uh, how big is Quan's hand over here? Quan's hand is huge. Oh, I see. Okay, see the. The depth of the, the stack, brother. It's like a featuring nine a cards? Not <laughs> featuring a big body over here. Not fully sure, though. The pair down, I unfortunately don't have that information on what was the pair down. Uh, I will try my best to get you out. Not necessarily the deck list, but the leader representation for this event. Uh, I'll speak to Top Cut and see what I can do and gather that info and bring it out to you guys. Because definitely it's interesting to see what decks made day 2032. <laughs> Bird down is Nami. Thank you, uh, Kit Kat. Oh, the. So wait, is Rapper Pool Law into Nami? Yeah, RP Law into Nami. Oh. Is Okay, th this is not cat from uh, no, not Georgia, right? This is not a cat, right? Just making sure. Take, oh, the stage has come down. It, it could, yeah, so the per them wins. Sorry, the person that got paired up, yeah, they win, then okay. it is a possibility. Hmm. Another Hawkins. Probably into a oh, body search. Stage was finally found. Stuck in life for so long. I'm gonna get another 2K. Mm. Okay, so now we're cruising a little bit more, a little bit easier now that uh, Cameron saw his stage. Now we have more firepower on reduction. Uh, do you see what was in his hand? I he don't has know. Four left, four left in hand with two life left. I think one Rebecca in hand, that's for sure. Does he block the one on field? So mm -hmm. I think there's one in hand, which might be why he just needs because he can loot you again. It's still kind of rough uh, without a way to properly dispose of basic Hawkins, mm -hmm. and also having to deal with that of Mingo up there too. Absolutely. Because gonna get the Kaku. Mm. I'm wondering if he runs some some type of tech like Isho or a Kosabo that could gain him a lot of advantage. But so far okay. we haven't seen it. 
So my apologies. It may not seem that it is actually Nami. Uh, someone might have misheard that. It's, it's fine. We'll, we'll figure it out later on. I'll ask Daryl himself. We'll figure it out. No, absolutely no worries. Right now we're focusing on this match between two really good players. Yeah, oh, this match has been going really good. Damn, he's going tall on that. Oh, Ooh, thing. let's get him out of here. He would have to drop two two Ks in a one K, which I think he can afford it. To yeah, be ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Oof. He might be able to afford that count. Yeah, with that stack that he had, absolutely. I played Spanish. Oh, you play Spanish. <laughs> And oh no! Almost had me there. <laughs> yeah, are we staging or not? Well, I should have told you. <laughs> That's alright. I can play over. Yeah. Okay. There we go. I'm, I'm not quite sure what the. Uh... He was choosing who to rest. Oh, okay. Gotcha. That. Oh yeah. That that is on Bonnie's court to the side. Yeah. Yeah. So Luch Luchi's gone. Okay, zero, zero past drop. event. Okay. Zero, two, one. Oh, no, no, zero and two. Yeah. So awesome. Dofi stays alive. Helmapo fights Wait, off the Bonnie. Yeah, yeah. Kaku is still up, but there's only four down left. I mean, he can still Rebecca mm. something. Rebecca is such a powerful card. Discarded the Ice Age. Oof. See the Rebecca coming now? Yep. Uh, the bot should be saved on the Top Cup channel. Usually after a stream ends, it usually gets placed there for a limited time, maybe like a month or so. I don't know. Mm. Establish Rebecca and get Sabo back from the trash. Yeah, getting that blocker will be nice, getting more drawability. Mm -hmm. And we're having Tyler over here arrange the uh, dive for the match. <laughs> uh, so we're starting up here on Quan's turn. Yep. And yeah, that's a stack of a hand, so quite a few cards left in, the, in hand for him at least. They're almost going into time. They were five minutes away from time. Oh, yeah. So we have our own unique time. So you might hear, like, the, uh, the voiceover. Yeah. Oh, speaking of that, that is regular time in the round for the regular event. Did we are the stream. We are, like, a four minutes past that. Mm -hmm. uh, we have more than that. So uh, this will have time to confidently play. We do communicate with the players that you're on your own timer. Don't Just go ahead and disregard the announcement. Yeah. Because definitely knowing when time comes does set you up with uh, how you play out your last few turns. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, knowing it, how to win in overtime is part of the skill. But I think skill. for sure um, if end on time were to happen now and time would end for that, then Quan just wins. Uh, no, how, Quan wins no, on yeah, that count Quan for wins, sure. Yeah, because even though it's their searches, just Luchi just mills so much. So. Yeah, so the only saving grace for Luchi will be to have higher life. Yeah, Rage should be considered aggro, shouldn't it? Because it's just bring Ichiji all the time. I mean, uh, if you succeed, bring in Ichiji all the time because yeah. of the aggro, like, that's the hard yeah. part. But anyhow, uh, there is three minutes left in. Oh, he blocked out, okay. Dofi's now arrested, so that is an opportunity for board clearance, but there is now two blockers is two on board. Blockers. And Thanks. one that will enable, oh, an arrest. And Wait. freezes the gecko. Oh, it, oh, the gecko? Okay. Yeah, the gecko doesn't restand. The Roche gets up. So two minutes left before time ends. Gecko is stuck rested. Yep. And that is a big old stack on this card for Cameron. Uh, and as we're getting close to time, and there's two life, two life, 
uh, to remind you guys, because people you know, always forget, when the time ends, we are a 30 minute game timer. We're gonna go into a five minute overtime. Within that five minute overtime, each player essentially has two turns. So zero, one, two, three, starting with the turn player. Now within those five minutes, they each get two turns. And after they get to two turns, the gameplay ends and they decide who wins the uh, tiebreaker. If the five minutes were to expire before those two turns each, then it immediately cuts to the tiebreakers too. So it's not five minutes or two turns each. No, it's whichever comes first. Uh, did the pair down report? Oh, uh, let's go ahead. Uh, that is that is true. That is true. Let's see if uh, how we did with the pair down. Uh, yeah. Uh, Daryl, so we have one more round. So we're gonna have one more round officially because Daryl did end up beating Christina. Uh, Danny, Myra won. Sammy won. Daniel won. Justin, you won. Jacob Hudson won. Uh, Mikalev won. Nicholas Diaz uh, still won. Jonas Abraham. Oh, Jonas yeah. won. Holda Miller won. Oh, my friend Luca won too. But then uh, it's another round still. But that's pretty good, yeah. Uh, Josh won. Where's Dexter? Oh, Dexter. Oh, Dexter played Jonas. Yeah, played Jonas. Oh yeah. no. <laughs> I think so. Yeah. One more round. Jacoby won. Lars won. Uh, yeah. So we're doing one more round after this. So for sure, now we're gonna see RP Law against one of these two fine players on a true finals of undefeated. Yep. But again, we have a top cut tomorrow of the top 32 ranking players from this uh, tournament. Yes. All right, we have the countdown to 10 seconds left. Oh, the Hody came down. And it's, the oh, the Hody took the last life, so it's not. Can, if the Rob Lucci can it, survive this push, he might get it. If Cameron holds it, oh, it's too much aggro. Yeah, I think oh. it's too aggro, but maybe. Another side. No. Yeah, the Dofi gets they just, it. They just call time. Oh, Cameron conceded. No, he, he couldn't no. count it out of the 10K. Oh, okay. Yep. Oh, it, yes, I see it, okay. Yeah. All right, so this is very nice. Great game from Quan again. Yep. Super contested yeah, game, really and we're going to be really jumping straight into the last. Oh my God. Uh, that was a sweaty yeah, game. Uh, yeah. Okay. We're back. Yep, and we're over here. Uh, yeah, so Quan. Wait, yeah, it was it was Quan, right? Yeah. Yeah, Quan, yeah. so we're going to have a final of Bonnie and RP Law with Daryl. We're going to bring Daniel uh, Daryl over here. Yep, and have uh, our final if, we could, round. If, if somebody could let Tyler know to bring out Daryl here so he can be ready for the match since he's the last round. Yep. And yeah, so Bonnie in the finals of the Swiss uh, portion of the game. Lana. So that's the one thing I'm not a big fan for Top Cut event ones. Not, not the company Top Cut, but like the Top Cut the playoff. Top cut it's that I feel like it, it makes being undefeated not so rewarding. Because yeah. the only reward that you have for being undefeated here, it's, uh, oh, you pick who goes first. But even if you lose last round, you're so pretty high you're up in seeding to choose who you play, uh, what order you go, right? But also can bring this player some peace of mind in this game mm -hmm. that will otherwise would be extremely yeah. stressful. It usually a cushion, like, oh, if you lost once or twice, you can still have a chance. Yeah, like you're, you're yeah. both guaranteed mm -hmm. for top cut. Like if you win or you lose, yes. you're still there. I think today's MVP has, has been uh, Hody. Yeah, for no, sure. today yeah. Hody was yeah. the MVP, guys. The, uh, yeah, another reason why I say that is because there's been plenty of times where Rebecca has begun undefeated on a tournament that ended up being top cut. Um, and then it goes. Then Rebecca spits us out. Or even like, uh, say, Invite. Example, last period we were a 64 player top cut. David Lago, very good player. He went undefeated in Swiss. Lost top 64. What are you talking about? That happened in California last weekend. For top 32? Yeah. No, yeah, but top 32 is invite. Yeah, so. It's yeah so that's what I'm saying. He could not get his invite. Uh, I think he, he, couldn't he, he might have his invite or not, but in the instance that he didn't have his invite and he went undefeated, 
And yeah, if he yeah, lost off cut, he would have missed out, right? Yeah. He would have gotten the pudding. Yep. Uh, no, but but, but last uh, in Pasadena, Fee, Fee got 10-0 and lost on yes. round one. Yes. Yeah. He got his glasses at least. So. Yeah. He already had his invite too. I no, mean. he didn't. No. He no? He wanted that. To him, it was main quest was get the invite. Side quest was win a cereal. Got there. Yeah. Gotcha. Okay, so we're gonna mm. have our final round soon. Uh. Yeah. Let me see. AJ, uh, did we let Tyler know to get uh, the arrow for us? Yeah, if we can communicate that. No, it, it, it should be the undefeated. undefeated. We need to get Daryl here to play out uh, Quan, please. Yeah. Okay, that's going to be the last round for that one. Uh, main quest was hanging out with Dexter. Hey, Fee, speaking of that, <laughs> there's Fee. Yay! Fee, Fee, Fee. Hi, Fee. Heard a lot about you. If only Fee left closer to Florida. Be chilling all day. Yeah, opposite sides. <laughs> well, yeah. Uh, let's let's give it a look at other people since now the round is kind of over. Yeah. Uh, what? It's, it's so hard to read because if you're ex two, you're still on a very you still uh, tight rope on whether you make it or not yeah, because it is thirty two and then losing will kick you out. Yeah, you need way to far out. Lester yeah, really but for like. Assuming these players win one more round, we're going to have a uh, top cut with Quan, Daryl, uh, Myra, I'm not sure what she's playing, Sami, Ryan Hartman, Jacob Hudson, Anthony Mikalev, Jonas, so Holden Miller. So pretty good set of X1s right now. I think them even losing was to get some in. Yeah, no, in they top are 32, still so too, yeah. yeah, they're so comfy there. Uh, the only thing that will be changed will be the seating. Pretty much because it does turn into like a bracket where first place 32nd, second. second, 31st, and yep. so on. Yeah, that won't make it into a nice paper bracket. Yeah. And then, uh. <laughs> the two people that are guaranteed. Mm hmm. Yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah, we can. Uh, Dexter. Dexter's Dexter is X2. Yeah. Or X oh. X2. No, didn't he, he use Lucy? He lost to so Oh, he's X2. The, the score already. Yeah, sure. Sorry. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, oh, refresh. I will tell you right now what we're going to have. Sure. Uh, Dexter is playing against Cameron, Sammy, Holder, Aaron, Justin Yi, Myra, Jonas against Myra, Hart, Nicholas, Mikolev, Newman, Eric, Chen, Dominic, just Chris, uh, sorry, Michael, Mike Cross is still at it. Uh, where's Dexter? It should be soon. Patrick Way, Arlo, I know a name. Uh, hey, Dexter, X2 against. Oh, perfect. Yeah, table uh, 23, uh, Dexter Riley against uh, Cody Angelov. Yeah, appreciate you. Yeah, so uh, we have uh, Cody Angelov, a um, consistent. I'm get some water go, go ahead. Yeah, absolutely. I'll hold down the fourth over here because we're still on, I believe. If not, it's, it's all good. Yeah, so uh, executive decision, we have made it. So we already know these two players, the undefeated, are going to be going to day two. So we have changed it up to where we're going to put people on the bubble to top 32. Uh, we're putting Dexter Riley and Cody Angelov to be on the stream. So a little bit something different here and there. Uh, but for sure, tournament ends after this round. Mm. Yeah, so Dexter and Cody is definitely a very good match. Two very good players. Dexter has won a whole regional by himself playing RG Law. Actually, in fact, it was he won the Peoria regional a couple sets ago, right upstairs. And then uh, Cody, he is a uh, top eight Nats, pl uh, Nats player. He's topped also at Gen Con and other regionals and online events. So definitely a very competitive matchup. I forgot Cody plays One Piece, and you're right. Yeah, I forget too. <laughs> No, he's one of us now. He's one of us now. Yeah. Uh, Giancarlo, that is a great question. Here, I'm going to give you a rundown of all your favorites here. Uh, Giancarlo. 
Oh, no, shot. Giancarlo is on table 25. He is at that range, rather. Okay, Jacoby. All right, so let me see. Uh, Quan Lin, Daryl, Cameron Barton, Sammy Wong, Aaron Jewell, Holden Miller, Sang Trong against Justin Yi, Jonas against Myra Velasquez, Ryan Hartman, or Hart, against Daniel Stewart, Nicholas Diaz, who we saw earlier, against Anthony Mikolev, Jacob Hudson against James Newman, Eric Chen, who we saw earlier with Bonnie, against Aaron Gonzalez, uh, Michael Miofa, cross AI, against Christina Jong Pao, who was the person that played there all last round. Uh, la, 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 la. Luca uh, Cacavella against Jorge Rojas. Jorge, yeah, Jorge Rojas. He is actually the person I drove to the event with. And he came all the way from Canada to play this event. So super cool that he is in that bubble to get into top 32. He was telling me uh, during the card right here, he's like, oh, I, I always go X3. This is my first regional in person in North America. And he's super excited. And he is well within grasp to uh, make it to top 32. So if he does, super hype. I, let me see my friend uh, Wilbur, Michael Wilbur, who is one of our judge friends here for Top Cut. He is also X2. Woo woos all around. Michael Wilburn, he is the known as co-redacted on Discord from one of the judges. Mm -hmm. He's X2 on the cusp and also making top 32. So really hype uh, bracket right now for this round. We're Let me getting go back. Black, Dexter and Cody. Yeah, right, black yeah, yellow yeah. versus red so, purple. Yes, well, uh, Top Cut is played tomorrow. Right now for time zones and stuff, it is 5 p.m. Central Time, Saturday, August 17th. We're gonna be playing tomorrow, August 18th, sometime around maybe 9 a.m. CST, maybe, or 10. It depends. Yeah, Giancarlo Paradiso. Yeah, he is on table 20-ish right now. X2, plain Nami. So. Let's go. Yeah, so we have a lot of variety. Myra is the best NA female player. Unfortunately, I did not get to see what she was playing, but I did see her on table three last round. So, uh, yeah, definitely a big feat to be in, in top tables by the end of the tournament. Uh, la, 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 la. Samurai Lee, salute to my pals in Michiweko, please. Is this a Canadian region, Michiweko? Not sure. Sounds like it could be. Maras on Gecko. Okay, so another Gecko player on top table, so that's pretty good. Gecko is very consistent, very yeah. interesting deck. If somebody, yes, Giancarlo Parodi, so the DBS player, he's high up there right now. Uh, should, could you have requested a bubble table? Yeah, we are getting a bubble table, right, because Dexter and Cody are both X2. Yep. So I think if they, whoever loses this one does not make it, unfortunately. Yeah. Yeah, so that was the uh, production choice to do. Uh, a little bit of my it's, it's still it's pretty exciting, though. It's someone different, fresh face. Mm -hmm. uh, the last undefeated, as we told you earlier, we have Daryl uh, being undefeated with RP Long and Quan Le being undefeated with Bonnie. Yeah. Yeah. So it's n not that it's not important, but it's not as critical because they're both in. They're, they're, yeah. They both can literally say, okay, we're not going to play. We're going to go home and chill. No. Uh, no, they have to play out, of course. <laughs> but uh, they're locked in for top cut. That's why we're getting in Cody Angeloff and Dexter Riley, or uh, otherwise known as Sanji Cosplayer. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, isn't that what he pulled up last time? Uh, for He was uh, like the red outfit, the burgundy oh, Sanji. Oh, yeah. Yep. Yeah, he's always, you know, dressing all these nice suits. Loves the suits. Yeah. <laughs> Jonas is high up. He is uh, high X2. So no, uh, he's X1. Oh, he's sorry. He's X Jonas is X1. So um, he has a very good chance. I mean, he's pretty I, much I, already I think he, he, he even X2 East end. Yeah, there is a finite amount of X2s that don't make it, I believe. Yeah, but like if you're mm. losing round 10, yeah, your, your resistance is somewhat... Dexter is handsome. Oh, we care father. I agree. I agree. <laughs> We have Cody over here, our first Black Yellow Luffy of the tournament to be put on stream. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Micho Wise is this in this Poland. Too. Okay, cool. Really Thank you for arms, watching so us from uh, Europe. <laughs> because the final is technically not a final. The final is actually tomorrow at, as the two finalist players play out. So that's why we chose yeah, to, to uh, present you this bubble of top 32 instead mm -hmm. because we already saw Quan Le for two other games and 
And they don't have anything to lose. There is, yeah, they have nothing left to lose. So, yeah, Quan led two rounds. Yeah, unfortunately, we saw Quan two rounds in a row. Hey, yeah, we saw two really yeah. good money games. Yes, no, that was... Uh, yeah. Right. Oh, we could have gone on Jonas? No, no, we have a good match over here. We have uh, the first BY of the um, tournament. <laughs> That is true. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're good. Mm -hmm. Yes, so Jordan, higher ranking on the standings will dictate who goes first or second on game one of top 32 uh, playoff. Yeah, you so, can say, uh, imagine Quan Le wins uh, this round. He has first place seed. He will play the 32nd player, and he has to choose if he goes first or second. So yeah, he they can have choose, to roll like, die. oh, if it's favorable to go first, I'll do that, or I steal your second curve from you, stuff like that. So, yeah, no, this is uh, definitely a very high quality match. Mm -hmm. So, you're definitely not missing out on competitive content here. Absolutely. Uh, Cody is a very decorated player, so is Dexter. Mm -hmm. And Dexter actually won a regional during the times that we had Swiss-only tournaments. Yeah. So, yeah, definitely no feet to scuff at. Uh, yeah, Hassan might be uh, yeah, LDU to saw level. We have this off screen. <laughs> Hassan, is it, if it's Mohaidin, it is X2 on 15. Mm. <coughs> Excuse me. Although uh, I definitely wouldn't have minded the uh, the Bonnie masterclass. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> we're setting up over here for our players for our last round. Okay. So Law's going first. <clears throat> yeah, and we have Dexter with the uh, cleanliness of putting your die up front to see your life. Mm -hmm. He's a world experience player and know how to do that. And man, those are some pitch black sleeves. <laughs> they really are. It's like the, uh, what's it called, the Vanta Black or Ultra Black? black. I'm going to be getting the Baby Ace from the Surge. Yep. Surge from 1 is pretty good. Mm -hmm. uh, Law already established one of the reducers there. They know that Luffy does not have an mm. out to them early game. Bottom decking the... Uh, the Luffy, so we pretty big, I think. Yeah, no, because, it's always is. Yeah, because when you starve them, they're only out to like flump it or Luffy to get life, and it's yeah, also getting but he swung body. alive. Dexter is at three life now, mm. which is, I, I believe he's gonna leave him at three life to put him in that awkward position. That I see. You could lose at any point if they rush. Uh, oh, we got Kusan. Kusan. Mm. Good old Kusan. Oh, he continues to swing. Okay. Mm. If we could moderate the chat a little bit. And uh, Sunshine, this is, uh, we don't have a natural finals on day one. Day two is going to be the actual finals. So we're offering you guys a opportunity of seeing someone that's on the bubble of making top 32 uh, top cut. Yeah. Yeah. Are we driving the kid here? Kid. Manga kid, actually. Well, you should know. <laughs> yeah. It's your manga kid. No, it's not. Uh, that's not Dexter. What? Oh, Dexter's be wild. Uh, Dexter's the Luffy. <laughs> I have. Yeah. There I you I get, I keep having him flipped over. So he bottoms the coos on. Okay. Beppo mm -hmm. ramp one, kid comes back one, yeah, solid. Mm. Yep. Mm. Yeah, being down two life with a board mm -hmm. that has like three characters can be a little scary for Luffy. Because mm -hmm. you never know if they can rush you down, especially with Red Purple Law. Happens somewhat a lot. There is so much playing on that table already. Yeah, there's so much. No, Cody's the kind of player that has the OCD to want to play all these champion cards. 
I've seen his attempt at a white beard being blinked out. Okay, we're seeing yeah. a thunderbolt on the kid putting a Luffy on the trash. Okay, that is pretty good. It's a little less scary. If he somehow makes, it makes his leader 7k, I think he's in a good position. But I'm not sure there is a way of doing that safely. We have uh, Dexter at one life. Mm -hmm. Getting close to that zero life to start doing the effect for leader. Yeah. Problem is that the Dawn right now, the Dawn counts a little low. He has four. And mm. he still had that one life, so he has no way to baby, heal, and take that life away. Mm -hmm. But you can, of course, always just add the life and leave them there. Right. Uh, we're you? playing a twofer. Oh, okay, we're Hiori. We're going to manipulate life to uh, put in his preference. I don't think we're putting anything back. Because if he puts anything yet, if he puts anything back, he can't play the use leader ability. Oh, he did put something back. Yeah, it's an up two to put back, right? Huh. Up to one card, yeah. Yeah. So maybe a uh, favorable trick trigger. I, okay, so he's going to become a 7k leader, okay. KO oh. the Beppo, swing over the, swing over the Zoro Juro. Yeah, KOs the Beppo. The Duke and draws. Uh, seven. seven K leader, lock and swing a max of thirteen. That is pretty interesting. And I'll use Luffy's effect. Drop the Beppo, draw a card. And okay. Seven lock and swing twelve at a seven. I don't think that's yep. the best play. Oof. Like it's 12 for a 7. Mm -hmm. Three 2Ks and a 1K. That's uh, a precarious situation right here. I mean, Law could risk it and maybe get it, but I don't mm. see why. Uh, I don't think it's a good play for Law. Too risky. Mm. Uh, what is this? Uh, I think it's off guard. I didn't peep his hand earlier on. Uh, mm. uh, he does have a kick killer in hand, I believe. Mm -hmm. And Luffy's not booster right now, so it's no, also. No, he's a seven. He summoned the big. Oh, it, it was Vigivari, sorry. Yeah, the uh, the very dark blue was blending in with the uh, his coat. His, oh, absolutely. Uh, best. I mean, if he does have the kick killer, he's gonna swing. Seven. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Counter off. Mm -hmm. Alrighty. I'm gonna do minus three. Bottom the Hiori. Plays kick killer, swings eleven. Eleven. Can he counter out of eleven? The aggression is real on that one. Yeah. That's super bold. I think he's deciding based on his trash. But it's still pretty pretty risky against law. Such a intense deck. <coughs> Oops, sorry. Uh see kid. Uh up there, sorry, baby Luffy. See baby uh, Ace, Sabo Ace. Sabo. I don't think he has the counter. That is super that that's nah, super unfortunate. Yeah, but I mean, that's uh, purple. Uh, okay, he does. Four cards, but he does. So that's a whole turn. Mm -hmm. And he sent back a Sabo. Uh, a Sabo, 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 a Flampe, and a Luffy five cost, uh, I believe. Yeah, that's a Luffy. I mean, that is uh, now he puts himself in an interesting position because mm -hmm. he has the Rush Ace. So he, mm -hmm. can, stab he can become a 9K leader. The question is, is does mm -hmm. he have the baby Sabo? He could also just leave a life there, so he doesn't have to deal with the situation again. Mm. Uh, yep, so we're starting off here. 
for Dexter. Mm -hmm. He is against the wall right now with zero life. Uh, he has to play as a fight. Uh, I mean, he yeah, has yeah, to, yeah. yes, absolutely. Right. The question is, can he find a blocker? And being a 9K leader, is that going to be okay. enough? We he did a, not play the uh, any ramp, so he yeah. did go back quite a few dawn. He needs to it hit a, a little baby because we know he has baby ace in hand. We do not know who won the event because the event has not concluded. It will conclude tomorrow after a top 32 uh, playoff. I know I'm keep repeating this, but uh, a lot of people join in to ask and that everybody knows. So I'm just clarifying for y'all who are listening to right now. Okay. So we're gonna get Egghead Luffy. Mm -hmm. And he does have the uh, baby Luffy, I believe. Mm, hopefully he does. I think I know he uh, has the baby ace for sure. Oh, that's oh wait, the one with the red tank top and the pipe ace. That's ace. ace yeah. Oh shoot, sorry, sorry. Okay, so he's playing the Egghead. Okay. Okay, so he's just gonna heal to life and stay as a 5K leader. That's a good way to do it. Which is a pretty good way to to go yeah, around. Yeah, there goes the effect. KO'd Kid Killer puts Ace in another body that he can keep cycling next. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, that, that that was interesting, very interesting. We're deciding which cards we're going to put in life. And he, he will be able mm -hmm. to push Law to, uh, to one life, because I don't think Law is countering that. Mm -hmm. Oh, no, to two. He had a... Yeah. He had three. He's a two life. Yeah. Took it. Okay, yeah. uh, we're going to check the trash. Does have a good amount of brothers there. Yeah, I think th there is no uh, All the shortage of that for sure. Yeah, we just need to find the babies and hopefully the Morias Does for Dexter's Does BY normally play T-Bolt? Uh, I feel uh, the like Jackson, Jackson's build. Okay. I feel uh, I feel what them do, but... Mm. Yeah, I'm guessing Yeah, they don't need to fear using the life so it makes sense i suppose mm -hmm. like also the sabo too like sabo they don't care about lo losing the life and i so had luffy only naturally ko's uh, four exactly. so having an out for five is pretty nice okay so If that Nexter does have a Moria next turn, then he can maybe start the Luffy cycle. Yeah, w once they see that cycle with the characters putting the Sabo back in endlessly, mm. it's just a uh, tough rough. situation to get out of. He's gonna go a five. I think he lets the Luffy go. He has a lot of Luffy's in the trash. But maybe he ditches. Uh, it, yeah, so with the ability of the leader Luffy effect, they will go to the to bottom. To the bottom of yeah. the deck, yeah. And he already has mm -hmm. a Luffy in trash. But he might be wanting to. Gecko, summon both of those, and puts two life in the end of his turn. Yeah. Which would be very strong. We're gonna get a bone clay. Mm, we got the bone clay, the uh, one character gets your ramp and also can match your big bodies, mm, and yeah. a sandy blocker. We're getting Sanji and Shuraya. If he does have the Gecko and he can summon two Luffy's, he is probably going to pop the Shuraya, no doubt. Yeah. And uh, if he could, he would pop both. But Cody putting up uh, a good defense, I'd say. Very uh, much so. Still a healthy two life. Mm -hmm. The question is, do we have Moria? Her babies overall. But yes, thank you, Top Cut Events, for uh, clarifying in the chat. Yeah, this you know we have several hundreds of people watching, coming and going into the stream, so not everybody uh, has uh, that knowledge for sure. We do have uh, two last undefeated of RP Law and Bonnie. Only one more man undefeated, but this yeah, is not. Yeah, he does have the Moria. Yeah, yep, this is not a. Swiss only uh, tournament is a top 32 playoff tomorrow 
So being on the feet doesn't necessarily matter as much because the X1s and X2s will be playing tomorrow as well. All right, here we go. It's happening. I think the, oh yeah, it's trash the life, so it plays mm. around Luffy's effect itself. Leader yeah. Luffy. So now we're gonna do leader ability. Yep. How many cards in hand for uh, Dexter? I think it's pretty low. I think it's on four in hand. I mean, Maybe if it's four go ones. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So we're gonna lead their ability, absolutely. Yeah. Probably pitching the eight mm -hmm. in the cool zone. Okay. Okay. And we're getting Egghead Luffy and Ace. Done. Okay. And we're getting another boost for Luffy over here. Go seven inches. Swing and seven. And Shiraya will match. No, Shiraya doesn't, doesn't match character. He's oh, it doesn't? Oh. Then I'm wondering. I played too much White Beard. No, no, yeah. I'm just confused why the Shiraya is just rested. Shiraya, uh, Shiraya die, why Shiraya is not dead. Yeah, uh, so we can check. Oh, because you can copy leader power, and his leader is enough. Oh, that leader's huge. Yeah, he should have oh. swung before the Luffy. Matches. Yeah, so it did match. Yeah, that leader's huge. Yeah, no. That's crazy. So, and Bunkley only matches character, right? Yeah, so, Bunkley. wow, yeah, that's a tower. That is a tower. Yeah, I don't know how, how Black Yellow Luffy comes out of that. Because he has mm -hmm. nine and nine. Uh, and the Bunkley can match the Gecko also. Yeah, for no, 11. he's going to be an 11. Yeah, so 11 to nine, that's, that, that's wild. Mm, and he only has two cards in hand. Yeah, no, I don't think, unfortunately, that would do it. We'll see. He only has four dawn, so. Oh, he he gave both cards. Eleven. So ten. he only should do one more nine, and then another nine. Mm. And the bottom and handless. Yeah. And yeah. Yep. yeah uh, Cody Angelov takes the win. Cody got down. Uh, don't know the exact math, but he should be in a higher uh, position for making top two, uh, thirty-two. Yep. So. Uh, let's see. Only 15, 18 something minutes passed. What's so Carrar doing? That is a great question. Let's see if our friend Carrar, or uh, Friendly Warrior, as they call them on the <laughs> online uh, circuit. Wow. Carrar is. Six three. Not playing tomorrow. <laughs> not playing tomorrow. He might yeah. be here tomorrow. Yeah, he might. We'll, we'll, we'll see. Uh, but yeah, but uh, hopefully. We answer all your questions regarding who, why they're playing, and so on. Uh, to, as a reminder, we are having the top 32 playoff tomorrow. Yes. In the, I don't know the exact time frame, but somewhere in the 9, 10 a.m. CST Central Time. Yeah, we're Central, right? Yeah, yeah. Central, Central Time. It'll be a top 32. Uh, let me see what else uh, is. No response yet from Quan or Daryl. Uh, Jonas did win this match, so he goes X1 uh, into top 32. And then what else? Uh, Eric Chen did not win his match. Michael Imiofa lost to Christina uh, Pao. And da -da 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 -da. what else can we see? Michael Wilburn, our friendly judge here, code redacted. He Yay. went X2. Congrats to Code. Congrats. I'm sure everybody in, in the band, sorry, Bandai Organized Play Discord is rooting for him to have a judge represent top 32. If Absolutely. He gets in. Yeah, that would be pretty cool. Yeah. And then uh, Ty Shipman won, Joseph Wynn, Henry Pham, uh, Kevin Shaw also X2. Mm -hmm. Yes, a lot of uh, cool people have made it in so far. Uh, Ted Zerman X3. Uh, that's been, yeah, it's a little low, I think. But yeah, uh, let me go back to the chat. Uh, I think we'll be wrapping up pretty short. Yeah, we're pretty. Uh, I think we are somewhat done, done after this uh, yeah. production. Yeah, so we can sign it off. So do we have a time? Do we know when Top Cut will start tomorrow? Like usually on the occasional, it's like nine or so. Mm -hmm. We give 
we make players show up an hour earlier so we have all the deck checks and stuff because it does take a bit of time because we have to organize they all have the to stuff. Check everything. Yeah. Yeah, we are verifying on the exact time to provide that for you. I will also post it on my page or on Samurai on Facebook and Twitch. Uh, sorry, Twitter. Mm -hmm. uh, but yeah, on the Hassan, I'm gonna. Yeah, you should be able to see it via RK9. Uh, if not, we'll we'll post it up later. We'll see. I guess I want to let go of the uh, Twitch screen right now on my phone. Mm -hmm. uh, but yeah, no. How how would you like it? You know, because you say you've done you done a uh, store regionals or local before. Yeah. Yeah. No, nothing. We had a great time. <laughs> we did. It yeah. was so fun watching those games, commentating mm -hmm. it. Thank you for the opportunity. Oh no, always a pleasure. Uh, it was great. It was uh, unfortunate Dexter, you know, lost on the stream. Uh, Karar didn't Proud make it. it. It's okay. You know, <laughs> you can't win or top every event. That is so true. So okay. So I'm only gonna say it once. Top Cut is at 9.30 CST tomorrow, Sunday, August 18th. Y'all heard me? We made eye contact. It's that, that time, that day. Set. So I don't want to hear that question later, guys, okay? <laughs> so with that, I want to say thank you guys for watching. I'm going to be announcing maybe uh, what leaders made it, if I can get the data on it. I'll keep you posted on my socials. So we'll see you guys tomorrow. Thank you for being here, Thank Julia. Appreciate you. you. Appreciate and it. And we'll see you tomorrow, 9.30 a.m. CST on Sunday for a Let's top 32 playoff, okay? So thank Bye. you guys for watching. All 600-plus that came by to watch, you have a great evening. Yay. Thank you. <laughs>